हेलो गाइस आई हैव अ गुड न्यूज़ फॉर यू एज यू कैन सी आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग सी ए इंटर कॉस्टिंग लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट फ्यू थिंग्स विच आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस लेक्चर्स आर फ्री 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 यू कैन एक्सेस दैम ओके माई नेम इज सी राहुल पंचाल एंड या यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द लेक्चर्स फॉर सी ए इंटर कॉस्टिंग अगेन दैट इज फॉर फ्री सर वट विल बी द ड्यूरेशन द ड्यूरेशन विल बी अप्रॉक्सिमेटली वन थर्टी आवर्स दैट विल बी योर ड्यूरेशन माई कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर इज नाइन नाइन सिक्स सेवन सेवन थ्री सिक्स सिक्स वन थ्री जस्ट इन केस यू हैव एनी डाउट विथ रेफरेंस टू दिस यू कैन जस्ट व्हाट्सएप ऑन दिस नंबर एंड वन मोर थिंग एम लॉन्चिंग फ्यू बुक्स एंड अगेन क्रैश कोर्स ऑफ कॉस्टिंग एंड अकाउंट्स ऑल्सो सो जस्ट इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू बाई दैट इन फ्यूचर यू कैन सेव दिस नंबर फॉर दैट मैटर एंड माई इंस्टा आई डी विल बी लॉस्ट इन कॉस्ट ओके एंड इफ यू want notes that is question bank for this course which you are going to watch or even the solution part what you can do is what you can do is you can check the description in the description and in the comment box link will be given google drive ka link will be given that's it and lectures will be conducted in basic in english language so just i can say just all the best guys start watching the lectures bye bye yeah bye bye Okay guys so let us start with the process costing first we will revise and then we will go for questions and solutions so if you talk about process costing that uh, that means you need to calculate the cost cost of what process now what is the meaning of process when i say process process is nothing but step involved in production like if you want to become ca it is foundation and ter final for uh, if you want to convert your cloth into your t-shirt maybe process 1 process 2 process 3 your objective is to calculate the cost of this process for that matter the process costing has been divided into three parts the first thing where you do not have a wip stock it means uh, if you start working on something you will complete that okay then there is something where you start working on something but it is in wip at the end that is known as closing wip and then it becomes opening wip in the next period okay then there is a inter process profit as of now the revision will be done for this that is uh, process account with a wip okay so if i talk about process account with a wip first of all few questions uh how many methods i can say as of now there are two methods right the one is the fifo method another one is the lifo method so i can say that there is one method Weighted which is ha uh, huh, sorry weighted average method exactly lifo is uh, not there for you but still we will solve one question for that okay now one thing should be very clear in your mind first if you think about fifo method what is your window of thinking whether it is current last period plus current period or only current period Only current, Only current period. But if you talk about weighted average, everything is mixed. That therefore you have to increase your window. That is last period plus current period. Okay. We have solved various questions based on this. Now, first of all, if I talk about the steps, there are six steps to prepare the process account. So, look. If I revise here, so first of all, anyone can, uh, uh, anyone, please, uh, uh, just uh, tell me as to first step will be what? Uh, process account with the WIP. First step will be. You need to prepare the pro. Ha, bolo. Sir, we make the. Ah, uh, we make the process account and on the debit side we transfer the items. Let's say opening work in progress or opening work. Hmm. Make the. Ah. Ha. Oh, Krish. Okay. Input material is hmm. given. Hmm. Table. Yeah, okay. One thing. One thing. One thing. Hmm. So we fill the debit side first, and then we move to the credit side. Hmm. There is a normal loss. There is a. Normal loss. Ha. Output transfer. And by closing what is problem? Exactly. So now what will happen is when uh, the step number one will be you need to read the entire question. You need to read the entire question and whatever details which is given in the question, just fill it up. The process account with that detail, which is details which is given in the question. Detail will be given for opening WIP. Write it down. Quantity will be given, amount will be given. Again, input material, quantity and amount both will be given. Labor and overhead only amount will be given. Normal loss, some indication that percentage, some percentage of this करके either opening plus input, some uh, information will be given. Percentage of what? Then multiply by scrap value. Then you will get the scrap value, total scrap value. Now, if in the question scrap value is not mentioned, guys, what you have to assume it is nil. Yeah. If exactly nil. Okay, now. What will happen is information about oh, output transfer to next process will be given, closing WIP will be given, but only quantity am will be given. I will have to calculate the amount of output transfer to next process, amount of closing WIP that will not be there. Okay, 
once you write everything from the process account what is the next step Achha, when you read the question if the information is given with reference to units scrap i hope you understand you can ignore this why you can ignore this because i have designed these steps in such a way that automatically in step number two step number one is write everything from the process account step number two is close the process account if the balancing figure is on the debit side it is abnormal gain quantity if it is on the credit side close only quantity column then that will be abnormal loss if it is on the credit side so step number one is clear step number two is clear you can see abnormal gain and loss so you got the quantity when you close the quantity now your objective will be to calculate the value of output transfer to next process uh, closing WIP and uh, then I can say abnormal gain and loss whatever the case may be okay now I can say that now let us go for weighted average only because we have solved various questions for that if you follow weighted average guys your thinking will be last period plus current period now you need to make three statements step uh, step, uh, step one is done step two is done now after that you need to make three statements three four five the first statement will be statement showing equivalent production then the next statement will be statement showing CPU and the next statement will be statement showing uh, apportionment of cost. You need to make these statements and the last step, step number 6 will be close amount column of the process account and then you will get the balancing figure. Okay. In step number 2, you close which column? Quantity column. In step number 6, you will close amount column. Okay, sir. Now, let us go to this. That is equivalent production. Now, if I talk about equivalent production, see it is written. Step number 3 is what? 4 is what? 5 is what? Equivalent production, CPU and apportionment of cost. Now, if you talk about this, uh, what will happen is, now the question arises if 100 is on the debit side, this is 200, this is opening WIP, this is uh, input, there is output transferred is 250. Tell me, uh, will you bifurcate this 250, yes or no? Will you bifurcate this in weighted average method? No, sir. No, that will be done in the FIFO method. So, there is no bifurcation, that is this you can say. Output transferred to next process, then there will be a closing WIP, then there will be abnormal loss or gain. As of now, the question which we have solved, we have got this, this, this. Okay, now your window will be what? Your window will be last period plus current period. You should be very clear with that. When you say it is last period plus current period, now always 100%. For what? Always 100% for output which is transferred. Obviously, it is 100% complete at our end. Therefore, we are transferring it to the next process. For closing WIP, whatever percentages are given in the question, you have to use them as it is. Yeah, abnormal loss, there is some information that will be given. Like, note, percentages of abnormal loss. Preference win, uh, percentages will be given in the question like this. Unit, scrap, material 100% complete, labor 50% complete. So, whatever percentages are given, you have to take those percentages. If question is silent, then you need to take 100%. Achha. If in question it is written like this, defects in the units are identified at the end of the process. It means you will take uh, how many uh, uh, the percentages will be? Is it 50, 100? Defects are 100% because defects are identified at the end. So 100% work is done. Then you came to know, Ari, it is defective. It is abnormal loss. Okay, sir. So till now, this much is clear. Now, once you get the quantity, you will get the quantity for what, sir? You will get abnormal, uh, this quantities. Equivalent quantity you will get for material, labor and overhead. Sometimes what they will do is they will combine this and this will be known as conversion cost. What? This will be known as conversion cost. You need to remember this. Now, after that, you have prepared your equivalent production. Now, let us go for a CPU column. Again, when you go for a CPU column, your thinking should be very much clear. Uh, it is nothing but the... Uh, la last period plus current period that will be your window now if I talk about this you will say cost incurred in the last period and the current period this bifurcation will be available how much for material how much for labor and how much for overhead you will get this from the process account but this value for material labor and overhead you cannot get this from the process account in the process account total amount is appearing so you need bifurcation uh, with reference to material labor and overhead you will have to refer the question and then you will get this data okay sir scrap value will be given in the question that scrap will come from where this scrap will come from the process account ka credit side it will come from the credit side of the process account and scrap should be subtracted from where sir scrap is always of material so it should be subtracted from from material okay not labor and over it should be subtracted from material like chindi so it, it will be subtracted from cost of cloth okay now 
once you get the net cost then you will divide by equivalent production which is appearing above in the above statement once you do that you will get cpu now the cpu which you have got it is nothing but last period plus current period ka cpu okay not only current period ka, it is average cpu you should understand that okay sir now again when you make a statement saying apportionment of cost it is very easy earlier statement equivalent production then the cpu you just need to multiply this you will start with this there are categories a will be output transfer to next process closing WIP then there will be abnormal loss so whatever output it is transfer it is always 100% so instead of doing individually you can go in totality let us say there are 100 units so 100 units into total CPU okay that can be done in a shortcut way uh, you can see that here uh, like uh, that calculation uh, for weighted average method output in units whatever it is into total cpu ha, but for closing wip you, you cannot go like this because for material labor and overheads these are equivalent units these are different in these three cases so when you multiply by cpu you have to go individually okay same goes for your abnormal loss and gain as the case may be whatever it is you need to calculate ha. now remember if your cpu whatever the answer which you have calculated for cpu if it is in fraction see if it is not in fraction then to your process account will tally there is no need to worry but if your cpu is in fraction you need to keep four decimals up to four decimal round off up to four decimals and because cpu is in fractions there is a possibility that when you get the balancing figure in step number six that is when you close the amount column you will either get abnormal gain and loss amount now that amount which is appearing in the process account and the amount which you have calculated in apportionment of cost there is a possibility there can be a difference of 5 rupees 10 rupees 20 rupees it depends because there is a fraction which we have rounded off while calculating the cpu so that is that is a possibility if the cpu is in fraction maybe the answer will differ so we will write both the answers as per calculation of abnormal loss huh? we will write both answers as per calculation and as per uh, whatever we can say that as a balancing figure what was the answer so this was a short revision as to what we have done guys now uh let us go for the questions answer this was a short revision of around 11 minutes okay okay guys so uh, let us start with this question let's solve this what is given the following details are available for process x for the month of august what is clear this question is based on process account first of all this thing is clear second thing because WIP is also given so I can say that this is the second category it means process account with the WIP yes sir now what is next first I need to identify which chapter it is process now I need to identify the method once I know it is WIP so first I will identify this process account and I will identify whether it is without WIP or with WIP it is with WIP now whether it is FIFO or weighted average that I need to identify that is how we will identify the things so chalo. Uh, if you read uh, you will understand that aage, aage, aage. if you read you understand at the end what is mentioned is weighted average inventory method is used that is average method so things are very much clear because it is given it is weighted average inventory the thinking will be last period plus current period sir thinking will be last period plus current period yes sir Achha, we need to make the process account uh, jansi for how many lines hello Jansi, a uh, yes, uh, process account will be prepared for how many lines? For 10 lines. Exactly. So, chalo. Let's make the process account. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, sir. So, process account, process x account, particulars, quantity amount, particulars, quantity amount. Okay, so once the process account is uh, prepared, now let's fill it up. We will have to read the question the amount or quantity will come either on the debit or on the credit side okay 
uh, hope I hope uh, you guys are done with the preparation of the format. Let's start with this. Now, what is given? <coughs> Even before, uh, like I answer, you should have your answer in your mind, sir. Opening WIP now, or let's write the format. I know, kitna itna to aata hi. I know this much is uh, about to come. Two. Opening WIP. First, let us write this much. Then two input material. Then by normal loss. By output transported to next process. Then by closing WIP. So these are the things which are about to come. So you can write already. Even before reading the question, you can write this. Sir, there is opening WIP. There is input material. Then yeah, normal loss output transport closing WIP. Okay, here we go. Uh, now uh, let us go for the quantities. Okay, let's go. First, what is written is eight thousand units. It is opening WIP. It will come over here. Eight thousand units. Okay, sir. So eight thousand will come on the debit side. Then, sir, these, these, this. I am not interested. This cost is incurred in the last year. I am interested in total, not. Uh, individual answers okay so that is 80100 so i need to write that 80100 yes sir now input material let's read ahead let's read ahead yeah uh, input material uh, labor overhead so these things are given input quantity is 182 amount is 756900 1,82,000 1,82,000 then you can say it is a 7,56,900, 7,56,900, okay. So after writing this much, after writing this much, that is a input, now there is a labor and overhead. So let me give that heading to labor and to overheads. Okay, when you talk about labor guys, that is a 3,28,000. And if you talk about overheads, that is 1,64,000. So that is 1,64,000. Okay, sir. This much is done. This much is done. We have written opening WIP, then input material labor and overheads. Okay. Now, unit scrap. Uh, I hope you understand. We are already done. You, If you want, you can ignore this. Uh, once we are done with the reading of the question, you will understand. Even if it is ignored, that is okay. Okay, so I am ignoring this for the time being. Okay, unit scrapped. Okay, let us read ahead. Closing WIP, 18,000 units. You can see closing WIP, 18,000 units. Closing WIP, please write 18,000 units. Okay. After closing WIP, agar aap un dekhe aage, what is given is, uh, achha, uh, I think little bit printing error is there. Like this material percentages, these are labor percentage so TK a uh, little bit printing mistake is there now uh, 1,58,000 units were completed and transferred to the next process okay that is a point number 7 actually then this is point number 8 okay normal loss is 8% and and then scrap value this one is point number 9 okay so we can read that normal loss is a uh, 8% of total input including opening WIP so it is 8% uh, okay uh, moksha normal loss quantity please calculate and send the answer normal loss quantity others can DM me Bolo? okay fine that is right it is normal loss is what total input that is including opening WIP so okay you can say that opening WIP is 8000 plus input 182000. This is total input and Ketana percent. So that is, uh, yeah, 8 percent. So let us calculate 8000 plus 182 into 8 percent. 15,200. Now, if you sell these units in the market, how much uh, amount you will receive? Scrap value is 8 rupees to be adjusted in. Achha, so that is not the uh, written. So, please write it down. It is uh, adjusted in direct material. This is 8 rupees per unit. So, please adjust that. 15,200 into 8. 
first let us write the amount this is the scrap value and it is given that when you make that cpu wala statement it will be subtracted from the material even if it is not given we know that it will be subtracted from the material okay sir now we are done with the entire equation we read the equation you are required to compute this and this equivalent production and cpu but i'm only two statements they are asking for but i will make the entire thing process account equivalent production cpu statement showing apportionment cost we will make everything okay now uh, in examination even if you prepare these two statements that is okay now but i'm going to make everything now here we go first step is done first step is done uh, acha one thing should be there which is missing ek second i haven't written 158000 units are transferred to the next process acha so step number 1 is done what is step number 2 is sir close a quantity column there will be abnormal gain or abnormal loss let's close that 15200 plus 158000 plus 18000 that is uh, 19 1200 One nine one two double zero minus eight thousand minus one like eighty two thousand twelve hundred. This is my balancing figure. Here you will say two abnormal gain. This is your gain. So I came to know that this time there is a gain. Okay. Now what I would like to calculate? I would like to calculate this, this, and this value. I want to know these values. That is output transferred, closing WIP, and yeah. abnormal gain i want to know these values and in order to get these values guys i will have to make three statements okay first of all i will specify as to which method i follow whether it is fifo method or lifo method this solution will remain same now there will be a difference ahead depending upon the method it was specified in the question that guys we are going to follow weighted average method and you follow when you follow weighted average method your thinking should be very clear it is just for our understanding whatever i am writing last period plus current period even if you do not write this statement in examination that is okay chalo theek hai now now when you make this statement you should understand how many expenses are appearing on the debit side other than opening wip if you see there is material labor and overheads so you should know three columns now one more thing or when you make a equivalent production wala statement uh, how many lines will be there in between for weighted average method four lines if it is a fifo four, four ha huh, if it is fifo then six, six. if it is ha huh, fifo then six the reason is in fifo method you bifurcate this into two parts so two extra lines are required for that matter we are going to solve those questions fifo wala bhi but as of now let us make the statement that is statement showing equivalent production let's give the heading statement showing equivalent production Particulars, units, three expenses, material, labor, overheads, percentages, units, percentages, units, percentages, units. Okay. Now, first is output transferred to next process here. Output. transferred to next process b closing wip tell me something else also will come in this statement tell me what is that abnormal gain abnormal gain okay so please write it down abnormal gain 
we have units 158000 then 18200 okay sir so these are 158000 then 18000 and 1200 okay now what sir now if you see here uh, the percentages now it is very important okay now uh, dhvani in case of uh, output transfer to next process tell me the percentages dhvani ha so please either through audio or through chat box output transfer to next process percentages Kitna. Okay. Uh, theek hai. Krish? Yes, sir. Output transfer to next process. Percentages? Uh, 100, 100, 100. 100. Because entire work is done. Last period plus current period, we are done with entire work. So, 100, 100, 100. Now, uh, then uh, Astha Prajapati. Uh, Closing WIP. Refer the question and tell me percentages. Yes, sir. Sorry? Sir, eight minutes. Okay. Sir, for labor is 100 and for material is 70%. No, no, no. Actually, it is for material, it is 100. And then for and labor, for labor is 70. 70 haan, to 170, 70. So, yes. 170, 70. Now, now a general question for abnormal gain percentages. Tell me. Abnormal gain percentages. Try at your end. Anyone, please, either through chat box or through audio. Please try to answer the question. RG right Vedant nine. It will be hundred hundred hundred. Understand why? Understand. First of all, there is an abnormal gain. How can you understand this? So first of all, understand. You have thought you are expecting a loss of fifteen thousand two hundred. It is expected loss. You are expecting loss of fifteen thousand two hundred. But if you see what is your actual loss, which is given in the question, something which I had ignored earlier. Actual loss is 14,000 only. So you can understand you are expecting this much of normal loss, but the loss is only of 14,000. So something now which are good units are nothing but uh, 1,200. This is your abnormal gain, which was expected as bad units, but it came out as good units. Okay, these came out as good, un good units. These are nothing but abnormal gain units. Okay, now. Now, having understood this, first of all, if something is bad, suppose there is abnormal loss, then you will use these percentages in the question, 100%, 80%, 80%, 80 it means if there is some damage, let us say, let us say if I say the actual uh, loss is not 14,000, let us say actual loss is 16,000, then what could have happened? I would have said like this, I was expecting loss of 15,200, I can say like this also. I can say like this that total loss is 16,000. I was expecting 15,200. I was not ex expecting, let us say, 800 carb normal loss. Now, this is my abnormal loss that I came to know. Now, uh, what is the work which is done by workers? So, I can uh, come to know about this from here. Whatever is your abnormal loss, it can be said that whatever are unit scrap, 100% material has been used and a worker came to know about that abnormal loss when 80% work was done. They haven't completed 100%, okay? At 80% they came to know. So, if there is abnormal loss, you would have said 100% for a material. Then 80, 80 for uh, labor and overhead. But now in this question, there is no abnormal loss. There is abnormal gain, okay? Now, can you say like this? Units, these are good units, but worker has completed only 80% work on that. Is it like that? Like I am, uh, you want to say like this that we have produced one lakh fifty-eight thousand units, which is given in the question. One lakh fifty-eight thousand. Okay. So one lakh fifty-eight thousand. If we have produced out of that, there are twelve hundred units which are abnormal gain. These are extra units, and on this material is hundred or uh, labor is only eighty percent. Is it possible? Or when I say gain, it oh, means sir. I hope you understand. Gain means it is hundred percent complete. Then only you will say it is an entire one good unit has been produced. Karke. So, uh, 
uh, just I wanted to convey uh, I wanted to convey just one thing that if in the question abnormal gain is given always always when you say gain it means these are good units and because these are good units for this you will always write 100 percent 100 percent okay even that is referred in the summary also when you read this you will understand when the summary then you will read that at home you will uh, understand see if there is abnormal gain you can see here if there is abnormal gain in the question always 100 percent there is one more thing it will not be added i hope you understand first of all technically if i tell you abnormal gain is there on the debit side or opposite side these two things are appearing on the credit side now if you want to get the expected output you will have to add these two but abnormal gain will not be added it will be subtracted hello do you understand this it will be subtracted it is on the opposite side we want expected output the one method is this you need to add this you need to subtract this or the second method is you need to add this and you need to subtract this we have discussed these two methods that is how you can get the answer hello are you doubt abnormal gain less karne ka kyun karega abhi tak aisa to bolo first of all uh, it will be subtracted that is one thing if it is abnormal gain that is and second thing it will always be 100 percent that is there in your summary it is already written but if you have any technical or logical doubt you can ask me sir uh, explain the logic or i did not get the logic whatever it is abnormal gain okay अरे कुछ पूछना है तो पूछ लो अदरवाइज आई विल प्रोसीड अहेड अच्छा एटलीस्ट दिस इज क्लियर एटलीस्ट यू कैन से यस आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड अब नॉर्मल गेन पार्ट इज क्लियर इट विल बी अंडरस्टूड सर अंडरस्टूड सर फेयर इनफ तो इट इज सबट्रैक्टेड एंड इट इज ऑलवेज 100% बिकॉज़ इट इज कंप्लीट यूनिट इट इज अ गेन ओके नाउ लेट अस कैलकुलेट लेट अस कैलकुलेट दिस थिंग 158 1,58,000 100% सो दैट विल बी सेम ओनली 1,58,000 Ah, uh, then uh, eighteen thousand. Twelve thousand six hundred into seventy percent. Yeah, twelve thousand six hundred. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. I can give you one logic. Maybe no one is asking. Still, I will give you one logic. Let us say input is hundred. Please uh, listen to me. Let us say normal loss is ten. and my actual output is 92 i hope you understand there is a gain of how many units first of all there is a gain of how many units 2 oh yeah the reason is simple i was expecting 90 only i was thinking that out of 100 10 will be my loss so i am going to get 90 but surprisingly i got 92 2 units extra not expected sir extra units came that is abnormal gain now now when you talk about this when you talk about this the formula will be total cost minus uh, scrap value divided by total quantity minus normal loss quantity so what will you say you always divide by expected output that is you always divide by 90 right you cannot divide by 92 so this is actual output which is 92 so another way is i will say 92 includes of normal gain let us remove that then you will get expected output that is what i have done this 158000 includes of normal gain if that is being removed then you will get your expected output for that matter this is actual output includes this gain two extra units so that effect we have removed that's why it is subtracted and because it is a complete unit it is 100% okay you just need to remember that thumb rule that is okay it is subtracted and it is always 100% okay this was something new okay even if you want to write here also that is okay so that you can remember later on subtracted and always 100% you can write it down somewhere else it is subtracted and it is always 100% chalo let us calculate 1 lakh 58000 plus 18000 minus 1200 that is 174800 1 lakh 58000 plus 12600 minus 1200 that is 169400 Like fifty eight thousand plus twelve six hundred minus twelve hundred, that is one six nine four double zero. Okay, so now we have got our uh, abnormal uh, equivalent output. Now I will have to calculate a CPU. That is a statement showing CPU. So I am giving you some time. 
tell me what is your CPU for material in the rough. Calculate this on calculator, then I will solve. Send the answers in a chat box. I will come to know how many of you are getting this. Cost per unit for material. Uh, Archie, that is right answer. Uh, moksha, that is right. You can round it up to 4 uh, moksha in that case, but that is right, okay. It is weighted average, it is last period plus current period. Be very clear with that. Krish, nine. I think Krish, you forgot to subtract scrap. Just check. Yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Arpit, nine. I think you forgot to add opening WIP cost. I think that you forgot to add opening WIP cost. Okay. Fair enough. Now let's go for this. Uh, now uh, we can go for this, which is a statement showing uh, we can say CPU. Statement uh, showing cost per unit. Particulars material labor overheads. So please write this much down. Statement showing cost per unit, variable say particulars, material, labor, and overhead. Okay. Now, having done this, after this, now you need to calculate cost per unit. So, you will say cost incurred in. Uh, you will say as to cost incurred in first because it is a weighted average. So, last period, then cost incurred in current period then subtract scrap you will get net cost you can check the summary which is provided to you you will get net cost divided by equivalent production then you will get cpu then you will get total cpu same format okay so cost incurred in, I can say last period plus current period because it is weighted average method. First of all, cost incurred in the current period. Sir, it will come from the process account. Okay, let us write cost incurred in the current period. It is there. So please write it down. Uh, it is uh, 7,56,900. Uh, like okay. Then uh, 3,28,1,64. 3,28,1,64. One lakh sixty-four. Okay. After doing this, it is a cost incurred in the current period. Now, what is the cost which is incurred in the last period? If you see, the cost incurred in the last period was eighty thousand one hundred. But I need bifurcation. I will have to check the question for that matter. So, if I check the question, eighty thousand one hundred. I can see it is a sixty-three nine hundred, ten thousand eight hundred, sixty-three nine hundred. Then you can see it is uh, 10,800, 5,400. What is scrap, sir? Scrap is given on the credit side of the process account. 1,21,600. It is 1,21,600. Okay. Then we have equivalent output also, which is this. It will come from here to here. Okay. Let us calculate now. 63900 plus 756900 minus this 
to one. This time our process account will tally. Yeah, your total CPU in order to make one unit, you will have to incur seven rupees. That is four plus two plus one. So you guys will have to incur seven rupees. Okay, so here we go. So that is my answer, which is seven rupees per unit. Okay, sir. Now what to do? So first of all, we got this. Now the last statement, that is statement showing apportionment of cost that I will have to make. Let us make that statement. Statement showing apportionment of cost. Oh, I will have to turn the page. So I will wait for you just in case you haven't written. Okay, I hope uh, this much is written. Now let us go to the next statement. That is statement showing cost per unit. Allocation of cost, sorry. Statement showing allocation or apportionment, whatever I used to write. Let's write that same sentence again and again. Apportionment of cost. Acha. When you say statement showing apportionment of cost, now I uh, will ask someone and that fellow will give me the answer. So, uh, Vidhi, I need this answer. What is the value of uh, uh, amount of uh, that is value of amount uh, output transfer to next process? What is the value of this? 158,000 units. Tell me. Vidhi. Or at least say yes or no so that I will come to know that you are there. <coughs> okay, so she is not there. Okay, Yash. What is the value of uh, this 1,58,000 units? Okay, others, uh, Krish, Priyam, right answer. Others can send me in DM, Vedant, right? Hi, Yash, please answer. Archie Vaishnavi right, Arfit right, Nishi right, Deepak okay, uh, Deep sorry, Deep you should have sent it to uh, in DM actually not everyone, okay. Vidhi where were you, I like at least you should, you should have said yes or no that is okay, Yash okay again you said yes okay then, okay, then now. <coughs> 1,58,000 units. First, I will say output transfer to next process. See, the process is very simple. What you guys will have to do is this thing, this rows will be multiplied by this CPUs. Okay. Because it is common 1,58. Instead of multiplying individually, you can go for 7 directly. A. Output. transferred to next processor Ketana units has been transferred 1,58,000 into 7 so that becomes uh, double one zero six triple zero. that is 11,6,000 yes sir after output transfer to next process, if you refer this statement, if you refer this statement, you will understand the next thing is closing WIP. So let us write down closing WIP. Now in closing WIP, because there are different units, so I can say particulars, then material, labor, overheads. So, I can say that closing WIP may particulars, material, labor and overhead. Uh, Vaishnavi, let me check. Yeah, uh, that is uh, right answer. Okay. So, now it is easy. You just need to pick up the quantities. You just need to multiply by CPU and you will get the answer. Okay. Asta, Aryan, right answer. Priyam, 9. 
just check there must be some calculation error okay closing WIP you will have to write equivalent production whatever is your equivalent production that will be multiplied by CPU let's check so in closing WIP I can see that I can see that uh, yeah there are 18,000 units 100% material is used worker have worked only worker uh, workers have worked only for 70% so that 70% has been calculated it is uh, 12,600 so 18,000 12,600 12,600 What is my CPU? If work uh, material is used 4 rupees per unit, here it is 2 rupees per unit, here it is 1 rupee per unit. Just multiply. 18,000 into 4, that becomes 72,000. 12,600 into 2, that becomes 25,200. 12,600 into 1, that becomes 12,600. And just take the total. That is uh, 109800, which is 109800, sir. Yes, Arpit Vedant. Okay. Fair enough. So we are done with sir output transfer to next process. Yes, sir. We are done with the closing WIP. Yes, sir. Now the another thing is C, which is your abnormal gain. Achha, just one thing from your side. Tell me for abnormal gain, which approach you will follow, which is better approach number one or approach number two. You will get the same answer, but which is simple, uh, easy approach, approach one or two. First wala. Why you can follow first approach? Because units are same. You can see this. It is 1200, 1200, 1200. So simple. 1200. And to manufacture one unit, you incur 7 rupees. So 1200 units are produced. Extra units. For every unit, I can say 7 rupees I incur. So this is the benefit I have got. 8400. Now you can copy this. Your uh, account will tally. Otherwise, I will take this as a balancing figure. Theek hai? Uh, 8400 will be written as a balancing figure. First, I will write 11,6000. Okay, sir. Then what I will write is this uh, 109800. So, just in case anything is pending at your end, please copy this. Okay, so I hope uh, that much is written now. Uh, fair enough, 1200 into 7, 8400. Now let's uh, take the total. Uh, let's take abnormal gain as a balancing figure, which is last step. Yes, it is 8400. You can cross check. That answer is there. We have calculated. And it is telling. The reason is your CPU is not in fraction. If this is in fraction, then there is a possibility your answer may differ. There your answer can be 840102. There is a possibility. This time that is not the case. Okay. So that is the solution. So generally one question takes around 38 to 40 minutes. Okay. Again, this took around 37 minutes we can say. Okay, fair enough, done with this. Okay guys, uh, now let's start with the next part where the questions will be based on your equivalent production. Okay, equivalent production. But here the method which you will follow is FIFO method. And when you know, when you follow FIFO method, we have discussed. There is a FIFO method, there is a weighted average method. When you follow weighted average method, last period, current period, it is uh, like combined and then you think. In totality, thinking is there. But uh, when it is a FIFO method that these are separated last the rate which is there it is a separate rate like you will have a last year ka rate which is allah se last period rate your focus will be to calculate the current period ka cost so current period ka rate will be calculated and at the end you will add that last period ka cost while uh, uh, making that statement of apportionment of cost you will understand this 
do not worry let us solve this question so that you will so that you will have a practice okay let us do one thing so let's go for this question okay so let us go for this question as to what a data is given in the question so you can see that here even before i read the data ha chalo let's read the data first so what is given sir the following data are available in respect of process 1 it means we need to make the process account sir it is clear okay it is to clear that we need to make process account for the october month theek hai uh opening wip is given that is okay degree of completion something okay because here it is written opening wip first of all this is clear the question is based uh, on process account in process also it is with wip now we need to check whether it is fifo method or whether it is weighted average method okay so at the end it is specified you can see that you need to make account using fifo method that is first in first out method yes sir so because it is fifo method let us make the format like that based on that that is a fifo method so let's make the format uh when you make the format it will be like this yeah uh 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 first of all uh, process account for 10 lines doesn't matter whether it is fifo method or lifo method process account will always be for 10 lines so let us make that format okay now let's give the heading as a process account acha name of the process is the name of the process is now uh, let us uh, make the account even before that let us check as to the name of the process so if i read the question it is process 1 it is specified process 1 so let us write process 1 then it will transfer output to process 2 then okay theek hai even before again we start reading here you will write to opening wip to opening wip to input material by normal loss by output transferred to because you know the name of the process you can write process 2 even, even if you write uh, next process that is okay by closing wip okay now having said that once you write this much now let's uh, just post the units or amount whatever it is from that question to this process account chalo having done this having done this first of all what is given opening wip 600 units sir at a cost of 4200 so 600 4200 chalo 600 4200 okay sir clear now ahead what is given ahead degree of completion of the opening wip it is not useful now it is useful when you make equivalent production statement theek hai as of now it is not useful okay sir so what is there input input at a total cost of 55200 and units are 9200 so 55200 ek second 9200 55200 okay so 9200 and 55200 okay then then what is given in the question is direct wages 18600 so here we go 18600 then overheads 8630 to labor and overheads or wages and overheads whatever you write labor and overhead Okay sir so this much data was there we are reading the question step number 1 read the question and whatever is there in the question just post it to the process account 
okay unit scrap again as i told you you can ignore unit scrap okay because we have designed in such a way our steps that is when you close the quantity column you will automatically come to know whether it is abnormal gain or not so you can ignore this as of now okay now then Closing WIP is 700 units. So please write it down. Closing WIP is 700 units, sir. Okay, sir. Then stage of completion. Again, that is useful when you make that equivalent production wala statement, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, 8,900 units were completed and transferred to the next processor. Okay. 8,900 units were completed and transferred to the next process. Okay, sir. Now, now, chalo. Let's move ahead. Normal loss is 4% of total input that is opening WIP plus units put in. So 4% of total input. Let us calculate total input is 600 opening 600, 9200 is current input. This is total input. And it is kitna percent? It is, it is 4% of that. So let us calculate 600 plus 9200 into 4%, 392. Now, if you sell 392 units into the market, sir, what is the value that you will receive? Uh, 392 units ke liye. You are going to receive 6 rupees per unit. So, 392 into 6, that is uh, 2352. That is 2352. That is the amount that you will receive. Okay, sir. Now, what's ahead? What's ahead? After doing this, now, I need this value. I need this value. Okay. And then I can see that here after that. Now, I read entire question. Uh, the posting is done. Now, you are required to what? Prepare equivalent production. Okay, sir. You are required to prepare CPU. Then, cost of abnormal uh, loss. That we need to calculate. That is as a balancing figure. It will be calculated as a balancing figure. Cost of WIP units transfer. That will come in the process account. In simple words, they are saying make the process account. Where you will show the value of uh, abnormal loss or abnormal gain, value of closing WIP and value of units transferred. Okay, sir. So, this much is clear. So, in nutshell, we need to make that entire thing. That is the solution we can say at the end, which is required. Okay. Once you read the entire question, we know that at the end it is written FIFO method. So, I let me just write here method. Method which we are going to follow this time is not a weighted average method. It is a FIFO method. And when you talk about FIFO method, we'll think only about current period. Chalo, hai. Achha, one thing is pending. Can you tell me, sir? You forgot one step, sir. Ye kar... Closing of the quantity column. Exactly. So step number one is done after step number one. Once you read the entire question, step number two is close quantity column. Let us close 392 plus 8900 plus 700. That is Nine 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 two. You please uh, take these totals at your end. Okay. Aisa nahi ki sir likh rahe to apun chapega. Okay. One ninety two will be your balancing figure, which is the two abnormal gain. Yes, this is your balancing figure. Okay. Now we know what to do with the abnormal gain. If it is abnormal gain, guys, it is always subtracted and it is always hundred percent. Now, 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 thing is. When you make statement showing equivalent production, I need this value also. Okay, first of all, in FIFO method, will you bifurcate 8900? Yes or no? Will you bifurcate? Yes. yes, it is a FIFO method. Tell me the first bifurcation out of 8900. Pile, what will you complete in FIFO method? Opening WIP 600. Then the remaining will be from the current. Take care. So that bifurcation will be done. That's it. So now, when you make this a statement showing equivalent production, because now this 8900 will have a bifurcation, you need two extra lines. Okay. Chalo. Statement showing equivalent production. Statement showing. Equivalent production. Achha. When you say it is a statement showing equivalent production, here yeah, we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sir.
material labor overheads percentages units percentages units now now this time you please understand you please understand that okay now this time you please understand because it is a FIFO method you will think only about the current period what is the work which is done in the current period your thinking will change please understand this now you will think about the current period okay now first let me write this a output transferred to process 2 we have made 8900 units let me check yes sir sir that will be in two parts that will be in two parts part a part b that is the first one is you will complete opening wip so opening wip completed whatever wip was there you just finish it off first now first in this is first in let's complete it it is 600 units so when I can, when, if I say that I have completed 8900 units in the current period, first I will complete whatever was pending that is opening WIP and the remaining will be which is started in this current year and completed also in the current year that is started and completed. So I can say that uh, 8900 minus 600 that is 8300. Maybe because writing, we are writing it for the first time. So just in case you have a doubt, I will show you that calculation. It is 8900 minus 600. If you have any doubt, you can write it somewhere else. That is not a part of solution. That is just for your understanding. We completed 8900. We have this bifurcation of that. Now, the other thing is normal. We will say B and C. There is closing WIP. And then there is a abnormal gain. Yes, sir. What is your closing WIP? 700. What is your abnormal gain? It is a 192. Okay, sir. First of all, now if I talk about abnormal gain, abnormal gain. Okay. Now, uh, Priyam. Uh, tell me uh, abnormal gain what will you write in percentages 100% okay and uh, then okay chalo theek hai so let's write that 100% right okay hundred percent hundred percent because it is abnormal again no need to worry and yeah when you write this 192 192 second thing will be because it is abnormal again it will be subtracted there should not be any doubt we can say like this this is on the one side this is on the another side logically also it is explained but still so it will be subtracted 192 will be subtracted okay now now because 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 now i am following fifo method i will think what is the work which is done in the current period okay current period now now maybe uh, ab aapko yaad aayega ki whether you are whether you will remember this or not that is the challenge so now uh, first of all here i can give you for your reference that we need to leave six lines okay Okay, now if I talk about this 600, 600, I want to know what is the work which is done in the current period, okay? When these units were there at the beginning, okay? So what was the work which was done when these units were at the beginning? Material was 100%, labor was 60% and overhead was 60%. Now I have completed these units. So tell me, in this case, here when I write, here when I write, what are the percentages, Nishi? Huh? Labor will be 40% uh, yeah, wages will be 40% and overhead will be 40%. Exactly. What I can say is I want to know what is the work which is done in the current period. It was already 100% complete so no work is done. It was 60% complete now it is fully completed. It means 40% work is done in the current period. Okay. So please write accordingly. So I will write like this. This is 100% in remaining that is 60% or sorry 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 100% work was done. So now no work is done in the current period. 
60% work was earlier done. So now we did only 40% remaining work is completed here. 60% work was completed in the last period, sir. We just completed 40% in this period. My thinking is current period. What is the work which is done in the current period? Okay. Sir, what is the work which is done on this 8300 units? These are started only in this period and completed also in this period. It means it is always 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. So just in case you would like to know that, uh, you see, there we have a summary. I will give you that idea when you follow this FIFO method. See, it is written opening WIP, whatever percentages which are given in the question, don't write this as it is. Percentage is given in the question minus 100. You will write 60 was given in the question minus 100. You wrote 40. Okay. For work started and completed, you will always write 100 percent because it is started in the current period, completed also in the current period. Closing WIP, whatever percentages which is given in the question. So if I talk about percentages given in the question for closing WIP. So it is this. You can see closing WIP. It was 0, 0, 0. It is started in the current period. 100% 70, 70. You can write as it is. This is the work which is done in the current period. 100%, 70%, 70%. Sure. Let's take the top. Uh, like, let's calculate this unit 600 into 40 percent 240 So, it did 8808, then 8838, 8838. Okay, fine. It is very, very important. Please don't forget this 100% and it is always subtracted abnormal gain. Always subtracted and always 100%. Chalo. Now, just go to the rough and calculate the material ka CPU. Just for your, like, I just want, want to see how many people can calculate this CPU. Please remember one thing, we are calculating the current period ka cost now, P4 method it is. So what is current period ka CPU? Yes, Vedan, that is right answer. Archie, that is right answer. Vaishnavi, right. Okay, so let's go for this now we need to make one statement which is statement showing cpu after equivalent production let us make one statement which is statement showing cpu Chalo. statement showing cost per unit particulars then Material, labor, overheads. Now, now when you write cost incurred in, I hope you understand that now because we follow FIFO method, my objective is to calculate the current period cost. What is the cost in, what is the work? This is something which is work done in the current period, I would like to know what is the cost which is incurred in the current period, okay? So therefore, you will ignore the last period cost, you will only write uh, current period. It is a FIFO method this time, okay? Last period won't come, so current period minus scrap, everything will be same. You will get net cost which is incurred in the current period divided by what is the work which is done in the current period, that is equivalent production. You will get current period ka CPU, current period ka total CPU. So that is how your format will look like. Okay, so that is what it is. The cost incurred in the current period minus crap, you get net cost divided by equivalent production, you get CPU. Okay, having done this, what is the cost which is incurred in the current period? We know it from the process account, you can get this, it is this. 
Okay, this is the cost incurred in the current period, sir. Uh, is there any amount that we have recovered as a scrap? Yes, process account credit side. You can see it is uh, two three five two. What is your equivalent production? Eight eight zero eight 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 uh, three eight. Round off up to four decimals, whatever is your answer. Exec. nine seven six five okay now having done this now if you calculate the total cpu if you calculate the total cpu that will be six plus two point one zero four five plus point nine seven six five that becomes nine point zero eight one yes this will be your total cpu so we are done with the equivalent production we are done with the cpu guys now we will go for the next statement that is statement showing apportionment of cost okay i will give you some time i will give you some time what i want from your side is after writing this i need this output which is transferred to next process i need a value of this 8900 please try 8900 this is quantity in the process account what will be the value Let's see how many of you will get the right answer. Please calculate. Or uh, Krish, uh, that is not the answer. No. Vaishnavi, Nahi. Chalo. Ah, nahi. No, no. Okay, chalo. I will wait. Vedant, Nahi. Archi, Nahi. Uh, Vaishnavi, just a second. Vaishnavi, you are just one step away from the final answer, and that is a common mistake which happens. Okay, fine. Or pet nai. Chalo, dekh that. Let's have a look. Let us make the statement. Statement showing apportionment of cost. statement showing apportionment
अच्छा when you say statement saying apportionment of cost it is nothing but uh, sir multiplication of above two statements earlier two statement yes rationally that is right answer chalo kisi ek ko to aaya so fine now understand it is nothing but multiplication of these two so i can say uh, these two statements statement number 1 statement number 2 you need to understand one thing when you got this cpu the cpu is not weighted average cpu this is the cpu of the current period okay it is work done in the current period cost incurred in the current period so this is the cost which is incurred in the current period for one unit chalo theek hai i would like to know this i would like to know this value 8900 ka value what is the value of 8900 but before that i know that this 8900 has been divided into two parts if i get value of 600 if i get value of 8300 i will get value of 8900 yes so first of all write that heading Output transfer to process two is eight thousand nine hundred. So please give that heading over here. Sir, I sent you one more. No, Astani, Arpit, no. Okay. Output transfer to next or process two. Which is eight thousand nine hundred units. Okay. Now, if I talk about this eight thousand nine hundred, sir, it is divided into two parts. Okay. The first part is opening WIP. Completed. You can have a look that uh, in that equivalent production cost statement. Opening WIP completed. So, how many units, sir? P four method, na? So, there were six hundred units. ठीक है. Now you can check that when you talk about opening WIP completed. Here it will be particulars, material, labor, overheads, equivalent production multiplied by CPU. So you will write like this: output transfer to the next process. Then you will say opening WIP. Oh. Uh, 8900 has been divided into two parts first of all i am calculating the cost of 600 which is opening wip it is a fifo method so first we will complete this so now when you completed this what is the work which is done in the current period sir ek second why there is a sudden change So now, uh, now if I talk about this uh, here, opening WIP. If I talk about this opening WIP, six hundred units. You can see that what is the work which is done in the current period, sir? No material work is done because it was already hundred percent complete with reference to material. So in the current period, no work is done. Okay, it was sixty percent complete. So we did fifty, forty, forty percent work, which is remaining work. It means worker have completed two forty units and two forty units here. I can say two forty and two forty forty percent. And as and when worker is working on one unit, how much you pay him per unit? Two point this this is the rate which is paid to the worker. Whatever we have calculated in CPU, so that will be the rate which is paid to the worker. Now. Let's calculate two forty into two point one zero four five. That is a five zero. Ah, uh, I will just round it to five zero five. Then two forty into point nine seven six five. Two three four. That becomes seven thirty nine. Acha. Now tell me. This CPU is a weighted average CPU, or that is the last period plus current period का CPU, or this is the CPU or the cost per unit which is of current year, current period, yeah. current period. So I can say that this is the cost which is incurred in the current period. But I hope you understand. If I talk about one cake, today you have incurred six hundred rupees or four hundred rupees because you completed forty percent work, but sixty percent work was done yesterday. When you incurred six hundred rupees, now if I ask you today, what is the cost of the total cost of the cake? You want to add it hundred rupees ka margin, then you will sell it in the market. 
what will you say what is your cost for that matter is it 400 or is it 1000 1000 now you will say 1000 is total cost i have incurred i will sell it for 1100 so it doesn't matter even though cost is incurred in the previous period still it is a cost now which is company has incurred so company will recover it from the customer same way so here also i can say that on this 600 units sir this is the cost uh, which is incurred in the current period sir but some portion was completed some portion in the sense i can say 100 percent material 60% labor and overhead was completed in the previous period and at that time I have incurred some cost sir. Kitna cost you have incurred sir. You have incurred 4200. You can see this in the process account debit side. Cost incurred in the previous period. That is I can say plus period cost. And then you will get the total cost of this 600 units. On this 600 units, 739 incurred in the current period, 4200 incurred in the past period. So 4939, I can say it is the total cost which is incurred in the, in the, I can say that in totality we have incurred this much cost. Uh, you can check that if you refer that earlier one question, you will understand something like this was done. I hope you remember this. Okay. Abhi thoda yaad aa gaya rahega. No, I want to know, I want to know the value of 8,900. Out of that, I have calculated a value of 600. Now, so if I here, again, if I refer this statement, value of 600 is done. I want to know value of started and completed. So let's give the second heading, which is started and completed. So these are those units we have started in the current period, completed also in the current period. Sir, how many units? Sir? You can check that these are 8300 units. Okay. Multiply by. Sir, as and when you produce one full unit, how much cost you incurred in totality in the current period? 9.081. 9.081. Just multiply this. That is the seven five three seven two. Seven five three seven two plus four nine three nine. That becomes eight zero three one one. This will be my answer. I wanted to know the cost of eight thousand nine hundred. So I calculated first cost of six hundred, then eight thousand three hundred, and I added that. And then I got cost of 8,900. This will be the value. Okay. Uh, the, your thinking will change. Now, here obviously, here you will not say only current year ka cost will come. Cost to cost, hota hai, total cost will be written. This is current period ka cost. This is last period ka cost. And then you will say this is your total cost. Yes. And this value will be written on the debit side of the process account 80311. Next is what you need to calculate the cost of WIP. You, you will give that heading closing WIP. Please write this much if it is pending. Or oh, Asta, you can ignore the fraction for amount. Fraction will be considered only for CPU. If the final amount is there, we can round it off the amount. There is no need to because okay, the reason is simple. Because if you round off the CPU, it will be multiplied by some quantity. Then it will have a higher impact. Okay, sir. Huh. So for amount, we can round it off. That is okay. Okay. Hmm. Now, sure. Uh, now here we go. Uh, now we will calculate for what? We will calculate for uh, output transfer. Ke baad. We will say closing WIP. Okay, sir. So when you say closing WIP, again the format is like this, particulars, quantity, material, particulars, then you will say material, labor, overheads. Okay. Equivalent production multiplied by CPU. Yes, you will get the total cost. Now, here if I say, uh, what is your closing WIP ka quantity? So here if you see, 
क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी का क्वान्टिटी विल बी दिस विच इज सेवन हंड्रेड फोर नाइन्टी फोर नाइन्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वट इज द कॉस्ट विच इज इन कर्ड तो हियर इट इज सिक्स यू कैन सी दैट एंड दीज टू विल कम फ्रॉम हियर दैट इज Yes, just calculate seven hundred into six. That is four thousand two hundred. That is one zero three one four seven eight. Five seven zero nine. Okay, so you will say five seven zero nine. Again, that will be written over here. In the process account credit side, which is five seven zero nine. Now, if you see the statement showing equivalent production, there is one more thing which is there. That is abnormal gain and loss. So abnormal gain is there because it is gain. Units are similar. You can check that uh, for material labor and overhead. So you can go for a shortcut. Yeah, in this case, uh, this amount which is here, and when you take it as a balancing figure, it will not tally, sir. It will not tally. There will be some difference because the CPU is in fraction. You can see the CPU is in fraction. Sure. Uh, let's do one thing. Uh, let us calculate the value of this. Uh, one ninety-two units into we know the rate. One ninety two units and the rate is nine point zero eight one. That is a one seven four four, or as a balancing figure. I will have to close the process account. Then I will get that balancing figure. Just close it and you will get the figure. Okay. एक हाथ दो रुपए का यू विल गेट आइडर वन और टू रुपीज का डिफरेंस इट डिपेंड्स कि हियर यू हैव राउंडेड ऑफ दैट वन रुपी और नॉट सो एक हाथ दो रुपए का डिफरेंस आएगा दैट इज ओके आई थिंक यू विल गेट टू रुपीज का डिफरेंस लेट मी चेक एट एट थ्री सेवेंटी टू There is some mistake. Okay, so that is one seven four two, and here it that there it was one seven four four I think. Hmm. So if something you want me to show, you can tell me. Okay. हम्म यू कैन टेक वन हाँ बोलो तो वो एक आ रहा है वन जीरो थ्री वन पॉइंट टू और दूसरा आ रहा है फोर सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट समझा वो समझा यू कैन डू दैट इफ यू वन दैट इज़ ओके मतलब वैस है चलेगा कोई ऐसा प्रॉब्लम नहीं हो एक हाथ दो रुपए के लिए दैट इज़ मतलब उतना बड़ा ये नहीं होगा दैट इज़ ओके अगर वो तो
okay i hope uh, this much is done here we go this is the process account okay done okay uh, let's read the question now this question is based on missing figure guys so please pay attention okay uh, let's read the question akash limited manufactures chemical solutions for the food processing industry theek hai there is one company who manufactures uh, chemicals chemicals and all theek hai that is okay uh, the manufacturing process takes place in number of processes and the company uses fifo method first of all the only thing which is relevant for me is we use fifo method that's it there is one company which uses fifo method that is the only thing which is important and one more thing because there are number of processes this indicates that there will be a process account because there are processes okay and there is a wip also you can see that method to value the wip and finish good so this question so the things are more clear to you that there is we can say there are number of processes that is a process account there is a fifo method and there is a weighted uh, wip based on wip this question is there which we which has wip process account will have wip at the end of the last month a fire occurred in the factory and destroyed some of the paper so you can see that destroyed some of the paper it means it is like a single entry some data will be available something will not be available it means it is a question based on missing figure and if the question is based on missing figure now let's see how you will solve this okay now uh, first this is clear if it is a fifo method you will think only about the current period when you solve this question theek hai chalo records of the manufacturing operations for the month so some data which is there uh, some data is destroyed because of the fire which is occurred okay theek hai now 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 akash limited needs your help so akash limited is asking to you for your help okay to make the process account so what is the requirement of the question is this whatever is requirement or it is always preferable if you just underline that or you put that in bracket this is the requirement of the question we need to make the process account for the month during which the fire has occurred theek hai so what we gonna do is guys we have to make the process account okay sir we will do that you have been able to gather some of the information about the month's operating activities we have got some information theek hai some of the information could have not been retrieved due to the damage so some information is there some information is not there so i can say that because there is a fire occurred because of fire some information is there some information is not there now what all information is there first of all question is clear process account wip fifo method process account with wip fifo method okay sir now what is the data that is given opening wip at the beginning units are given 800 theek hai and some value is given theek hai uh, let us do one thing even before we read the question let's read the required part first so that you will have idea are aapne ko ye ye banane ka hai karke we need to make this first you need to make that uh, calculate what you need to do is calculate the quantity of raw material inputs acha generally raw material input is given in the question but sir here it will not be given you will have to calculate something which appears here on the debit side input material quantity that is not there that is something guys that you will have to calculate okay chalo let us uh, stick to the first requirement there are other requirements also theek hai so uh, one thing is very sure one thing is very sure sir if the question is based on process account so they are asking for what they are asking for process account let us make the process account so for how many lines the so process account is always made for 10 lines so chalo let us make the process account for 10 lines chalo Uh, the name of the process is not given so you can just write process account 
let me check whether it is written or not somewhere process a b c d i saw kuch diya hai kya nahi no i can see so you can just write process account chalo what all things come that we know let's just uh, write it down first you will say input uh, nahi sir first will be opening wip then sir to input material then by normal loss then by output transferred to next process by closing wip so this is something first we will write five elements now let's read the question what is there if it is a process account this is something which is about to come this is a basic format now let's read ahead what is given in the question sir let's read ahead chalo chalo the first thing which is given is the first thing which is given is opening a wip at the beginning of the month is 800 liters so you can see that 800 liters is opening wip it is in liters okay then uh 70% complete for labor and 60% complete for overhead stick hai opening wip is valued at this amount so quantity is also given and value is also given of opening wip 800 liters is quantity and 26640 is the value so 800 liters and the value is 26640 chalo after doing this after doing this let us read ahead now 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 Closing WIP at the end of the month was 160 liters. Acha, so sir, quantity is given. Then 30% complete for labor and 20% complete for overhead. So quantity is given, which is 160. Let me write quantity is 160 for closing WIP. Yes, sir, this is clear. Closing WIP quantity 160. Chalo. Done. then 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 guys there is a normal loss is a 10% of input and total losses during the month were 1800 partly due to the fire damage now first of all when only input is written now very important thing when you say input sir what is that input is uh, they are talking about when they say input that is very important so input means what tell me now only input is written here there is opening wip and here there is a uh, input material this is 100 let us say this is uh, 1000 so uh, when you say it is 10% so you will take on 1100 or you will take this on 1000 10% 1000 because only input is written okay if something like this is written that normal loss is 10% of total input including opening wip then you will go for 1100 which is total input including opening wip but if only input is written that means sir it is current input which input current input very very important acha so that will be current input it means now by this i can tell you that when you calculate normal loss sir there are four possibilities sir how many possibilities four see there is one thing there is one point which i had to explain that is this calculation of normal loss let me explain this when you talk about calculation of normal loss let me explain you this okay now see it is given in the question opening wip is 100 uh, input material is uh, 500 and then closing wip is 150 chalo uh, to uh, let's not explain this there is one more question that will come after that i will explain okay as of now i am not explaining this Uh, there are four method for normal loss calculation that will be explained as of now let us focus upon this question only acha but i don't know the input i don't know the input sir it is given that normal loss is 10% of input but input we don't know that is something they are asking for there is a fire which is occurred and we don't have that information theek hai what is my input theek hai acha tell me because there is a fire so total losses during the month are 1800 and partly due to the fire damage so tell me in this question whether there will be abnormal gain or abnormal loss tell me this yes, abnormal loss 
of normal loss please you should be understanding that there are 1800 units which which is actual loss and this actual loss includes partly due to fire damage when i say partly due to fire damage it means there will be something which will be normal there will be something which will be abnormal 18 so this is partly due to fire damage that will be abnormal loss okay sir this much is clear it means in this question there will be abnormal loss that is very much clear yes sir sir output a transferred to the next process output is sent to the finished goods warehouse was 4200 it is this 4200 4200 we have transferred these to the next process yes sir okay sir sir particular may by abnormal loss okay sir particular may acha chalo let's write that in that chalo we can do this by abnormal loss because we read that ki there will be a loss by fire ki wajah se to uh, we wrote this acha abnormal loss now once you this is uh, once you see that there is abnormal loss okay now uh, losses have a scrap value of 15 ye to jab pata chalega tab kaam aayega na normal loss pehle aana to chahiye fir multiply by 15 karenge theek hai we don't know the normal loss quantity as of now so you cannot multiply by 15 all raw materials are added at the beginning you know what is the meaning of that all mean, it means material will be 100% complete if it is a closing wip material will be always 100% if percentages are given this will be for labor and overhead then because entire material is put at the beginning only like a cloth when you go for a shirt okay when you go to the tailor for a shirt you have to give entire material at the beginning okay then so even this sentence is not mentioned it is assumed right material is 100 percent uh, no, uh, we cannot uh, in this question you can see if i tell you like this closing wip is 60 percent and nothing is mentioned then you have to assume material, labor and overhead. Everything is 60%. Hello. But there is one more sentence which is written that materials are put at the beginning. Then in that case, this 60% applies only to labor and overhead. Okay, sir. Because it is written material at the beginning. It means entire material is used at the beginning. Okay. Now, this is which cost per unit? This is cost per equivalent unit. Cost per equivalent units means net cost whatever is your cost divided by your equivalent units you did and then you got this CPU which is cost per unit. There is one statement which we prepare for this. This is directly given in the question which is 39. Okay. Chalo. Uh, then they are asking for required. Chalo. Uh, I think that you can get this answer. What is your input quantity? Please go in the rough and calculate. I feel you can do this. I need this. You can do this. Sir, I send you one answer. Is it correct? Let me check. Oh, uh, Archie, right answer. Krish, right answer. Then Nishi, right answer. Uh, Moksha, right answer. Okay, fine. So you got the point. Like you know that, so total loss is eighteen hundred. Then when I say total loss, it means it includes normal also and abnormal also. So even though I don't know this, I don't know this, but I know the total of this. This total is eighteen hundred. So once I know this, generally abnormal loss is taken as a balancing figure. Okay, but if I know this total of this is eighteen hundred, I can take the total over here. I can take the total and uh, input can be taken as a balancing figure. But guys, I will have to show the working. So that's why I am making the working over here. Pahala. I will calculate a uh, quantity of input material. Quantity of input material. Huh. We will make only quantity column over here. We will make only quantity column over here. Let us make the process account but with the quantity column only. Because we need to calculate input quantity. It can be made for 5 lines. So, 
please make this format quantity of input material you will say process a uh, particular quantity particular quantity now what we know is this opening wip you can write to to take opening wip then there is input material they are asking for this only input material quantity acha i don't know what is my normal loss and abnormal but i know what is my total loss total loss or i can specify total actual loss when i say total actual loss it is nothing but normal loss plus abnormal loss okay it is a total of that which is 1800 then output transport to next process or instead of next process what i can write is see here what is written is output sent to the finished goods so this must be the last process you should understand this must be the last process so in this case instead of next process what you can write is output transfer to finished goods it is written output transfer to warehouse so that change can be done output transfer to finished goods so uh, that is uh, 4200 liters which we have the data for there is a 160 which is closing wip so now let's take the total 1800 plus 4200 plus 160 that is 6160 6160 we have opening wip guys which is 800 that becomes 5360 so here we have your input material which is 5360 okay sir it is clear very much clear input material is 5360 okay this is taken as a balancing figure so put that in bracket and write, you can write as a balancing figure so this is taken as a balancing figure here we go then uh, once we are done with this uh, once we are done with this now here we go uh, i know this so now i can write it down 5360 if you want you can uh, write in bracket as to point number 1 or that is okay 5360 we have got now the question arises first please complete this if it is pending okay okay 5360 is written as a balancing figure now guys second requirement of the question again i think you can handle this calculate the quantity in liters of normal loss expected from the process and the quantity of abnormal loss so uh, they are asking for normal loss quantity and abnormal loss quantity and i think you can bifurcate that 1800 quantity is given which is actual loss we just need to bifurcate so please normal loss kitna rahega bolo yeah uh, krish that is right answer others please try they are asking for quantity of normal and abnormal losses vaishnavi okay right vedant right i want this bifurcation of 1800 to normal loss kitna agar puchu to what is the normal loss quantity again nishi that is right vedant fine a uh, deep right answer chalo so that is easy chalo let's go for this the second requirement of the question if i read what is this quantity of normal loss and abnormal loss so just give the heading quantity sir sir ye sab ke alag se working notes hi batane hain you have to because pucha gaya to you will have to make the working calcium pe sara ho sakta hai but you will have to show the working okay okay sir hmm. so when you say you guys will have to calculate uh, normal loss and abnormal loss quantity first let us calculate normal loss quantity acha when you say normal loss quantity sir how will you calculate that it is very easy something was given in the question normal loss is normal loss is it was given in the question if you read here 10% of input you can see that it was written normal loss is 10% of input i do know that now what is my input it is input into 10% theek hai my input is 5360 so 
so into 10 percent that will be 536 liters okay so i got this 536 now i want to know the abnormal thing either you can take this as a balancing figure but because they are asking specifically i will show that working also abnormal now where I can see that input into sorry 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 whatever is my total loss if I subtract normal loss from that whatever is my total loss if I subtract abnormal loss I will get my uh, uh, sorry from my total loss if I subtract my normal loss I will get my abnormal loss so 1800 is my total loss out of that 536 is my normal which was expected but because of fire I can say these are extra units which are scrapped which is this this is abnormal okay so that is uh, 536 and 1 to 6 so this is my abnormal loss okay once you know this quantity you can just copy here 1 to 6 4 it can be taken balancing figure here also but because it was a specific requirement in the question i showed the working that is a preferable if you show the working okay now guys we are done with the quantity like you can see that this question is little bit different as compared to the other question why sir you can see that information is not given like this step number one two three four some final information something is missing in between okay so now after doing this, uh, chalo, uh, if I tell you, if I tell you, now what can be done? So the first requirement is done, second requirement, now third requirement. Calculate the values of the raw material, labor and overhead added to the process during the month. We want to know this. Achha. Chalo, try and tell me what will be the value. अगर आंसर तुम्हारा एक मिनट में आ गया मतलब वो रॉन्ग आंसर है। If you get the answer within a minute, it means that is a wrong answer. It will take some time. Vaishnavi nahi Vaishnavi I told you if you give answer within a minute that will be wrong for sure because that process will take some time many people must be thinking sir 23 is given into 5360 no that is not the case that's why I told you if you get the answer within a minute that will be the wrong answer now what to do at least someone can explain me sir do this do this and you will get the answer I would like to know this value crystal clear we still have some doubt we can see that even it can be this can be done at your end but maybe you are not able to think the way you should actually Anyone play uh, with the processor, do this and then do this. Chalo, I will give you the process, then, then the, at least after that you have to give me the answer. Tell me. First of all, what is given in the question? Is it normal CPU? Please now listen to me carefully and then you will give me the answer. Okay, now at least after giving the brief about the process. Uh, Archie, nahi. Achha, suno. Uh, Vedant, nahi. Okay, now so no, please listen to this. Uh, here, what is given is this raw material WIP in overhead ka CPU. But this CPU is for equivalent output. Now understand how do you get equivalent output? So can I say that it is a FIFA method? It means cost incurred in the current period minus crap. You get net cost divided by equivalent production. Then you get CPU. 
which is cost per unit of equivalent production so this is there 23 if you go reverse you can calculate the cost incurred in the current period but in order to go reverse first of all uh, have they provided us with the scrap value yes you can get that have they provided us with the equivalent production no so please calculate for material in rough equivalent production then write it down then go reverse so do some calculations bolo hello i sent you one answer for current year material cost nahi that is not the right answer so i want to know this the cost incurred in the current period chalo i gave you the process now let's see how many of you can calculate this now i expect at least answer from one student at least i gave you the process they have given us a cpu which is a second cpu you have to go reverse you need to find out the cost Should I start? I think, or you guys are calculate. Okay, wait, fine. Uh, Vedant, that is right answer. Vedant gave right answer. Moksha, Nai. Vaishnavi, Nahi. Arpit, Nai. 131320. 11095219. I don't know what you did. Okay. Chal, let me start now. Okay, here we go. Now listen to me this, uh, listen to this, uh, now let us go for the thing, uh, I need this, I need this. First let, let us make that equivalent production wala statement, it will help us. Now we guys are going for the third requirement that is calculate the value of raw material labor and overhead. You can give the heading, value of raw material labor and overhead. Requirement number 1, 2, now requirement number 3, we are talking about requirement number 3, value of. raw material comma labor and overhead so value of raw material labor and overhead if you talk about first of all for that matter you guys let us make two statements the first will will be statement showing equivalent production okay one thing should be in your mind guys we gonna follow FIFO method that should be very clear in your mind we are following FIFO method and when you follow FIFO method you will think only about the current period okay let us uh, write that now okay uh, rg9 okay take it now please make the statement statement showing equivalent production statement uh, showing uh, equivalent production Okay, when you say statement showing equivalent production, you just need to check the process account has to how many expenses are there. There are three material, labor and overhead. You can see the expenses. There are three. They are asking for these three values only. So three. So I can see that here we go. 
नो गाइस बिकॉज नो दिस इक्विवेलेंट प्रोडक्शन इज एज पर पी फोर मेथड यू हैव टू लाइन टू यू हैव टू लीव टू एक्स्ट्रा लाइन दैट इज सिक्स लाइन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स so you will write percentages units percentages units material labor and overhead and yeah we have the format ready now guys uh, you should think as to what what are the things are going to come okay let me just change the color so that it will look good okay chalo let us start with the first part acha sir when you say first part what you need to do is you need to calculate these 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 values okay first is output transferred to next process so please give the heading output uh, transfer to finish goods how many units sir you transferred how many units you have transferred 4200 now now what happens this 4200 units will be divided into two parts because it is a fee for method okay you should be very clear when you make statement showing equivalent production na you should be very clear whether it is fee for method or weighted average method in this question if you refer the last line or somewhere in the middle it was specified you can see that it is a fee for method that is how it was specified let me highlight that again that company follows a fee for method okay so in the second line it was highlighted so now here we go now uh, the thing is when you produce this 4200 it is a fee for method so first you will complete this 800 and then the remaining will be completed from current year input so when i say 4200 4200 yeah uh, first you will say opening wip completed then you will say started and completed acha When you say opening WIP completed, sir, how many units? Eight uh, hundred. First, you complete these units. So now I can say that you guys have, you guys have. Again, I will show for your reference that you guys have four thousand two hundred units which are completed. So eight hundred subtracted. So four thousand two hundred minus eight hundred that becomes three thousand four hundred. So three thousand four hundred units are started in this year and completed also in this year. Okay. Now. there is a b and c there is a closing wip and then there is abnormal loss how many units just to refer the question that will be 160 1264 one 160 1264 yes sir now no 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 because it is a p4 method what you need to do is sir you need to write work done in the current period now let's go for this when i say opening wip some information will be there in the question okay let us refer what they have given for opening wip let me read so 70% complete for uh, labor and 60% complete for overhead so it is very clear if it is 70% complete for labor so it was already completed okay so remaining portion will be done here now 30% and 40% 30 and 40 30% yeah avith reference to material whether you will write 100% or you will write nil anyone 100 or nil nil, nil. Be because material is put in the process at the beginning only that was a sentence which was written we can refer that to point number 6 all raw materials are added at the commencement so when i talk about opening wip entire material was added in the last period only when work was started in the current period no material is added nil acha if i talk about started and completed there is no need to worry it is something which is done in the current period 100% 0 to 100 100% work is done for closing wip material will be 100% 
even for abnormal loss material will be 100 percent because in the current period material is added at the beginning entire material now if i talk about closing wip what is labor and overhead so it was zero and we workers have completed around uh, you can see this 20 percent and 30 percent 20 30 as it is given in the question 30 and 20 let me check again uh, 30 percent for labor 30 20 Asha, for abnormal loss for abnormal loss you need to check whether they have written something that abnormal loss is this or that anything else have they provided anything else in the question no they haven't provided anything else for abnormal loss if they would have written units of uh, abnormal loss something like this would have been given unit scrapped okay and when you say unit scrap that percentages will be given 100% 80% now see what is given in the question is fired occurred tell me fired occurred in this so if i say fired is occurred tell me abnormal loss will be kitna percent you will write or in the absence of information what will you write 100 percent so if nothing is given you can write because it is a loss by fire sir. so entire unit will be uh, lost by fire we can say these, these are the damaged units or here you can write one sentence if question is silent then abnormal loss is equal to 100 percent shallow so having done that if question is silent then your abnormal loss is equal to 100 percent yes sir okay chalo let us calculate 80 into 30 percent 240 40 percent 320 Everyone, please calculate at your end. Please, this is abnormal loss, so it will be added. Okay, if it is abnormal gain, then only it will be subtracted. It is abnormal loss. So don't need to worry. So this is my data. Here we can see that abnormal. Oh. Statement showing equivalent production we have got now after that we have to make a statement showing CPU okay what we will have to make is statement showing CPU okay let us make that statement B statement showing CPU that is statement showing cost per unit Achha, so when you say a statement showing cost per unit then how will you do this so we know that it is which method first of all you have to ask it is a FIFO method if it is a FIFO method only here you have written work which is done in the current period so now you will write cost which is incurred in the current period so here you will say like this cost incurred in current period that's it minus scrap you guys will get the net cost divided by equivalent output that is equivalent production you guys will get the CPU then you will get total CPU so that is how the format will be made the cost will come only for the current period why sir it is FIFO method that's why that is the reason that's it. yeah now if you calculate uh, okay uh, Vaishnavi that was right okay 
no now here we go do we have the equivalent production with us yes Now what you need to do, what you need to do is very simple. I hope you understand now you have to make a reverse statement because that is what something you have to calculate. First I will write this. This is given in the question. Okay, then I will write uh, now this and then this. Then I can say that 4 and 5 reverse. I have given numbering so that first of all CPU was given in the question guys. CPU was given. If you see the question it was 23, 7 and 9. So 23 for 1 unit 7 and 9. So that was given in the question. 23 plus 7. Which was, I don't want total CPU. 23 plus 7 plus 9. Still let's calculate it is 39. Chalo. Uh, now if I tell you that the cost per unit is this. Cost per equivalent output. You can see that sentence clearly. Cost per equivalent cost per equivalent unit equivalent unit how many equivalent units are there this many equivalent units are there just multiply 23 into 4 3 you are going reverse right you will have to multiply you need to understand so you will have to multiply once you get this don't stop here scrap we need to check the process account ka credit side sir i haven't recorded then record na 536 units and scrap key value what is the value of scrap that was given scrap uh, has a value of 15 rupees c that was given scrap value is 15 rupees that was given in the question so let me multiply by 15 536 into 15 that becomes 8040 so 8040 is your normal loss 8040 okay chalo scrap value now once i get that 8040 i am going to come here and i will write it down 8040 now generally this will be subtracted then you get the net cost but now you are going reverse you need to add this i hope you understand something which is generally divided it will be multiplied something which is subtracted sign will reverse because you are going reverse now okay 110952 plus 8040 and here we go 118992 this is my answer from where it will come this is cost incurred in the current period it will be recorded on the debit side of the process account this is the answer that's why i told you if you are getting answer within a minute it will be a wrong answer because there was a process first you will have to do this then you will have to go reverse so it cannot be done within a minute okay so that was the reason i told you it will be a wrong answer if you get it within a minute so quite interesting you can see that like As such, there was no difficulty actually. The only thing is you should know the process, how it works. Now, I hope that is clear. Okay. Now, let's do one thing. Uh, are, uh, have you understood what has happened? Hello, everyone. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now. Once I write this, it is uh, 118992. I will come here. 118992. Chalo, let us go for the labor. Let us go for the labor. Again, you just go. There is no scrap value. You just go reverse. 7 into 7 into 4952. That is uh, 34664. 34664. Then 9 into 5016. Four five one four four. Okay. Now let's write these values over there. Three four six six four. Three four six six four. Then four five one four four. So four five one four four. That will be the value. Okay. So you you just uh, reverse, go reverse, and copy these values. Now. Now you can see that you are done with the third requirement of the question. That was the third requirement of the question to calculate the cost which is incurred in the current period. Okay. Generally it is given. This time CPU was given. You have to go reverse then you calculated this. Okay. Chalo. Now what is the next requirement sir in this question? What is the next requirement in this question? Just have a look. Make the process account. 
Now, if you want to make the process account, they were asking for calculate the value of raw material, labor, and overheads. We are done with that, which is incurred in the current period. Now, we need to make the process account, and to make the process account, you will have to fill up this. And to fill up this, you will have to make one statement to get this value. That is a statement showing apportionment of cost. That will be the either you can say C part there only, here only you can say A, B, C, and let's make that. This is the fourth part will be the process account. So first calculate these values and let us prepare the process account. Statement showing apportionment of cost. Statement of showing apportionment of cost. So this will be your heading that is a statement showing apportionment of cost. Yeah, uh, now uh, the things will be quite easy. Okay, uh, Krish, that is right. Okay. Chalo, others, please try uh, what is the value of output transferred to next process. Please try this time you should get the right answer. I need value of this 4200. Uh, Vaishnavi, nine. Aryan, right answer. Vaishnavi, please check. There must be some calculation error. Uh, Moksha, right answer. Krish, right. Vedant, right. Okay. Fair enough. So, you got the point. What you will do is you just first write this output transferred to finished goods. That will be the heading. So now I cannot again see A, B, and C. Uh, there is a problem. Here also A, B, C. Here also A, B, C. Uh, okay. Chalo, I will just give the heading as chalo, ye capital hai. output transferred to the next process. Nishi nahi. Okay. Output transferred to the next process. Okay, TK. When we talk about this, here we go. How many units are there? Output transferred to next process. Charges are 4200. Fine. So we have transferred 4200 units to the next process now. Here we go. Uh, after this, I can see that particulars sorry output which is transferred to next process 4200 it is actually divided into two parts Sir, 800. Huh, the first will be 800 which is opening WIP completed. I will have to calculate this value. It is like this, this 4800 divided into two parts. Calculate the value of 800 and 3400. Let us calculate the value of 800. When you talk about this, you will say particulars, material, labor overhead. Then you will say equivalent production multiplied by CPU. Achha. What is your equivalent production output transfer to next process? So here we go nil 240 340. That will come from that equivalent production statement. What is your CPU? Here it is 7, here it is 9. Multiply. Wait a second, I just wrote a wrong figure, it is 320, I just did 360, 320. Those who are copying from this, please check. There are some people who just copy whatever I write, okay. Now. This is the cost. This is the cost which is incurred in the current period. Guys, this is the cost which is incurred in the current period. Now, 
but sir it is a FIFO method right so this was a current year cost per unit but sir you have to recover full cost from the customer to you have to in you have to recover past year cost also so you have to add this separately add last year last period cost on this 400 units I have incurred this much in the current period what was incurred in the past you can see the debit side of process account which is one two you can see that two six six four zero so 26640 this is the cost which is incurred in the past thirty one thousand two hundred in total we have incurred now B started and completed these are like see this is the bifurcation now I'm calculating cost for three thousand four hundred so when I say started and completed 3400 units are started and completed for every unit you incur 39 rupees so one lakh sixty three thousand eight hundred that is gonna be your answer started and completed 13,000 yeah so one lakh sixty three thousand eight hundred is the value of output which is transferred to the next process you can just copy that in your process account credit side 1,63,800 Chalo. now let us talk about the closing WIP let us talk about the closing WIP again it is simple now guys these are the quantities you just need to multiply with the CPUs that's it so now the process is easy now the process which is ahead it is not that difficult we have done it so shall let us go for the b part b or uh, closing wip when you say closing wip here i will say material particular equivalent production sure. bolo in this case if we are directly multiplying 4200 with 39 you are still getting 4200 with 39 39 right so you are getting this Chalo. let us discuss that so you got this same answer right yes sir now can you tell me the reason if i just ask you I, I am supposed to tell you, but just if I ask you, what can be the reason? So I will tell you one thing. It means that cost which is incurred in the past and the cost which is incurred in the current period. Uh, here, first of all, have they provided us with the bifurcation? No, they haven't. No, provided. Achha, what I want to say, see, please understand. This is 26640, right? Which is incurred in the past, right? Total. Yes, sir. some cost must be incurred for a material labor and overhead so this is I am talking about last year divided materials if I say 800 entire work is done you can see that and on out of 800 if 270 this much work is done over there I can say that it means uh, 800 minus 240 sorry 560 this is the work which is done in the previous period because work on 240 is done in the current period are you getting this Yes, sir. Achha. Yes, sir. I hope you understand again uh, this 320 units out of 800 if I say 320 are completed in the current period the remaining portion that must have been completed in the previous period so that will be 800 minus 320 that becomes 480 right yes, just confirm this much this is work done in the current period or previous uh, last period last period. last period now let us take the CPU CPU here it is 7 here it is 9 and here it is 23 let's multiply these things and you will get one answer just take the total of this how much it is that will be 26640 right hello now reason I will tell you what now can you tell me the reason why it is uh, same 
in this question the cost per unit which is incurred in the current period is equal to the cost which is incurred in the last period hello in this question yes sir but it is not the case every time na it is not necessary that in the current year your cost per unit is 6 rupees for material or labor let us say there is a possibility that if there is a inflation worker will say ki in the previous year you paid me 6 rupees per unit now i want 7 rupees per unit right only in this question uh, it it is telling otherwise it will not happen in every question in this question the thing is your cpu of last year and current year is same that is why it is happening but you should never do like this when you did that you took the assumption hello i hope that is clear you took the assumption that the cost per unit is same in both the years when you did that uh, i think i confused you by saying ओके coincidence in the sense it is like in this case your cost incurred in the last period is equal to cp of last period is current is equal to current period that is why otherwise that that will never happen okay it's just coincidence we can say in that shall chalo now after doing this after doing this uh, yeah you you can go for a b part what is equivalent production that is uh, 160 48 32 160 48 32 what is your cpu Twenty three seven nine three six eight zero three thirty six two eighty eight. Take the total of five three zero four. That is your answer for a closing WIP. Now we will go for abnormal loss. abnormal loss will be easy because these are same units you can see 1 to 6 or 100% for every and for every unit loss is of 39 rupees so it will be a uh, 49000 to 96 it will be 49000 to 96 if you just need to copy this value to your process account and that's it you are done with the solution okay now uh let me just copy this uh, 4304 and process account is going to tally because the cpu was in absolute rupees it was not in fraction 49296 let me check that again 49296 yes yeah just take the total it is going to tally now that is 25 22 5440 Next second eight zero four zero plus one six three eight hundred plus four three zero four plus four nine two nine six. That is two two five four four zero. Please check. Yeah, it is going to tally. Otherwise, this can be taken as a this could have been taken as a balancing figure. That is okay. Th that is up to you. Yeah. So that was the solution. Yeah, the question was lengthy. It took around one hour to solve. Exact one hour. Okay. As of now, it is fifty-nine minutes and thirteen seconds. So we can say exact one hour it took, but it was worth solving. Oh, uh, you got a lot of insights as to when to go reverse and all. Now, when I go for a LIFO method, you will have more understanding if I solve as per LIFO also this question. Yeah. So, so uh, this.
Okay, uh, so let's start with this question. We will see as to what is given in this question. So let's have a look. What is given is in the question from the following information uh, for the month of October 2013, we can say prepare a process account. So it is very clear this question is based on process account. We need to prepare process cost account. Yes, sir, that is clear. That is clear. Now let's proceed ahead. What is given? We need to prepare which account process three account it is very important okay now understand based on the FIFA method okay so method has been specified and there is a WIP which is there in the question so we need to prepare a process account uh, as per FIFA method and we have a opening and closing WIP it means we will have to prepare guys equivalent production then CPU and then we can say statement showing apportionment of cost that will have to be prepared okay so now let us do one thing we know that as and when we make the process account we make the process account for uh, 10 lines so let us do one thing let us just do this uh, let's make the process account for 10 lines Shallow. let's start let's make this account for 10 lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so here is account which is for 10 lines So, name process 3 account. Particulars quantity amount, particulars quantity amount. Okay, sir. Sir, if the question is based on process account, uh, for your information, I can say this question is based on FIFA method. So that will be specified. Okay, that was there. Now, when you make the process account, you should know the steps. Sir, what are the steps? Step number one. Step number one is you need to read entire question and whatever is there in the question, just uh, fill it up in your process account. So, let us start with this process. Okay, so let's read the question. What is given is a direct material added in process 3. Uh, it is opening WIP, it is specifically written, it is actually opening WIP and uh, opening WIP is this much 2000 units at a cost of rupees 25,750. So please write down over here to opening WIP. You need to write over here to opening WIP 2000 units. At a cost of 25,750. So, this is your opening WIP. Now, after opening WIP, I will say whatever is there. Now, let's read that. So, that is a transfer from process 2. You need to tell me whether it will appear on the debit side or credit side. Transferred from process 2. Hello. Debit side. Debit side. Because it is input. We are process 3. Whatever is the output of earlier process which is process 2, it will be received by process 3. We are process 3. That is input from earlier process or you can say input from P2. Input from process 2. Okay, sir. How many quantities? Uh, 53,000 units. At a cost of 4 lakh 11,100. Sorry, 4 lakh 11,500. That will be your cost of input. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. After that, after that, you can see there is a transfer to process 4. There is a transfer to process 4, which is 48,000, which is transferred to the next process. Okay, that is output transfer to next process. We are process 3. First of all, you will write normal loss on the credit side by normal loss. Then after by normal loss, you will say by output transferred to next process, which is process 4, output transferred to process 4, it is this only, output transferred to process 4, we have transferred 48,000 units, okay sir. Now here you can see that closing stock is uh, 5,000 units in uh, here, so closing stock will be 5,000, so please write down by closing stock. Or closing WIP, we can say 5000. 
yes sir so closing wip is written after closing wip you can see that there are units scrapped but information of units scrapped can be ignored because when you take this as a balancing figure automatically you will understand that so as of now you can ignore this unit scrap after that there is a direct material added in process 3 direct wages and production overhead so information is given with reference to material added in process 3 labor and overhead so to input material we can say to material to labor to overheads so here i can say material labor and production overheads or i can say overheads and the value is 1,97,600 so please write 1,97,600 then we can say it is 97,600 and then it is 48,800 you can cross check yes it is 48,800 so uh, the entire question we have read now after that what is given in the question is degree of completion degree of completion is given with reference to opening stock closing stock and scrap okay degree of completion is given the normal loss is 5% okay normal loss is 5% of a production and scrap value is 3 now first of all you need to understand what will you say that when you say the production word is youth how you it will be assumed that this is known as production that is very important so now you need to understand this it is not written like it is five percent of good units which are transferred to next process if something like is written if something like this is written it is five percent of good units which are transferred to next process then i would have calculated five percent on this forty eight thousand oh, also so five percent would have been calculated on this forty eight thousand okay uh, let me give you that understanding of one working so that yeah it will be easier for you to understand the things let me open one thing over here okay so now understand here uh, if i talk about calculation of normal loss just pay attention or uh, let's uh, just understand this theory here only that is this which theory sir calculation of normal loss now i am teaching you this calculation of normal loss okay you should have your calculators with you and let's understand this working now calculation of normal loss if i talk about here we go okay so there is one question which will be in front of you and you will have to give me the answer so just pay attention now here we go uh, let's read the question as to what is given in the question what is written as this calculation of normal loss okay example opening wip is there input material is there and this is known as total input this is known as a total input okay then what is given closing wip is given in the question then there is a actual output a transfer to the next processor which is a 400 let us say cases there are four cases okay now you will tell me uh, what to do okay you will tell me what to do let let me just uh, read this normal loss is 10 percent normal loss is 10 percent please give me the answer for first case 10 percent of total input including opening wip normal loss is 10 percent of or uh, total input including opening wip tell me uh, normal loss quantity hello your normal loss quantity will be 60 right you will say this is your total input that is 10 percent of that so okay you can see that answer over here that normal loss is nothing but your 100 plus 500 uska 10 percent that becomes 60 percent uh, 60 percent uh, sorry 10 percent if you calculate that becomes 60 units so very much clear now if only this much is written instead of writing total input only input is written that is including opening wip they have written only input tell me what will be your normal loss in this case in units please 50 because it if only input is written it means it is this current input that is input material so you can see that again uh, that is there that normal loss is 500 into 10 percent now 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 the third case that is normal loss is normal loss is i can say that a uh, 10 percent of production and there is one more thing it is good units uh, first of all let us cover the four case normal loss is 10 percent of good units transferred to the next process tell me case number four what will be normal loss units normal loss is 10 percent of good units transferred to the next process hello you have the data in front of you 40 right 40%. these are these uh, 400 units which are transferred to the next process you can see that is actual units transferred to the next process so we will calculate that so 
now there is a third case and then we are done with all the cases as to how to calculate the normal loss now let us talk about this now if it is given which is given in this question normal loss is something or uh, some percentages of production you can see that in this question that is the thing which is given over here it is high percent of production now you need to understand what is production so the basic understanding will be it is like this if i tell you like this you have a opening stock of you have a opening stock of 100 if I tell you your input is 500 and at the end you have a closing stock of 150. So what do you think what uh, should be your production in that case 100 units were lying in the go down or uh, 500 units we started working upon at the end there are 150 units uh, which are still in WIP. So other than this 150 first of all I can say we started working upon 600. 100 were already there we uh, the current input was 500 so we can see we started working upon 600 out of 600 150 is still in uh, WIP stage so we will say my production should be in that case 450 I hope you understand so we will say it is 600 minus 150 that becomes 450 that should be my production okay that will be my production only if there is no loss if there is no loss my production will be 450 I will say there were 600 units out of 600 units uh, 150 are in closing WIP the remaining will, remaining will be my production which is 450 but this will not be my production because I expect whatever is my production out of that something will be my normal loss whatever is my production out of that some units will be defective units if I produce 100 units out of 100 units or 10 percent will be defective or 5 percent will be defective in this case it is given as 10 percent is the normal loss uh, that was written normal loss is 10 percent so it is written normal loss is 10 percent of production so normally i can produce 450 but 10 percent of that will be defective so my normal loss will be 45 so you need to understand what formula i have used you need to say opening wip plus input minus a closing wip then you get a production of 450 and from that on that if you calculate your normal loss of 10 percent you will say out of those 450 i expect 45 will be defective and remaining will be good units this is expected actually something what happens that can be different but this is something which is expected based on this take the calculator and tell me what is your normal loss quantity i just gave you some idea as to how it will be calculated please calculate It is 5% of production in this case. Yes, Arpit, right answer, Nishi, right answer, Vaishnavi, right answer. So, you should be very careful. Uh, there are four cases for calculation of normal loss. We have covered uh, every case. So, Dhruvi, Vedant, okay, RG, Vaishnavi, okay, that is right. So, let us calculate that. Now, let me make that working, which is uh, next working, working out number one for normal loss. We made process account. Now, let us make the working, uh, working out number one for normal loss. Now, when I say normal loss, you will say opening WIP plus a input minus a closing WIP, you get this is normal production which should happen. But out of this production, there will be something which will be defective or which is not good unit, which are not good units, that is normal loss. And it is 5% of that. So, my uh, opening WIP was 2000. My input is 53. So, my total input is 55. I started working upon 55. So, I expect output of 55. But no. Still, 5000 units are still in WIP. So, then I should expect output of what? Uh, 50,000. But there is something known as loss. So, that is 5% of this production. So, if you calculate. that will be 2500 units so normal loss quantity will be 2500 units please write this working note with me your answer is 2500 okay now once you get your answer is 2500 now you will sell it in the market and what is the value which is received so 2500 will be written over here and what is the scrap value that is given in the question that is uh yeah x second let's change okay so that is 3 rupees so just multiply and you will get 7500 as this answer okay fine even before you close the process account can you tell me whether there will be abnormal gain or there will be abnormal loss abnormal gain. gain reason i hope you understand 
I was expecting that my loss will be 2500. This is expected loss or a normal loss. It was expected. But sir, my actual loss is, my actual loss is only 2000. So from here I can identify if my actual loss is only 2000. So 500 units are something which was expected that it will be scrap units. But no, these are good units now. So I can say that is abnormal gain. Or if you don't want to use your brain, just close the quantity column now. We have uh, read, we read entire question. Everything is posted. Now second step is close quantity column. So if you close 2500, 48,000 plus 5000. And here we go. We will have a balance of 500. That is to abnormal gain. Okay. Now when is it to abnormal gain? Now we need to find out the values. We need to find out this value. Value of this, value of this and value of this. And for that matter, we need to make statements. Now, sir, is this question different from any other question? Yes, this is quite advanced question. What is new in this? You can tell me. Whatever question we have solved till now, in that case, there were only three materials other than opening WF. You can check any question, okay? There was only material, labor and overhead. But you can see that this time there are two types of materials. One is which is input material which is received from earlier process and there is another material which is added by the process 3. So there are two materials, one which is received from process 2. You need to understand there are two materials in this case, one which is received from process 2 and the another material is which is added by uh, process 3 and then labor has worked and then there is the overhead. Example, okay, for the purpose of example, I can give you idea. This is cloth which is given by process 2. On this cloth, there will be embroidery material which will be attached to this like there is a t-shirt let us say or there is a shirt on which embroidery will be done. So no increase in units, only cost will be increased, cost will increase. If there are 53,000 t-shirts, t-shirts will be 53,000 only. The only thing will be uh, embroidery material will be attached on that. So embroidery material will be attached, that will be done by worker, that will be done in the factory so that overhead will come. So in this case now please understand when you make statement showing equivalent production you should be very clear when you make statement showing equivalent production you will not make three columns now you need to make four columns okay how many columns you need to make four columns that is very important there are four expenses this question is actually based on I can say that this process three is nothing but subsequent process till now a uh, subsequent process Till now whatever questions you guys have solved now, those were based on first process. So that was our first process. So there was input, there was a, uh, input of process 1, then labor and overhead. But this is the question where you can see it is in between, that is a subsequent process, process 3 is there. Now how to calculate everything, we need to be uh, more careful with this, okay. Now uh, first of all method is very clear, it is a FIFO method. So your thinking period will be a uh, current period only when we calculate the things. Our thinking period will be current period. So I have written that over here. Okay, chalo. Now uh, let us make our statement that is a statement showing equivalent production. So let's give the heading statement showing. If this is first which is process account here I can say this second. That is statement showing equivalent production. Now when you guys make this statement which is statement showing equivalent production, first of all because it is FIFO method you should know how many lines you should have. So you need 6 lines in between which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. Okay, so please make this column particulars units. I will name this as input 
input material then there is normal material then there is a labor and there is a overhead then there is percentages units percentages units percentages units okay now having done this that is particulars then units then uh, input material labor overhead okay now uh, what you need to do is what you need to do is first you will write here output transfer to next process that is a part output transfer to process 4 yes sir sir how many units sir, we have transferred 48000 after writing this which method it is it is fifo method so you will have to bifurcate we will say that first we must have started working upon this 2000 units yes sir so that's why you will say here it is a that is one and two first we will complete opening wip so opening wip completed and then you will say started and completed so when you say guys opening WIP completed those units will be a 200, 2000 sorry we have completed 48,000 units 2000 will be from opening WIP 46,000 will be from started and completed so that is how you will write 2000 and 46,000 okay sir now after output transfer to the next process there will be B and then there will be a C part when I say what is B part B part will be closing WIP and then there is abnormal gain so how many units are there you can say 5000 and 500 5000 is my closing WIP now 500 is my abnormal gain first of all understand what is new in this question okay uh, but for which you should be very careful it is something which is new in this question other than this everything is normal okay other than this everything is normal this is something which is new in this question now uh, so let's ignore this for the time being as of now just tell me about this chalo for labor i would like to see that whether you can think properly or not it is a fifo method you have to think about current period what will be your equivalent output with reference to labor let's check whether you are able to do it or not what is your equivalent output for labor please go in the rough calculate something and tell me the answer when you will have in that will increase your confidence if you get the right answer labor equivalent output for labor calculate uh Krish, that is right answer Uh, moksha nai nishi nahi uh, moksha right answer Uh, Krish, right, okay, fine, here we go. Uh, Ridhima, nai. Uh, Ridhima, that uh, one uh, small mistake you did, that is abnormally gain should be subtracted. Okay, L let's check now, maybe. Now, you will understand where you are going wrong, okay? Now, as of now, this is a normal question, so please pay attention to this. Please ignore this input which is new in this case. Uh, if I solve this normally, what was given? If I talk about opening WIP, I want to know work done in the current period. Opening WIP, if I read the question, you can understand, you can understand that, sir, 80% work with reference to material was done already, 60% was done, 60% was done. So, what we did, we did remaining work. If we did remaining work, so 80% work was already done, na, sir, we did 20% work, 60% work was already done, so we did 40% of the work, which is the remaining work. Okay, sir. So, this much is clear. Okay, sir, opening WIP. Now started and completed or I don't think about it when you say started and completed it means 100% work is done in the current period you started from zero and you finished that work okay 
100 100 100 now let us talk about closing WIP if I talk about closing WIP it is 70 50 50 as it is it will come 70 percent 50 percent 50 percent now if I talk about abnormal gain now it is very important abnormal gain we have already discussed it has two features that is bolo you need to understand it is always 100 percent because abnormal gain is something which is 100 percent complete a unit has been completed that is a gain so that is 100 percent always 100 percent and subtracted always 100 percent and subtracted so these are two key features of abnormal gain it is gain so it is 100 percent complete and because it is gain which is on the opposite side even though the logic has, has been discussed but technically if i say it is on the opposite side these are on the same line so if it is on the opposite side it will be subtracted so first of all here you will write 100 percent that will be subtracted let's calculate uh, so if I calculate 2000 into 20 percent see please if you have any doubt let me know okay 40 percent so 80 40 percent work is done in the current period 60 percent was already done 46,000 units entire work is done in the current period that 5000 into 70 percent 3500 2500 2500 500 subtracted forty nine four hundred then forty eight eight hundred. So you can see that. That was the answer. Okay, you have any doubt? You can ask me. Otherwise, the things are more clear. So, for this uh, normal calculations, for these three we can say for these three we can say normal calculation, which which we do normally. If you have any doubt, please let me know, sir. I did not get this. If you have any doubt, please let me know. Okay. So, if no one is saying anything, it means that is clear. Okay. Abnormal gain we have already discussed once. Okay. It is 100% and it is always subtracted. Now, let us talk about input material. Now, try to understand this thing. Try to understand. You can take an example when you say material. It is but embroidery material. Embroidery which is done on the t-shirt. And these are nothing but t-shirts. These are t-shirts. I would like to know what is the cost or what is the quantity which is used in the current period. Current period. It is very important. Okay. Very important. Tell me. Uh, if I talk about this, so uh, t-shirt will come, which is your input. T-shirt is your input, cloth, okay. This is, let us say, t-shirt. This is your input on which embroidery is done. It is material that is done by worker and overheads. This is your input, which is t-shirt. Now, if I talk about this 2000 units, which are opening WIP completed. So, some uh, partly the work, partly the work was done in the previous period. Now, the part the remaining work is done in the current period. Tell me whether we have used any input material, whether it is 100 or whether it is 0. Hello, what, what will you write about t-shirt, whether it is 100 or 0? Zero? 0, na? You haven't used any, you haven't used any this t-shirt or cloth for that purpose. I can say for material already it was a 60%, sorry, 80% done. So we said we did 20% of the job already 60% job was done. So we did 40% uh, of the job in the current period. But this t-shirt which was input material or it is fully completed by earlier process. So 100% work was already done. The 100% t-shirt was there. We just did 80% work in the previous period. Now in the current period there is no material which is added or input material which is added I can say. I hope you understand then I will give you some technique also to buy hard but please try to understand logically first of all. Now. If you talk about started and completed, can anyone tell me uh, how many percentages I should write? 100%. Achha. Even for abnormal gain, I hope you understand it will be 100% because gain is nothing but always 100%. So started and completed and abnormal gain always 100%. The only thing is started and completed is added and abnormal gain is a subtracted actually. That's, that is the only difference. Now. Now for closing WIP again you have a question what you should write. It is given that I want to know what is the 
material which is used in the current period okay that is something which i would like to know so here i can say we have done 70 percent material is used in the current period 50 percent is used in the current period what about this input material okay 100 percent it is something we have that entire t-shirt with us the only thing is 70 percent material of embroidery is done that's it that 30 percent will be done in the next period so next period it will come to 30 percent 50% remaining 50% and input material is already added in the, this year only now when you started working upon that entire material will be added at the beginning only because it is the material of earlier process which is there on which we are working oh hello uh, do you understand this I would like to know the okay fine so this will be 100% that is there will be a t-shirt so if I talk about opening WIP it will be zero because no t-shirt or that cloth is added it was added in the previous period 100% pre it was added now here you can see in the current period whatever units are there you will say 100% for that matter Achha. or I can give you one technique for that matter I can give you one technique you can remember that and your job is done you just don't have to worry about it something which is new in this question is this if something like this comes in your question what you need to do for this so the thing will be very simple uh, I can just divide my uh, thinking into two parts for this I can say just divide your uh, calculation in two parts there will be first opening WIP and others for opening WIP for this input material you should always write nil because entire metal will be added in the earlier previous period not in this period and here for others 100% material is added so you need to remember this for opening WIP nil and for others 100% that's it so that is how you will think okay and you have any doubt this was the question this is the only question where this material has came if this comes this is normal which you do generally okay for this you remember like this for opening it is nil and if you have any doubt you can ask me okay, sir why it is like this Bolo. How it is 100%? First of all, we follow FIFO method, right? Now, in FIFO method, uh, what cost we consider? Cost incurred in the last period or cost incurred in the current period? The current period. Current period. Achha. Now, if I talk about closing WIP, uh, as I told you that uh, embroidery is which material? Whether it is input or whether it is material? Embroidery. Material. If I talk about t-shirt or that cloth, it is your input material. Now in the question, if you see in the question it is given, in the question it is given that your material is 70%. So with reference to material, 70% work is done. Now we need to understand this input material, this work is done by which process? Process 2 or process 3? We are process 3. So this input work. Hello? Process 2. So tell me. Process 2 will send to pro VR process 3. Process 2 will send to process 3 the input only when it is 100% complete, right? So, can I say if there is a closing WIP, it will be 100% uh, complete with reference to that input material because that work is done by the earlier process. Uh, we just need to uh, add what is the embroidery work which is normal material work, labor and overhead which is done in the current period. If there is any t-shirt on which only 70% work is done, still you cannot say input is also 70% no because that work is done by the earlier process. Hello. That will be 100 only. Okay. You just need to remember this uh, if you don't want to complicate the things you can say for opening WIP nil and for uh, others uh, we can say you can write 100 percent that is as simple as that let's not complicate the things okay now uh, let's write the things and I think now you can easily do the question okay so let us take the total uh, 46,000 plus 5,000 plus 500 that is uh, 51500 now you don't need my help actually Achha. Achha, one more thing one more thing now when you calculate the CPU guys you will take only current period ka cost that is this this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, current period ka cost then from current because it is a FIFO method and from current period cost uh, uh, Vaishnavi what uh, abnormal gain sorry I have added what I think yes uh, okay, what chai period hai, to wo dhyan nahi gaya la, wo thik, I made a mistake that was an abnormal gain so it should be subtracted actually thik hai. that is a common mistake which happens so please be very careful with that it is 50,500 
I know that many people must have copied also that thing, but okay. Please make the change. Okay, it is fifty thousand five hundred. It is subtracted. It is gain. Reason we have discussed in the earlier lecture. Now, what I am saying is, what I am saying is over here. See, understand. मैं ये बोल रहा है आई वुड लाइक टू सी दिस दैट दिस इज द कॉस्ट विच आई हैव इनकर दिस इज द स्क्रैप विच इज देयर दिस इज द कॉस्ट विच इज इनकर इन द करंट पीरियड नाउ व्हेन यू सब्सट्रैक्ट द स्क्रैप स्क्रैप विल बी सब्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम इनपुट और फ्रॉम नॉर्मल मटेरियल टेल मी इनपुट मटेरियल और नॉर्मल मटेरियल नहीं इट इज इनपुट मटेरियल ना because i understand when you are working upon the t-shirt you are doing that embroidery work and all and some defective is there when you sell it to the scrap the major chunk will be of the t-shirt only na that cloth will be there hello that scrap wala will not pay you for the uh, the embroidery work which is done okay the main material will be cloth only i hope you understand that hello everyone acha are even labor cost see what i am saying is If you go to the bhangar wala, if you give him a cloth, there is one normal cloth, there is one cloth on which embroidery is done, little bit embroidery is done. But for him, these two are scrap only, na? So that fellow is paying you for that embroidery work, or he is actually paying you for the t-shirt or a cloth. T-shirt or a cloth, na? It does not matter as to what is embroidery is done or not. I hope you understand because for him it is a scrap. He is not going to sell as a finished product. If it is it is a scrap, then that main cloth is there. That's it. Whether it embroidery is done or not, how does that matter for us? So that scrap, well, I will pay you mainly for the input, not for that embroidery work. Hello. So that should be subtracted from that because the the value which is received is for input and not for embroidery work. Hello. Clear? Okay. Fair enough. Now, uh, can you please calculate the CPU total CPU? Uh, you can calculate in fair only. I have the confidence that you can do it. Madam, you have four columns. You just subtract the scrap, divide by equivalent output, and tell me what is your total CPU. Please do that. You have two three minutes. You can do that. Please calculate total CPU. Sir, we have four columns. Exactly. As you can see here, there are four expenses: input material, mati uh, then which is something. Huh, then material, then labor and overhead. And scrap will be subtracted from the input. I hope you guys have written this. It is not for my reference, okay? You have to copy this for your understanding. So let me make that column. statement showing cpu which is statement number 3 one is input material under one is embroidery or normal material then there is a labor then there is a overhead because it is p4 method you should be very clear cost will be written only for the current period okay current it is a p4 method still i am writing in bracket you will write only current period cost so cost incurred in once you get the answer okay uh krish right answer uh nishi right answer you just send it to me in dm a uh, cost incurred in current period minus scrap you get net cost divided by equivalent production you get cpu you get total cpu okay so here we go cost incurred in the uh, current period minus scrap then you get net cost divided by equivalent production and you get yeah cpu and total cpu let's write what is the cost incurred in the current period so that is there 
this is this input then one two three so four rack eleven thousand one hundred five hundred sorry then it is one ninety seven six hundred then it is ninety seven six hundred forty eight eight hundred the scrap will be yeah, we have calculated that in the process account that is 7500 we have equivalent output also with us uh, let's bring that here Okay, so four eleven five hundred minus seven thousand five hundred. That is uh, this divided by this will be eight. Okay. And then. Four two one fifty. So we can see that your total cost in order to manufacture one unit is 15. 15. It is current period cost. Okay. The cost which is taken into consideration is only current period cost. Now let us go for the next part. That is fourth part. Uh, out, uh, if anyone has got the answer, please send that to me in DM. That is this uh, output transfer to the process number four. Value of that forty eight thousand. Statement showing distribution. Statement showing distribution of cost or apportionment of cost, whatever you say. Statement showing apportionment of cost. When you say statement showing apportionment of cost, here I will say particular. So now, first will be A output transferred to next process. That is process 4. Having done that, output transfer to uh, process 4, we have transferred guys 48,000 units but that has been divided into two parts so let us bifurcate. You can just check your statement with a statement showing equivalent output and you can have the idea. If I just check that statement, I know that my uh, output transferred is uh, opening WIP is 2000. First I have completed opening WIP, uh, Vedant uh, that is right answer, opening WIP completed. So let's write opening. WIP completed. Okay, sir, sir, how many units? Uh, 2000 units. Sir. Theek hai. Now, what is the cost which is incurred on this in the current period? So, I will say like this particulars, then there is a input material, input, then there is a material, then there is a labor, and then there is a overhead. I can say. Then you will say equivalent production multiplied by CPU. Chalo, let us calculate. If I talk about this, the rate is 8, 4, 2, 1. What is your equivalent production that is there in the question? Uh, 400, 800, 800. Okay. Here it is done. 400, 800, 800. Okay, so that doesn't make any sense to write anything. Let us say dash 
but you need to understand the cost which you have got which is 4000 this is the cost which is incurred in the current period because this is the cpu this is the work which is done in the current period and accordingly this is the cost which is incurred in the current period but sir it was partly completed in the previous period now last period so some cost you must have incurred and in the previous period guys you have incurred this amount 25750 that should be added okay 25750 so here we go 25,750 last period cost so you will get one value and that will be 29,750 in that you will add your started and completed started and completed so how many units you started you started working upon 46,000 units these are fully completed and you complete one unit it cost you 15 rupees so here we go that is 69,000 6 lakh 90,000 and just take the total you will get the total value that will be 7 lakh 19,000 750 that is your final answer of this how many units so 48,000 units value of 2000 units then value of say 46000 units and you have got value of this 48000 units that is how you will write the answer nothing new okay uh, so the value is uh, 7 lakh 19750 let's come here 7 lakh 19750 okay now now after this after this now you need to calculate the value of closing wip and abnormal gain so let us go for this if you refer the statement showing equivalent production now there is a b part that is closing WIP. There is a B part which is closing WIP. And here I can tell you that. Yeah, uh, Vaishnav, you also give the right answer. I just saw. Okay, that is right. Now, the B will be closing WIP. Again, you will write particulars. And then, yeah, particulars. There is an input material. The only thing, the purpose of solving this question was to give you the idea about input material that's it and nothing else input material acha ji sir this is uh, 8 uh, uh, 4 uh, 2 uh, 1 you just uh, write your equivalent production from the earlier statement uh, that is uh, 5000 3500 2500 2500 so 5000 3500 if still you are copying from uh, the screen then the situation is terrible with you okay you should be able to write this at your end okay i could have given this as homework also but i said Kichalo, let us finish it off here it is that easy this part last part is 40,000 okay and here you go you have a value 61,500 so now I will ask someone to calculate uh, abnormal gain for me or uh, to a uh, preem uh, please calculate abnormal gain value of abnormal gain it is easy yes please I hope you are there at least say yes or no so that I will have idea that you are there okay fine. so please calculate uh, Krish uh, Nishi Krish uh, Vaishnavi right answer others can DM me other can send the answer in chat box yeah Vedant right so that I come to know that yeah this many people are getting the right answer uh, RG okay fine so now uh, please pay attention Jansi that is right I can say if I talk about abnormal gain how many units are there the uh, quantities are coming from here 500 500 500 you can see now because it is common 500 500 500 and yeah again into 8 into 4 into 2 into 1 that does not make any sense I will say 500 is common so multiplied by 15 you have produced extra 500 units and for every unit there is a gain of 15 rupees which is cpu so 7500 will be your answer that will be written over there and yes uh, your uh, question uh, process account will tally okay the reason is cpu is not in fraction okay 
uh, here we go 61,500 61,500 let's close the process account and it will tally okay so that is 788750 okay Seven eight second some seven two five seven five zero plus four one one five hundred plus seven lakh eighty eight thousand seven fifty. Here we go. And that will be your answer or you can take this as a balancing figure that's it and the question is done. Sir, what was new in this question? The only thing which was new was this something which was new the purpose of solving this question was this that's it otherwise everything was normal okay that's it that is something which was new it is a subsequent process as i highlighted so that case is also covered okay i hope uh, it is done uh, something if it is pending at your end to uh, sir can you show that uh, part 2 part 3 or whatever it is you can ask me no okay fine so in that case we are done done with this question i will repeat if this comes what you need to remember first of all in the statement showing eql and production now there will not be four columns instead of uh, three columns there will be four columns sorry uh, the the last three columns are normal columns you will solve as you normally solve for input metal you should remember for opening it should be nil and for others it should be 100 percent because it is a work which is done by the earlier process so earlier process will send you the metal which is process 2 only after giving that uh, only after completing it that is this so it will always be 100 percent other than opening wip okay and then here we go uh, then even scrap will be subtracted from that input material and the things are quite easy then everything is common only so finally uh, we are done with this question that took around 52 minutes okay so done with this. okay uh, so let us start this question and see as to what is there in the question uh, let me read the question okay this question is uh, this question will be solved as per LIFO method we know the steps uh, first of all following information if you read the following information is given Following information is given regarding process 1 for the month of February. By this you will come to know that there is a process account which we will have to prepare uh, for the month of February. TK. We need to make the process account. What is given in the question? Uh, records is given. Units uh, in process as well. Now the month is February. It should be very important. And the date is 1st Feb. It, is, it means it is opening WIP. Okay. It is opening WIP. Then new units introduced. Then units completed. Then units in process. Now if I talk about units in process that is at the end of the Feb so that will be the closing I can say this is your opening this will be your closing WIP Acha. now this information is with reference to units you can see everywhere what is written units 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 so let us make one process account our process account will be made for 10 lines now let's just hurry up and solve this so let's just make the account okay you should be involved over here so let's go for this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay particular quantity amount particular quantity amount process account okay Chalo, let us start now whatever was given in the question the first one was the first thing which was given in the question was input or uh, uh, oh, that is opening WIP so few things are going to come in the question that is to opening WIP that we know yes sir so that thing will come so please write it down that is opening wip after opening wip on the debit side what will come is input material then on the credit side what will you write as by normal loss then after leaving two lines i can write by output transport to next process Then I can write by closing WIP. 
Chalo. Now let's read the question. What is given over here? So if you read this question, first what is given is this 4000. So that is that will come on the debit side because that is my opening WIP guys. After that, if you see the question, there are 16,000 units which is input material. So that will be written. After that, what is there in the question sir? 14,000 units. These are units completed. This will be transferred to the next processor. And then what is given in the question is units uh, in the process that the this is my closing WIP units that is 6000 yes sir so that is it okay now if I read ahead what is uh, given is cost records WIP as on so whatever WIP you have was on this you have how many units sir? you have a 4000 units sir. and the value of which is given that is in terms of rupees that is uh, this is material actually this is labor this is overheads and then, then there is a total of 8000 this is the cost sir which is incurred in the last period i am not interested in the bifurcation of that i just need the value which is 8000 so i will write value of this 4000 units is 8000 yes sir what is the cost which is incurred during the month during the month you have incurred this much material labor uh, overheads of 15000 and total is 55600 so 25,600, 15,000, 25,600, 15,000, 15,000. To labor and to overheads. Okay, after doing this, uh, then what is given in the question is you need to make the statements. Okay, so as per P4 done, where I'm done, now we are going as per Leap 4 method, these statements equivalent production you can see then the cpu apportionment of cost then there is a process account okay we will make those statements there is no problem with that okay now we read the question in the entire question there was nothing which was mentioned about normal loss so there is a no normal loss just dash dash okay so step number one is done sir we read entire question and everything is posted in the process account now what is the next step is a close the quantity column and it will tally in this case that will be 20,000 20,000 okay sir now here we go now the next step which is very important that is your statement showing equivalent production so let us make the heading as statement showing equivalent production so now if you talk about statement showing equivalent production let's give the heading over here let us say this is first statement or this is second statement statement showing equivalent production statement showing equivalent production okay after writing this you can go as if you make the fifa method clear format like six lines will be there one two the okay so six lines in between so that is you can say that one two three four or five or six okay Then how many expenses are there on the debit side? Three input material labor overhead. So T can particulars units. Then there is the A part, which is output transferred to next processor. Now be very careful over here. We have transferred how many units? 14,000. Now you need to bifurcate. Achha. Now this time guys, it is not FIFO method that you will say, sir, first I will complete the work of 4,000 units. This time it is LIFO method last in first out so tell me this 40,000 14,000 how will you buy for it anyone please 14,000 yeah exactly that is leap format method last in first out so that is first in this is second in or last in we can say last in 
first out so those 14000 will be not from 4000 first you will complete whatever is starting in the current period okay so that is last in first out you should understand this much so i can say it is started and completed 14000 ke liye what will be your heading will be started and completed you should understand that it is started and completed Fourteen thousand units. अच्छा जी सर समझा समझा B part B part if I talk about that is closing WIP. Now it is very very important. You have six thousand units in your go down. Let us bifurcate those six thousand units. Okay, some thing some idea from your side sir. First this first this closing WIP. Four thousand from opening WIP and two thousand from entry. Exactly. Now you need to understand. That you started working upon sixteen thousand units. Out of that, fourteen thousand has been completed. So two thousand are still lying in the go down as a WIP. And there were already opening WIP of four thousand, which is there. So there is a six thousand we can say. So six thousand can be divided into two parts. Now understand the opening WIP which is there. That is the first. I will say opening WIP processed, not completed. Okay. Opening WIP processed word is very important. We haven't completed. We have just processed it further, and then there is a started, but completed. Now you will say started, but incomplete or not completed, but incomplete. Let's say. So this is four thousand. This is two thousand. So guys, you started working upon sixteen thousand units. Fourteen thousand has been completed. Two thousand are still in WIP, and then four thousand from the opening WIP. It came to closing WIP. Now. As a LIFO method, also your focus will be first on the current period. What is the work which is done in the current period? Okay, as a LIFO method, you need to understand your focus will be what is the work which is done in the current period, guys. Okay, now tell me if I talk about this, uh, the thing should be very much clear. Tell me, fourteen thousand units percentages that should be written. Sir, three hundred. Exactly, exactly. So I still I am asking you so that I should come to know that boy I don't have to explain. You guys are knowing at your end only. Hundred, hundred, hundred. Now this plays very important role. This, this, this. Chalo, first tell me about material. Hundred percent. Ha. So I will give you the clarity in LIFO method. The way you go for a FIFO method. What is the work which is done in the current period? This cost you have incurred in the current period. By incurring this cost, what is the work which you have done in the current period? Okay, so tell me. Hundred. So let let's forget about this. Let's calculate this. Then now you will have more clarity. Now when you are solving LIFO method, you will understand this. Tell me here. If you got this, then I will say you are great. So we continue with twenty five only, right? No, you need to tell me the percentage. Is that's it? Uh, whatever is your reason that I don't know, I just tell me the percentages. That will be written over here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Vaishnavi, no. I need percentages. That will appear over here in opening WIP process. Vedan, no. Then reference to labor. Huh? I haven't asked. I haven't asked for material. I'm asking for labor. Ah, uh, Nishri, no. Ah, uh, Moksha, no. Arpit, no, Vaishnavi, no. Everyone is saying seventy-five percent. Are you understand? Now, opening WIP processed. 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 Now, I can say that I want to know what is the work which is done in the current period, sir. Current period. What is the work which is done in the current period? So if I talk about this fourteen thousand units, what was the situation on first Feb? What is the situation as on twentieth Feb? Accordingly, sir, I will have idea what is the work which is done in the current period. That is current month is February month. So what is the work which is done in the current period? So. If I talk about this, please understand now very carefully. If I talk about this, fourteen thousand units. These are started and completed. So zero work was done over here on the first Feb. Nil work was done. At the end, it is hundred percent complete. So I can say what is the work which is done in the current period? It is hundred percent. Yes, sir. This is clear. 
ओके चलो 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 नाउ लेट टॉक अबाउट क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू द आइडिया फॉर योर रेफरेंस दैट दैट इज हाउ यू शुड थिंक एक्चुअली नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी देर इज अ ओपनिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी ओके विच इज प्रोसेस्ड नाउ अंडरस्टैंड देर इज मटीरियल देर इज लेबर एंड देन देर इज अवर हेड ओके और लेट मी राइट लाइक दिस मे बी दैट विल बी more understandable okay uh, just let me think about this okay acha acha just wait uh, uh let me just change the format but it is any which was it is a working note you just understand okay first if i talk about e this this part let's let me copy this yeah so understand there is a material then there is a labor and then there is a overhead now you need to understand this uh with reference to material uh, first i need the data i need three datas actually over here what was the situation on first feb what is the situation uh, at the beginning or uh, that is i can say what is the situation at the beginning what was the situation as at the end and what is the work which is done in the current period that is how i will get the answer you don't write you just pay attention as to whatever i am writing it is for your understanding okay uh, i have a complicated i think theek hai let's see no work was done at the beginning uh, at the end it is 100% complete because it is started and completed so zero started from zero so i can say 100% work is done in the current period this is answer 100% work is done in the current period this is my answer now now understand with reference to this 6000 units if i talk about if i talk about this 6000 units your thinking should be clear now let's talk about this 6000 units first i will talk about this 4000 units which are in opening so again the same format will be there okay now you will give me the answer okay now pay attention what was the work which was already done so that is given in the question if you see what is the work which was already done so sir all the materials are used when this it was at the beginning that is first fab Or twenty five percent complete for labor and overhead. So hundred percent, twenty five percent, twenty five percent, hundred percent work was already done. Twenty five percent work and twenty five percent work was completed for labor and overhead at the beginning. Now, first of all, tell me, did I, uh, have I, or I can say have I uh, completed this entirely? No, no. Nah. It is not completed and transferred to the next process. If it is a FIFA method, you could have said opening WIP completed. Now still it is in closing WIP. Okay, it is not transferred to next process. Now what is the situation which is given about this six thousand units? What they have provided us for this? you just try to understand what is given in the question what is given in the question is this at the end whatever closing wip i have it is all materials are used and 33% complete for labor and overhead labor and overhead so at the end whatever this 6000 units are what is the situation at the end i can say it is 100% complete for material and 33.33% complete for labor and overhead whatever units i have in closing wip these are 6000 units so it is 100% complete for material and 33.33% complete for labor and overhead so can i say that first of all opening wip when opening wip was at the beginning these 4000 units 100% material was used at the end also 100% material is used so no material is used in the current period when these 4000 units were lying in the godown at the beginning of the month it was 25% completion this was the completion rate you can see over here i hope now this is making more sense to you if you are getting confused let me know on yeah, first see understand this if i talk about first feb right this 4000 units what was the completion for labor and overhead it was 25% right yes sir now these units are still lying in your go down as a closing wip yes sir 
Yes. That is this. And whatever is your closing WIP, what is the completion rate or, or it is completion in terms of percentages is 33.33 percent, na? Yes, sir. For this unit, 6,000. This 6,000 is divided into two parts. One is from opening WIP, one is from started and incompleted, right? So this yes, 6,000 includes 4,000, right? Yes. So can I say this 4,000 units when these were lying in the go down on 1st Feb, 25% these were complete with reference to labor. But yes. these same units are there at the end also in the closing WIP but completion rate is 33%. So I must have done 8.33% work uh, during the current period or during this month. Hello? Is it yes. clear? Yes sir. Yes sir. Now, 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 I hope you that that is understand uh, and that you have understood that as to what I want to convey. 25% work was done earlier at the end. Suppose, suppose if I write like this, opening WIP is completed. Opening WIP is completed. Then you will see it was 25% at the beginning, 100% work is done. So we have done the remaining that is 75% of the work. But no, we haven't completed opening WIP. It is still there in closing WIP. The only thing is further processed, further processed. Uh, okay, please, you can come up with your doubts if you have any doubts. Hello. Fair enough then. Uh, what will you write over here? Tell me please. For started and incomplete, 2000 units. Nothing. 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 Then, Nothing. Because starting, not to zero. But the same will come over here. That is 133.33, 33.33. So that will be written. So that is how the thing will be. If you want to copy this for your understanding, you can. It is not a part of solution. It is just for your understanding which is written. So if you want to copy, I will wait. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, fair enough. When I say beginning, beginning is nothing but 1st Feb. Remember this. When I say beginning, beginning is nothing but 1st Feb. And end, end is nothing but 20th Feb. So please write it down. And once you are done, let me know. Then I will start with the next part. So as I told you, once you are done with the LIFO method, your clarity will increase. Okay. Okay, once it is done, I'll just type done so that I can proceed with the next part. If you have any doubt, please ask me, sir. Please explain this again. Any which way, the LIFO method probably they will not ask, but still, it is my duty to give you an idea. If it, it comes, how you will solve the question. So, the one question that is question, I think, four or something, which is solved as per all the methods FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average method. Generally, they will ask you FIFO or weighted average only. Okay.
something which is started always remember it will be nil at the beginning because started from zero something which is opening wip the percentages were given it was 125 25 okay okay i have got one done if i get four to five done then i will start here we go then i think that is done okay it is extra it is not a part of solution huh? please understand this this is extra it is just for your understanding i made this okay let's start done now here we go uh, so now uh, it is very much clear as to how the things will work in nutshell i can say like this it is always 100% so do not worry about this actually uh, the only important thing was uh, this entire thing is made only for understanding this actually this opening wip percentage is this is something which was important i wanted to give you idea about this otherwise how you can remember something which is started and completed always 100% so no need to worry closing wip you should use percentages given in the question for this started but incomplete that is you need to use the percentages given in the question or uh, that is if you refer the question yeah it is uh, all materials are used 33.33 for this so it is one third it means so 100% uh, one third one third it is nothing but 33.33 now that is 4000 which is opening wip process there you need to use your brain that here it is all here it is all so it is nil all all nil then if I talk about this 25% complete here and it is 33% so the increase the work which is done during current period is 8.33 that is how it can be done 8.33 that becomes 14,000 14,000 14,000 then yeah dash 4,000 into 8.33333 percentages so 333333 2000 into 100 percent so 2000 2000 divided by 3 that becomes a 6 6 7 6 6 7 so that becomes 16000 15000 15000 please write this much yep then the rest is something which is easy okay but still let's finish it off okay Now, here we go. Uh, okay. Now, let us go for the next statement. That is a statement showing CPU. Okay. Let us make the statement showing CPU, then distribution of cost. And we are done. So, statement showing, uh, we can say, uh, distrib uh, CPU, first of all, we will make. So, next statement, that is third. Statement showing CPU statement showing cost per unit again whether it is fee 4 or if it is fee 4 you will think only about the current period okay so still i will write that in bracket that you will think about current period here it is particulars we have materials then you will say labor Then you will say overheads. Now, after that, uh, if you want to write here, I can say cost incurred in. Current period. Minus scrap, you will get net cost divided by equivalent production you will get cpu and then you will get total cpu shall now what is the cost incurred in the current period that is the question if i talk about cost incurred in the current period uh, that will be that will be uh, 25600 15000 50000 15000 25600 uh, 15,000, 15,000. Okay. Now, after that, if I talk about the scrap value, that will uh, come from the, no, there is no scrap value. Okay, so 25,600. Uh, then 15,000, 15,000. 
okay uh, then there is an equivalent production that will be there which is uh, 16 15 15 so here we go 16 thousand 15,000, 15,000, 1, 1, 1.6, 3.6. So that will be your CPU which is cost per unit, 3.6. After that you will go for the next statement that is a statement showing your upper distribution of cost. Okay, so your CPU will be 3.6, okay. statement showing distribution of cost or apportionment of cost okay when you say statement showing apportionment of cost first you will say a b c d so first a is output transferred to next process Now, uh, how many units though we can say we have transferred, yeah, uh, 14,000 units we have transferred, so 14,000 units, okay. Now, how will you make the calculations? So, calculation will be easy, what will you do is, uh, you will uh, write as to 14,000 units are transferred and to manufacture every unit, what is the cost that is incurred, so you can see here only we have, see these are 14,000 units, output transfer, started and completed. 14 14 14 and for every unit in order to manufacture in the current period you incur 3.6 rupees that is 14,000 into 3.6 that will be 50,400 and you will say the value of closing WIP which is 6,000 your closing WIP is actually divided into two parts this time the one is opening WIP processed opening WIP processed not completed okay we have just processed it further There is an equivalent production yeah you have a CPU which is 1.6 uh, first of all what is the work which is done in the current period so you can see that on this two th four thousand units no work is done with reference to material 333 333 that is the work done 333 333 so you can write your 333 units 333 units into 1 into 1 we need to understand this is the cost which is incurred in the current period okay this is the cost which is incurred in the current period on these 2000 units 2 or I can say 4000 units whatever units were there at the beginning let me check 4000 units okay so this is the work which is done in the current period you need to add the cost which is incurred in the last period also last period cost as in the opening WIP comes you need to add that cost also so the cost which is incurred in the last period is 8000 okay that is 8000 so that will also come you will take the total it will be 8 a 6 a 6 a 6 a, and then your second part will come which is started but incomplete started that will come from here you can see this I am actually doing this now this closing WIP now the next part is started and incomplete started but incomplete
equivalent production into CPU. So here it is 1.6, 1, 1 and yeah, units are there in the question. You can see 2000, 667, 667. 4, 5, 3, 4 this will be added and yeah 13200 that is gonna be your answer after adding this so i wanted the value of 6000 i calculated the value of 4000 i calculated the value of these 2000 units over here and then added that so 4000 ka value 2000 ka value added and you are getting 13200 so let's write that 13200 over here yeah you can check that just in case if something is pending at your end you can write it down 13200 that will be your value okay and your value here is 50400 and it will tally now your process account will tally there is no abnormal gain and loss so 5400 plus 13200 60 36 yes 63 okay 63, 600. Yes, that's it. So that is how your solution will be. Uh, if in a doubt, you can tell me. Otherwise, we are done with the LIFO method explanation. Okay. So just have a look. Okay, so that's it. So that was something which was there and done with this question. Achha, if I talk about this, that is the questions which are based on the process account with the WIP. There are six steps, guys. Uh, let us revise what are those six steps. So, okay, uh, let's have an understanding. Step number one, if you have a question with a WIP, read the entire question and fill up the process account. Then, the second part will be close the quantity column. If you close and if there is a balancing figure on the debit side, that is again, if there is a credit side, balancing figure is on the credit side, there will be abnormal loss. You can do one thing, if the information is given with reference to scrapped units, you can always ignore that because when you do this, automatically it is taken care of, okay, with reference to those scrapped units. So that can be ignored if you want, okay. Now, having done this, whether it is FIFO method or whether it is LIFO method, steps are same. After that, you can see that amount column if we talk about now we need to calculate once you fill up the process account we need to calculate the cost amount of the following that is we need to calculate the value of output transfer to next process that will not be there closing WIP and either abnormal gain or loss so these values we will have to calculate and in order to calculate these values guys you need to make step number three four and five you will make equivalent production you will make statement showing CPU, you will make statement showing apportionment of cost. Okay, sir. Now, if you talk about statement showing apportionment of cost or these steps, it does matter. Now, step number one and two, it does not matter which method you follow, whether it is FIFO, LIFO or weighted average. But from step number three onwards, it will matter. Let us say FIFO or weighted average. You need to understand, if you think about the FIFO method, you will think only about the current period. If you think about the weighted average method, you will think about current period plus last period, last period plus current period. That will be the thinking. Let us talk about this now, the FIFO method. What will happen is when you do this, you need to make statement number, uh, step number three is statement showing equivalent production particulars per quantity that is units then percentages okay now you need to check the debit side of the process account there can be material labor and overheads okay so these three things will come now first thing will be output transfer to next process i need to know the value of this let us say 10,000 units are there so you need to just bifurcate that whatever units are there opening wip and started and completed when i say opening wip and started and completed it is like simple uh if i just uh it is this opening WIP and started and completed. We are revising, so let's summarize in that way only. And then there will be uh, the value which you will have to calculate for uh, closing WIP. There can be abnormal gain and abnormal loss. What you need to remember is if there is opening WIP which is completed, so if in the question it is given that it was 60% complete, now it is 100% complete. Now at the end it is completed, so we did 40% of the work. So if it is given in the question that 60% work is done, subtract it from the 100% and you will get the balancing figure of 40 you need to write only remaining so that is written 
परसेंटेज इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन माइनस हंड्रेड फॉर स्टार्टेड एंड कंप्लीटेड यू स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम जीरो यू कंप्लीटेड हंड्रेड परसेंट वर्क सो यू विल से ऑलवेज हंड्रेड परसेंट फॉर क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी वॉट एवर परसेंटेज इज गिवन दैट इज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम जीरो एंड लेटर सी यू वेंट टू सिक्सटी सिक्सटी परसेंट वर्क इज डन ठीक है अब नॉर्मल लॉस अब नॉर्मल गेन फॉर अब नॉर्मल गेन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस थम रूल द वन इट इज ऑलवेज हंड्रेड परसेंट बिकॉज इट इज कंप्लीट एंड इट इज सब्सट्रैक्टेड बिकॉज इट इज गेन विच इज अपेयरिंग ऑन द अपोजिट साइड विच इज डेबिट साइड ओके अब नॉर्मल लॉस देर इज नोट वन दैट यू गिज गाइज विल हैव टू रेफर इफ यू रेफर अब नोट वन वट इज रिटर्न परसेंटेजेस ऑफ नॉर्मल लॉस सो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट सॉरी परसेंटेजेस ऑफ अब नॉर्मल लॉस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज एडेड गेन इज सब्सट्रैक्टेड रेफरेंस वन परसेंटेजेस विल बी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन लाइक यूनिट स्क्रैप मटीरियल हंड्रेड परसेंट लेबर एटी परसेंट समथिंग लाइक दिस विल बी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इफ नथिंग इज गिवन देन वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज इफ द क्वेश्चन इज साइलेंट देन ऑलवेज टेक हंड्रेड परसेंट सो ठीक है देन then take 100% okay okay if the the question question is is silent then only for for abnormal loss. The preference one will be percentage is given in the question for abnormal loss for abnormal loss don't worry always you will have to take 100% and it should be subtracted abnormal gain now this was with reference to your uh, fee for method okay if I talk about this now weighted average method guys a uh, little bit change will be there your output transfer to the next process it will not be bifurcated if you make the bifurcation it means it is a fivo method you will say bifurcation is done if bifurcation is done so no bifurcation then there is a closing wip then there is abnormal gain and loss now something which is output transfer to next process because it is 100% complete i am not saying that entire work is done in the current period something must have been done in the last period something is done in the current period last period plus current period total work done till now 100% Closing WIP percentage is given in the question. Abnormal loss that is note number one. First check the percentage is given in the question. If it is not given, then you will take hundred percent. Abnormal gain same rule always hundred percent and it is subtracted. The only change will be output transfer to next process. No bifurcation will be there. In case of FIFO method, there will be a bifurcation. In case of FIFO method, you think only about current period. In the case of weighted average method, you think about last period plus current period. Okay. Now next step. Next step. Step number four. That is your statement showing CPU. If you talk about this again in FIFO method, you think only about the current period. In the weighted average method, you think last period plus current period. So what will you do? See here, what you will say cost incurred in the current period minus scrap. Then you get net cost and divide by equivalent production, which is uh, which is calculated in the earlier statement. Upper, it is calculated, and you will get current period ka CPU. Now, if you talk about the weighted average method, only thing which is added is last period ka cost. You can see there was only current period cost. Now, one more thing will be added that is cost incurred in the last period plus current period minus scrap. Then you get net cost. Then divide by equivalent production, and then you get CPU. So this CPU which you have got, it is a average CPU of last period plus current period. Note. scrap should be subtracted from the main material okay so when the scrap is there in the question scrap will come from where process account it will come from the process account and it should be subtracted like if there is a material labor and overhead so it should be subtracted from the material scrap and if there is a input material then there is material labor and overhead so it should be subtracted from the input material please understand that okay that is main material this comes in case of subsequent process something like this comes okay now After doing this, you have got the two CPUs. Now you have got equivalent production cost statement. You have prepared CPU or a statement. Just multiply this, and you will get statement showing apportionment of cost. So we are going for the next. That is, you can see that statement showing apportionment of cost. Now again, there is possibility of FIFO method or LIFO method. FIFO method is nothing but uh, now if you go here, you will see that. If you go here, you will say that whatever output which is transferred to next process. So first, you will say opening WIP completed. Quantity will come from here, and your CPU will come from here. Okay. So CPU will come from here. I can say the CPU will come from here. CPU current period CPU, and this is uh, opening WIP. So that is what it will be done. Uh, output transfer to next process. Part A will be uh, Roman number one will be this. and then cpu and you will get the answer this is the cost which is incurred in the current period okay because this is current year ka cpu you need to add the cost incurred in the last period also where from where it will come process account debit side it will be written okay so once that is added this is the cost of this opening wip completed and started and completed it is nothing but units that is these units which will be appearing over here multiplied by your cpu which will be there if you multiply this you gonna get the answer and you will get total value of output transfer to next process okay in case of weighted average method because you do not bifurcate your output into two parts there will be only output transfer to next process that is units 
and multiplied by total CPU. You don't have to add last period of cost because it is already added while calculating the CPU. So this CPU is nothing but average CPU, not current period of CPU. You need to understand that. And for others, uh, things are quite similar. You just need to do one thing. You just need to write this closing WIP quantity multiplied by CPU, whatever is there in the question. And that, that is how the answers will be calculated. Okay. Now, so we can see that that was the next step, which was step number five. And step number six will be, what will be your step number six? You need to close one column. Which column? Amount column. When you close amount column uh, of the process account, if balancing figure is on the debit side, in step number two, you have closed quantity column. In step number six, you are closing amount column now. If balancing figure on the debit side, it is gain. If it is on the credit side, it is loss, which is abnormal loss. Okay, sir. Having done this, having done this, uh, after doing this, I can see that, uh, okay. Fine, fine. So after doing this here, I can see that I'm done with this six steps model. Okay. Now uh, let us understand that the process account with the two material, two materials in the sense I can say uh, if the question is for process one account, there is no need to worry. But if it is for subsequent process that is process two or three, then what will happen? There are four materials. So there are four expenses. Opening WIP will be there. Closing WIP will be there. There is an input material from earlier process. There is a material added by the current process. Let us say this is process three. So material you will get from process 2, it is input material, you will transfer it to process 4, Proce material added by process 3, it is which you have got from process 2, you will add at your end, labor cost and overhead cost. So four things will come, input material, material, then labor and overhead. Okay, so now how to solve the question in this case, so there is a point number 1, after 6 steps there is point number 1, uh, let me refer that, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, process account with two materials, what you need to do, material uh, a, it is a main material which is input material. Material A received from it is received from the earlier process. So opening WIP always null, understand and for others you need to take 100%. Okay. Scrap is subtracted from the main material that is material A. Okay. It should be very much clear. We did the question now only. Then there is a others for that is material uh, material B and then again even if I talk about labor and overheads, it is solved like normal equation as you saw. Okay, as you saw, like uh, whatever you saw normally for that. So the only thing will be this main material. What to do with this? Scrap will be subtracted from there, and for opening it is nil, and from for others it will be hundred percent. So that is done. Uh, so that was the first part, guys. Uh, we can say here. Then calculation of normal loss. Uh, let us just revise. Uh, let's have a quick rapid revision for that normal loss also. Normal loss can be here. You can see calculation of normal loss. This is opening. This is input material. This is known as the total input which is 600, there is a closing WIP, actual output which is transferred is 400. Now if normal loss is calculated as a 10% of input material, normal loss is 10% of input material including opening WIP, it means it is this. So you need to calculate on 600 input material including opening WIP. So that will be 600 ka 10% that becomes 60. If it is given in the question case number 2 that normal loss is a 10% of input that's it only input. So it will be calculated on 500 that is 500 into 10% so that becomes 50. If it is given that normal loss is a 10% let us say the fourth case normal loss is a 10% of good units which are transferred to the next process that is actual output which is transferred to the next process in that case actual output transferred are 400 actual output transferred to the next process are 400 so 400 ka 10% if it is written that normal loss is third case is 10% of production how do we get production opening plus input minus closing so you will say opening is 100 plus input is 500 minus closing WIP is 150 so 100 plus 500 minus 150 100 plus 500 minus 150 and then you will calculate 10 percent on that and then you're gonna get this so we are done with this also that is the second part we can say guys that is the calculation of the normal loss now there is a third heading which is with reference to conversion cost now what is the meaning of conversion cost guys so here we come if we talk about the conversion cost, it is very much simple. Conversion cost is nothing but you can see that it means the cost in order to convert raw material into finished goods. So whatever cloth you guys have, if you want to convert this cloth into shirt, whatever cost you incur, that is a conversion cost. It is nothing but labor and a factory overhead. It does not include raw material. Okay, you have a cloth, cloth worth rupees 100. Worker has to work for 200 and there will be electricity consumption of 150. What will be your conversion cost to convert this cloth? You don't have to add cost of cloth. Otherwise that will become total cost. I just want to say conversion cost. 
so this is my conversion cost to convert your cloth into shirt you will have to incur 350 rupees that is in order to convert that that is it, it is nothing but labor and overheads okay conversion cost now what is the fourth point now fourth point is very important that is which method to be followed in the question now let us understand this that is method to be followed in the question if we talk about this that is method to be followed in the question let, let us understand here okay first of all whether you should follow FIFO method or whether you should follow weighted average method so first of all read the question method is specified in the question then no need to worry about this if method is specified in the question there is no need to worry but 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 if the question preference number two if the question is silent then what to do question has specified something there is no need to worry but sir if the question is silent what will you do sir if the question is silent then you need to check please you need to understand one thing tell me uh opening wip bifurcation is done like this see whatever is your output that is transferred to the next process we will bifurcate that as opening WIP and started and completed. It is done in which method? Please tell me it is done in which method? FIFO method. FIFO method. It is done FIFO in FIFO method. method. Right. So you need that material, labor and overhead. Ka. What was the work which was done in the earlier and what is the work which is done in the current period? So if with reference to your opening WIP, with reference to your opening WIP, if breakup of opening WIP is given in terms of percentages, then you have to go for a FIFO method like it is given in the question material 100% work was done here 60% work was done 60% work was done so you will see now we will do 40% work now suppose this information is not given then how can you do this so in order to follow FIFO method they should provide you with the data as to percentages what work was done in the previous period that bifurcation should be there that this much is completion rate so now we will complete the balance part but now suppose this is not given but what they have given is amount ka bifurcation like it is given that opening WIP opening WIP 8000 units and the cost is let us say 10,000 now the bifurcation of the cost is given first thing is suppose like this is given material labor and overhead it is given it is 100% complete it is 60% uh, complete it is 60% complete if something like this is given you will go for a FIFO method if something like this is not given if it is given that the amount of 10,000 is divided into three parts material labor and overhead let us say 5,000, 3,000 and 2,000 then now if you go follow weighted average method your thinking will be a uh, weighted average method your thinking will be last period plus current period and when you do last period plus current period you need to understand one thing when you do this first of all your output transfer to next process will you divide will you bifurcate that or not output transfer to next process yes or no bifurcation will be done no it will not be done what will be done when you calculate the cpu cost incurred in the last period plus current period that will be done for material labor and overhead so i hope you understand what you need is actually when you follow weighted average method what you need that whatever cost which is incurred in the last period you need the bifurcation of that cost so that material ka 5000 this for labor it is this 3000 and for overhead it is 2000 it means if bifurcation with reference to amount is given that which how much for material labor and overhead then you will go for weighted average method if question is silent if bifurcation is given with reference to percentages this much work was done in the earlier period now the remaining work will be done in the current period that we will come to then you will have to go for a FIFO method if both are given then it is up to you any method you can follow but I feel weighted average is easy then I will go for this but yeah if the question is silent you need to check either they have given us data in percentages or bifurcation is given bifurcation is given in with reference to cost or amount then accordingly you will decide so that was all about that was all about uh, this method which was, the revision is done in 17 minutes uh, hello guys uh, if you have seen video till here and if you feel that i have contributed something in your success what you can do is either you can write a very good message on this number that is 996-773-6613 this number you can write a message a very good message you can comment also below the video don't like and sh uh, don't forget to like and share with your friends do like and do subscribe the channel and if you feel that there is any contribution from my side and if you want to donate something from your side again it is completely optional or you can donate even when you uh, even it can be any random amount which you want you can google pay on this number which is 996-773-6613 thank you so much bye bye yeah okay guys so now let us start with the concept uh, which name is inter process profit you can give the heading it is a third concept inter process profit
now what is this inter process profit is let us understand this concept in detail okay inter process profit first of all uh, are you guys done with our departmental accounts hello yes sir yes so now yeah. if i uh, done, done. Uh, departmental accounts now suppose there is a company i hope you understand company will be divided into uh, divisions like division 1 division 2 division 3 same way i am here saying that company is the factory has been divided into three departments or three processes process 1 process 2 and process 3 there is a possibility process 1 is a manufacturing division process 2 is assembly division process 3 is a packing division so there is a possibility there are different different divisions and every division will have a manager every division will have a manager and okay and company there will be a ceo of the company let us say so now tell me if i talk about this as of now whatever questions we have solved whatever is the output of process one that will become input for process two yes sir output of process one that is foundation that became input for inters okay now so now whatever is the output that is manufactured that will be assembled over here now the thing is whenever process one is transferring anything to process two it will be transferred at cost or it can be transferred at cost plus profit and when you say cost plus profit that becomes transfer price transfer price what is transfer price like one unit has been produced at 100 rupees by process one process one has added 10 rupees as a profit and then the product was transferred for 110 to process two now tell me why this is done why are we complicating the things why the company or the process one is not transferring at 100 only why the process one is transferring at 110 that is after adding 10 rupees can you tell me the reason it is similar happens in departmental accounts also i would like to know the reason first hello hello why do we do this sir, so that uh, the selling price like when the goods are like uh, done produced hmm. Hmm. so uh, uh, evaluate mm, no okay See, what is important? What is important that a profit should be there in the books of accounts or company should actually earn the profit? Tell me, what is important? Profit should be there in books of account that is more important or company should actually I can say here we have earned 10 here we have earned we, here we have earned 10 rupees you have earned 30 rupees as a profit tell me when you make your trading and PL account you make it for process or you make it for a company trading and PL account for the company. it is prepared for the company right okay so first of all now understand I will tell you the reason first of all tell me if I talk about this managers if I talk about this managers I want that this managers should always focus upon uh, or this managers should always focus for the benefit of the company should always uh, be focused for the benefit of the company like this managers should try to reduce the cost if the cost is reduced company will be benefited now one more thing I want this managers should be motivated this managers should be motivated so if I give them fixed salary now they are not motivated i hope you understand why why they are not motivated now whether they are working efficiently or not it does not matter they are getting fixed salary that's it their job is you have to come by 10 o'clock you have to leave by 6 o'clock that's it it does not matter how efficiently you have worked but if i tell the managers you will get the fixed salary plus 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 you will get incentive or bonus we can say incentive or bonus based on profit of the process based on profit like whatever is the profit which is earned by process one 10% will be given as a profit to you 10% will be given as a profit to you now I hope you understand to increase the profit of process one he cannot increase the selling price because that has been decided on very first day now the option to increase the profit is 
that manager will try to always reduce the co cost he will always try that there should not be any abnormal loss he will always try there should be abnormal gain we should work efficiently so it means if i give my managers incentive then which is based on profit and then process the manager of that process one will try to increase the profit how it will be done by reducing the cost and if the cost is reduced it is in the benefit of the company it means and therefore sometimes sometimes company goes for this policy i hope you understand that you understood why do we do this why do we add profit in between so that uh, we can motivate our manager that some percentages of profit will be given as an incentive and higher profit is earned by process one process two process three and then it is in the benefit of the company then first of all have you understood why do we add profit hello are yes, yes or no everyone yes sir okay fine so now if you have any doubt you can ask me okay so now we add profit now how to account for this so for that matter there is one question now first of all first of all when you make the process account when you, when we guys make the process account how it is uh, prepared so here let us say it is my process account now when we guys make the process account generally what all columns are there there is a quantity column and then there is a amount column there is a quantity column and there is a amount column now the questions which are there in institute material they will not provide you the information about quantity otherwise it will be quite complicated so if information of quantity is not provided there will be only one column but this time this time that amount column will be divided into two parts so that amount column will be divided into two parts this is total which will have two parts one is cost another is profit this time how many columns will come cost profit and amount and there will be one particulars column same goes on the credit side so particulars cost profit amount particulars cost profit amount now we will solve the question so that you will have more idea as to how to solve this karke so let us do one thing let us solve one question only so that we will have more idea for this so let us come to that question here uh, okay uh, so uh, let us come to the question number 12 and we will try to understand as to how it can be solved so please understand if you talk about question number 12 uh, what is written in the question okay a limited produces a x e which passes through a uh, two processes before it is completed and transferred to finish stock okay so there is one product uh, which is uh, passed through we can say a uh, a x e is my product which passes through two processes and before it is completed you can see there is process one there is process two then it becomes my finished goods okay so this much is clear what is the data that has given opening stock information direct material direct wages factory overhead closing stock so okay opening closing is given there are expenses like material wages and overheads then there is inter process profit included in inter process profit included in you can see that inter process profit included in that is actually opening stock okay so inter process profit included in opening stock that data is there in the question theek hai now let us read ahead output of process 1 is transferred to process 2 it is given so whatever is the output that will be transferred to process 2 okay add 25% profit on the transfer price that we will deal with this uh, we added 25% profit on the transfer price okay sir chalo let's proceed output of process 2 is transferred to the finished stock at 20% profit on the transfer price so when we talk about output of process 2 first of all it is transferred at 20% profit 25% profit on transfer price in a output of process 2 if i talk about output of process 2 it is transferred by uh, at a 20% profit on the transfer price okay then stock is valued at prime cost so if i talk about this stocks this stock we always value closing stock so that will be valued at prime cost that is written stock is valued at prime cost okay finished stock is valued at the price at which it is received from process 2 that we will understand later on what this line what does it signify finished goods is valued at the price at which it is received from process 2 we will understand the meaning of this acha sales is given in the question sales during the period is 140000 prepare the process account uh, and the finished goods accounts showing the profit element at each stage what is the requirement of the question guys we need to make process cost account that is process account and finished goods account if i talk about the process cost account there are two accounts we can say process one account process two account and then we will have to make finished goods account so we need to make three accounts 
that is more uh, clear with us we need to make process one uh, process two and finish goods account okay now when you make the accounts first of all tell me in the entire question have they given us any information with reference to quantity yes or no please have they given us any information with reference to quantity no, sir. no no information is given okay nowhere they, they have mentioned that units are there so first of all quantity column will not be there and whatever is my amount column that will be divided into two parts the one is the cost column the another one is profit column okay because no profit is there in between we will see how to calculate this and all karke, okay so i just told you as to how many columns will come so let us do one thing when we solve this question it is uh, preferable it is preferable if you take the pages uh, side by side pages aju baju wala page le lo, that is a better option now we gonna make the format uh, how many lines let me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay so please make the account for 14 lines okay uh, first chalo. let us make the account Okay, the, the debit side will come over here, credit side will appear over here. Okay, uh, let's leave uh, 14 lines in between, uh, yeah, 13 lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let me count 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay. And 14th is total, okay. Fine. So please make this format. And then here we go. You will have three columns that is cost, profit and total. Same three columns will appear on the credit side also. So please uh, this time the format is quite lengthy. So please just make the format. And once you are done with this, let me know. particulars cost profit total particulars cost profit total and here we have process one account Once you guys are done with the format, just let me know, then we will start. This is the format which will be there. Hello, done? Yes sir, done. Okay. Now, now let's do one thing. Let us start posting. We just need to read first information about our process one. Okay. So let's start guys. Okay. What is written sir? Let's read here. Okay. First let me just delete everything. Okay. First. Sir, now we bolo. Is this somewhat similar to interdepartmental purchase and sales? Yeah, somehow it is related with that only. Okay. Now, first of all, opening stock is given in the question. It will appear on the debit side. Okay, so please write it down. Process 1, you will not understand that much. Once we prepare process 2 account, you will have more understanding. Okay, so please here you write to opening stock. When you write opening stock on the debit side guys the value is uh, 7500 now when you write 7000 there is no profit LFA. see here you can say 7500 and once that is written you please check here you can see there is no profit element nil it is so there is no profit element which is included so the cost is also 7500 the profit element included is nil why it is nil i will explain okay now Process 1 was having this much stock, now process 1 has incurred some cost. What is that cost? That cost is your material cost and labor cost. Achha. 
now let us add uh, let us write it on the debit side that is to material and then to labor to material and to labor or to wages we can say to material and then i can say to wages Achha. sir what is the value if i talk about material the value is 15000 and then 11200 15000 11,200 there is no profit element it is the cost which is incurred you just write it down have some patience by the time we finish this question you will have more understanding okay now sir after writing this now tell me or uh, the closing stock is valued what is written in the question is closing stock is valued at prime cost I will highlight that sentence that the stock in the process stock in the process okay you can have a look what was written so we have over it also agreed but what is written over here is stock in the process is valued at what prime cost prime so cost. so first of all tell me uh, uh, when you make the cost sheet your finished goods is valued at what when you make the cost sheet your finished goods is valued at we have written that note also please when you when we make the cost sheet our finished goods is valued at cost of production or do you remember this Yes, there is a cost of production add opening stock of finished goods then as closing stock of finished goods we say what is your cost per unit over here it is 10 rupees so one unit value of one unit is 10 rupees so whatever units you have multiplied by 10 you get the value so your closing stock is valued at cost of production so tell me when you value when you value your closing stock do you include your selling and distribution yes or no no, no. no. so tell me here also stock in the process that is when you value the closing stock when you value the closing stock will you include factory overhead yes or no it is valued at prime cost oh. no tell me generally generally WIP stock in process is nothing but WIP it is not actually valued at prime cost it is uh, valued at what can you tell me WIP is valued at what factory cost are you remember now this is gross factory cost then you say add opening stock of WIP yes, less yes, closing yes. stock of WIP so that is valued at gross factory that is factory cost we can say and your finished goods is valued at uh, cost of production but here it is specifically written that your WIP is not valued at factory cost it is valued at prime cost so when if I I can write closing stock on the credit side I can write closing stock on the credit side or the other option is if you want to present you can subtract it from here so first let us write here gross prime cost the way you say gross factory cost which is 7500 plus 15000 plus 11200 that is 33700 33700 generally WIP is valued at uh, generally WIP is valued at gross factory cost so we use, that is factory cost so we used to write overheads then you will get factory cost then you will say WIP adjustment less clothing stock of WIP but this time it is specifically written therefore you will have to subtract from here only minus closing stock I hope you are getting this why I haven't written overheads first first I will subtract closing stock then I will write overheads hello yes sir fine so the closing stock which is given in the question is uh, 3700 you can see that it is uh, 3700 so please just copy that 3700 and it is my closing stock either it can be shown on the credit side or it can be subtracted from the debit side that is how I see AI presents so I am also presenting it on the debit side if the question comes on for inter process profit closing stock you will subtract it from the debit side okay now you're gonna get your net factory cost sorry net prime cost sorry net prime cost so that will be 30,000 and 30,000 now there is one more expense which will be added guys there is one more expense which will be added which is overheads which was pending so let's write overheads factory overheads sir kitna how much the factory overheads factory overheads is 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 10,500 so please write that 10,500 factory overhead is 10,500 and then when you take the total you get total cost there is no other cost so you can say it is a total 
which is a 40,500. Now, now I would like to know the answer from your side. Okay, I would like to know the answer from your side. If you are manager of process one, what is transfer price? Sir, transfer price is that price at which at which goods are transferred from process one to process uh, two. At what price goods are transferred? That is the transfer price at which it is transferred. In here, as and when we make the transfer, we add some profit element. So we know the cost which is there in this question. If I give you this sir, process account, we know the cost. Yes, sir. My cost is 40,500. But now, sir, here, tell me. Just read this line and tell me what will be your transfer price. Just read this first line and tell me what will be your transfer price, please. Hello. What will be your transfer price when the goods are being transferred from process 1 to process 2? Uh, Vaishnavi, uh, nine. Please don't make a mistake. Dhruvi, nahi. Ridhima, nahi. Everyone uh, got the same answer as 50625, but that is a wrong answer. So that is a common mistake, I can say, which happens. Okay, now understand. What is written? Let me read that again. Uh, output of the process 1 is transferred to process 2 at 25% profit on the transfer price. 25% profit. So first of all, whatever is your cost, you will add profit for that. So now, please understand this working with me. Whatever is your cost that you guys have incurred, you will add profit and then you get transfer price. Like, let us say your cost is 100, you will add 10 rupees as a profit and then you will sell it or you will transfer it for 110. Now, in this question, what is given? If you read the line carefully, you will understand 25% profit. But tell me, this 25 this 25% is profit on cost or on transfer price? On transfer price. So 100 will be written over here. If my transfer price is 100, in that transfer price, my profit is 25. I hope you understand. Then your cost becomes 75. All right. Do I need to explain this in detail or you understand this calculation? Hello. Understood. Yeah. Understood. Fine. So that is a please don't make this as 100. Okay. That profit is 25% on the transfer price. On transfer price. Okay. So now what do I know? I know this that I have incurred a cost of 40,500. What is going to be my profit in that case, sir? I know my cost is 40,500, which is incurred by me. So 40,500 into, into, uh, 25 divided by 75 I am earning 13,500 as a profit which is profit you can see this is the column so you can see this is profit column you can write that profit now now what will come is your cost is 40,500 you have added 13,500 as a profit and yeah your price will be this 40 54,000 see this column is nothing but this column is nothing but addition of cost and profit so you can see there was only profit which was written. Now we can say this is cost, this is profit and this is transfer price. Achha. I hope uh, maybe there is a process to account which is pending. Once we make that maybe you will have more understanding. Okay. Now understand, understand having done this, having done this. Now you will come to the credit side and what will you write? Achha, are you done with this much? Hello. Have you written this much? Yes sir. Fair enough. So. So now let's come to the credit side. Let us come to the credit side and write by process 2, which is nothing but output transferred to process 2. No need to worry, just copy these and write it down. So that will be 40,500, 13,500, and 54,000. And here you go. Now we will go for process to account and you are understanding. You will have more understanding now. Okay. The second time when we make this account. Once you are done with the process one account, let us go for the process to account. Around 15 lines and we should have those many lines. Okay. I think. So let's make that account. Process to account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन ठीक है फेर इना प्लीज मेक द फॉर्मेट सिमिलर फॉर्मेट फॉर फिफ्टीन लाइन्स वॉट एवर लाइन्स यू गाइज हैव It is quite boring, but yeah, you will. We will have to finish it off. Yeah. Generally, this question comes in examination, huh? so please pay attention. They will ask you the similar question in exam, so they repeat this question. Okay, once the formatting is done, just let me know, then we can start with the process too. Yeah, that is done. Others also participate and please you have to write done, wait, whatever, so that I can understand. Yeah, you guys are there with me. चलो शुरू करते हैं लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाउ लेट इज रीड द क्वेश्चन सर व्हाट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो इफ वी रीड इफ वी रीड वी अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच इज गिवन इज ओपनिंग स्टॉक ओपनिंग स्टॉक 9000 बट 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 दिस 9000 इंक्लूड्स अ प्रॉफिट सर व्हाई इट इंक्लूड्स प्रॉफिट लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड सपोज 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 नाउ लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक नाउ इट इज अ प्रोसेस टू अकाउंट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सपोज देयर इज प्रोसेस वन There is a process two. Okay, now process one has made one product for at a cost of rupees let us say hundred. It has added profit of rupees ten, and now TP that is the transfer price is one one zero. Now that one unit has been given to this process two. Now what process two will say? Tell me what is the cost for process two manager? Is it hundred, ten, or one one zero? One one zero, right? So cost plus profit. So there are columns: cost, profit, and the total. So understand. First of all, the cost will be one one zero. That will be uh, told by this manager that he will say first it is one one zero. Now out of one one zero, I hope you understand. It includes profit. This is nothing but cost to P two manager. This column is nothing but cost to P2 manager. That's why that manager is saying that P2 manager is saying, "Are you for me? The cost is 110. But tell me, from the point of view of company, the cost is not 110. The cost is 100 only. So this includes the profit. So this stock of 110 includes 10 rupees as a profit. Now tell me, if there is any stock which is there with P1, there is any stock which is there with P1, it will be valued at 100 only, na? Are do you understand that closing stock will be valued at hundred only? P one ka closing stock because usne khud he has manufactured this. So I hope you understand closing stock of P one will never have inter process profit because it is the first process. Hello, closing stock of P one will never have any inter process profit because it is the first process. See, but closing stock of P two will have inter process profit because these goods are being given by P one after adding profit. So whatever goods which are there or lying in P two, these are manufactured by P one first, and it has added some profit. So whatever stock which is there in P two, it will have some profit which is added by P one. But because P one is the first process, the stock of P one will not have any profit element. Hello. Are you getting it? Hello, everyone. Or uh, should I repeat that again? 
Yeah. Okay, understand. Yes, understand this. Understand this. Suppose uh, P1 has manufactured one unit. P1 has. You are a manager of P1. You have manufactured one unit at a cost of rupees 100. This is the cost of P1. Okay. Now, this is the cost of P1. Now, this unit is there in the godown. This is not transferred to the next process. It is there in my godown. So, tell me. I hope you understand it will be valued at 100 only. Valuation will be done at 100 only. Does it include any inter-process profit? Yes or no? Okay. No. Then there is no inter-process profit. But now this unit, let us say, is transferred to P2. Now, if I talk about P2, tell me what is the cost for P2? That is total. P2 okay. will say that I will I I give one ten to it uh, the. P2 will value for 110, right? Because P2 has paid 110. This is the closing okay. stock. But now, I hope you understand, is it the cost for the company? This is the cost for the process 110. But from the company's point of view, what is the cost? The cost is still 100 only, na? Hello? Because, huh, so it have 10 rupees as a profit, which is inter-process profit. And this profit is of which process process one but because it was the first process there is no profit which is added by earlier process but if i talk about p2 and p2 is getting these units from p1 so p1 has added some profit of 10 and then here the value is 100 this is actually the cost that is why what it is presented cost is 100 Profit is 10 and 110 is total. Hello. Are you getting this, everyone? Yes. yes. Now, I now here you say, uh, here it is given that in totality P2 says that it is having the stock of 9000. But inter-process profit included in opening stock is 1500. So, I hope you understand now how it will be presented. P2 says that it has a stock of 9000 guys. P2 says that it has a stock of 9000. But in that 9000, 1500 is inter-process profit. So what is the cost to the company? That is 7500. This is two opening stock. Please any doubt? Your doubts are most welcome. You can ask me. Opening stock. See that is how you will present the answer. 9000 is total value in that 1500 is a profit which is included and yeah the cost becomes 7500 for the company yes now we have received we are process 2 now and we have received some goods from earlier process that is process 1 so 2 process 1 we have received goods the cost to the company is this 13,554,000. Please, uh, let us write this note. Uh, I hope you will understand this. Tell me if I talk about this cost column, this is cost to the company or cost to the process? The cost column. Cost to the company. Cost to, to the company. Cost to the company. So, the cost to the company is this, which is 40,500. But these units are transferred by P1 at 54,000. So this total column is nothing but, I hope it is understood, this total column is nothing but cost to the company. Sorry, cost to the process. Process 2 manager will, process 2 manager will say that I am having uh, opening stock of costing 9,000. I have received goods. For that matter, I have made 54,000. But from company's point of view, this is the cost. Please, you should be very clear with this thought process. There should not be any doubt in your mind. Process 2 manager has paid 54,000 to P1. But from the company's point of view, the cost of that product is only 40,500. Okay. Now, bolo. 1500 profit opening Should I explain that again, right? First of all, if you see the question, in the question what is given, what is your opening stock? 9000, right? Yes. 
this is what it is told by which process process two manager says that i am having goods of 9000 which value is 9000 whose value is 9000 now what is written here inter process profit included in opening stock in that 9000 how much profit is included 1500 that was given so if i write 1500 so actual cost is 7500 only from the company's point of view hello okay okay same way process to manager says that i have received goods costing rupees 54000 cost to the process but, but I have a doubt. bolo Please understand this. Now, process 1 has transferred something to P2, right? Yes, sir. What do you feel? These goods will be there as it is in P2 or P2 will incur some cost on that? Incur cost. Right? So, because of which, I hope that percentages will not be same now. Like, Achha, okay, the cost increased, but the profit is uh -huh. I hope you understood. Or uh, Should I give you an example for that matter, a basic example or you got the point? Like you have purchased something, there is a one person, there is another person, 100 plus 10, 110. So you have received one product for 110. Now you will incur some cost and then you will sell it. So you have incurred 20 rupees on that. So it became 130. So in 130, I hope you understand 10 rupees is the only profit from the company's point. Now this profit percentage will not be same, na? Hello? Yes, 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 understood. Okay, fine. Now, after this, what will come? We have received opening stock, then we have written something which came from the earlier process, then there is a material, then there is a labor. Achha, will you write overhead below labor, yes or no? Overhead below labor, yes or no? What will come after labor? Hello? Closing stock will come, right? Because here, Stock is valued, closing stock is valued at prime cost. So, first you will have to calculate the prime cost. Okay, now, now process 2 manager says I have incurred 15,750, 11,250. So, 15,750, 11,750. Tell me, does it include any profit from 11, the 11,250? Okay, fine, that is my mistake. It is 11,250. Tell me. From the company's point of view, what is the cost? Same, na? Process to manager has incurred this cost. Come from the company's point of view also, this is the cost. There is no profit. Inter-process profit. It is incurred by this process only. So, this is cross prime cost. That will be 75,000, 15,000, 90,000. Yeah. So this is the total cost from uh, from the point of view of P2 manager. But company says that there is a profit of 15,000 which is included. And yeah, the prime cost will be 75,000. Now, less closing stock. Now the process to manager says that whatever closing stock I have, the value of that is 4500 sir. The value of that is 4500 he will say. Process to manager will say the value is 4500. But it includes some profit. Now how will you calculate? So you will simply say now in 90,000 if the profit included is 15,000. And this 45,000 is nothing but which is there in the go down from this 90,000 only. So, what is the profit which is included over there? You can just cross multiply and you can get the answer. Hello? Are, are you getting it, everyone? Yes, sir. Hmm. So, please cross multiply and get the answer 4,500 into 15,000 divided by 19,750. So, this you got after cross multiplication. Okay, you can see uh, show that sign. And here it is 3750. Okay. Now, this will be subtracted. This will be subtracted. Because this is closing stock. And then you will get net prime cost. 
ओके सर हाउ मच इट इज सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड और थ्री सेवन और फाइव जीरो प्लीज पे अटेंशन इन द क्लास ओके फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड माइनस सेवन फिफ्टी यू आर बी गो वन फोर टू फाइव जीरो नाइन्टी थाउजेंड माइनस फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एट्टी फाइव थाउजेंड और फाइव हंड्रेड ओके so we have our net prime cost with us okay sir it is clear now now what you need to write is factory overhead so chalo let us write factory overhead factory overhead now if i talk about the factory overhead uh, how much it is given so factory overhead is uh, 4500 you can write that 4500 just total it does not have any profit in included cost for the company is cost for the process now you will get a total over here now please tell me what will be your transfer price now i would like to see that uh, who will calculate the right answer i would like to know the transfer price P2 is transferring something in the finished goods account at what price? Transfer price. Please be very careful. Calculate the transfer price. Yes, uh, Vedant, uh, that is right answer. Uh, Nishi, that is right answer. Vaishnavi, nahi. Understand this. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Now, here we go. I can show you the working as a cost. Plus profit is equal to transfer price. Now, what is given in the question? What is given in the question is output of process two is transferred to finished stock at twenty percent profit on transfer price. Twenty percent profit on transfer price. Okay, sir. It means profit is twenty. Profit is twenty on the transfer price. So this is eighty. 80 20 on transfer price now 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 who you are you are manager of process to what will you say you will say that cost to me is 90000 okay this is the cost to the company you are not aware of this you are aware of this that you cost for you is 90000 cost for you you have taken this for 54000 you have incurred this cost so you will say cost for you is 90000 okay here you can make the mistake so please like simple eh? you have taken one product like you will see that if you are a manager you will see that earlier process the cost was 100 he has added profit of 10 and that process one manager has sold you it that product for 110 now you will say you paid 110 on that so this is cost for you you will add profit on that so cost for you cost for the process is 110 Same way, cost for the process is ninety thousand. Please understand. Process to manager will say, for me the cost is ninety thousand. Here you can make the mistake, so you should be very careful. So ninety thousand into twenty divided by eighty, that becomes twenty two thousand five hundred. That is the profit which will be added. Then you will say, yeah, seven five seven five zero. Three six seven five zero one one two five double zero. That is very important. This this here you can make the mistake. You should not take seven five seven five zero. Instead, you should take ninety thousand. Okay, because cost for that manager is ninety thousand. Yeah. Okay. Having said that, having said that, once you do this. Now we can go for the calculate. Or I hope that is clear. Yeah, the version will be fine. That is clear. Okay. Now, now I can just write it down on the other side. As output transferred to by 
or I can directly say finish goods account. There is one more account that we need to prepare last account finish goods account. So that will be made that is finish goods account. So you can see this. Okay. After that, let us make finish goods account and that's it. And we are done with this question. Okay. Now. I hope you are done with this now once you are done with this what you will have to do is guys uh, we will make one account that is uh, we will make finish goods account for 10 lines with the same format but it will be made for 10 lines so let us prepare an account for 10 lines process of uh, finish goods account sorry last account and we are done with this question so we are done with the process we can say only one extra question is there that we will be sol solving so let us just make that account Or 10 lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Let's give the heading as finished goods account. Body pillars, cost, profit, total, 10 lines. Okay, body pillars, cost, profit, total. If the question comes, the same format will be prepared. Okay, same question comes in the examination. They will not change, they will change only figures for you. Okay. Fine, so having done with this, uh, we can start with this now. Now we will know the process as to what will be done. First step, sir, first step is what? You just need to write opening stock, which is there in the question. So, chalo. First, let us write the opening stock. So, opening stock, which is there is 22,500. Two opening stock. So, let me write this. Two opening stock now this is total does it include any profit yes question will specify it includes profit of this inter process profit included in opening stock it is 8250 so that profit element will be written over here so cost for the company is actually 14250 now Something will be received from the earlier process that is uh, process two. Let me copy those values. Okay, so here we go, and we have these values over here. Now, sir, what to do? Okay. So after doing this opening stock is there, process is there, now, 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 we are not incurring any material and labor cost, sir, it is finished goods account, sir, it is, that is not there, that is not there. Now, there is a closing stock, but the question, how will you value the closing stock? And there is a separate line, finished goods stock is valued at the price at which it is received from process to. Chala. Now, I would like to see that uh, how many of you can calculate this. My finished goods stock is 11250. Okay. I would like to know the profit which is included in this 11250. Please calculate and tell me. What is the profit that is included in this 11250? Please send the answer in chat box. Finished goods is valued at the price at which it is received from the process too. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Dhruvi right answer. Nishi nine. Uh, Vaishnavi. Uh, I think eight zero zada ho gaya shayad. Nahi. Vaishnavi nine. Uh, Vedant right answer. Chalo. Thik hai. Achha, first of all, you need to understand one thing. You need to understand one thing. Uh, one thing. Just understand this. You will have more clarity. Suppose if I tell you there is opening stock. Something which is came from process two. Okay, there are 100 units, let us say at the rate of rupees 2, 
there are let us say 200 units at the rate of rupees 3. Now suppose if I have sold, uh, if I have sold let us say 150 units or uh, let us say 250 units. So my closing stock will be, closing stock will be uh, 50 units that you understand very well okay there is no doubt in that because I was having 300 units out of which 250 units are being sold and 50 units are there in my go down. Now tell me if you follow FIFO method first you will sell what I hope you understand when you sell this this will be here it is like this from opening you have sold 100 units and from process to you have sold it uh, then remaining units that is 150 so 150 units are being sold from here so these 50 units which are there in my go down these are from opening stock or process one or process two whatever it is like hello how process one or process two whatever we say so this is from process two let us say that is how the bifurcation is so I can say that this hundred are sold and this 200 are uh, out of this 200 150 are being sold and 150 are still in my go down so when you value this this will be valued at rupees 3 so I can say that if sentence is given some sentence like this is given closing stock is valued at process 2 this indicates that it is actually FIFO method first in is this is first out so whatever is remaining it is from this second lot only but take any which ways but uh, I can here say that now when you calculate see your closing stock is 11250 that is given in the question but you will take the total and then you will cross multiply no 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 that will not be done please understand closing stock is valued here so here I can say less closing stock and please understand this if you have any doubt tell me I am writing like this that three six seven five zero one one two five double zero one one two five zero is my closing stock what is the profit included in that because it is valued at input which is received from the earlier process so I just showed that working I can say one one two five zero is my closing stock so what is the profit it is written specifically if you read that line finished goods is valued at the price at which it is received from process 2 so whatever we receive from process 2 this is the total value it includes this much profit from that only this stock is there in my go down so what is the profit which is included so just cross multiply 11250 into 636750 divided by 112500 that becomes 3675 and then 11250 minus 3675 Aray, now don't tell me sir why you change the like valuation differently you should have taken this total no question is specified that closing stock should be valued at this uh, from the input taken from the process to okay and once you subtract this you will get the total which is nothing but actually your COGS cost of goods sold these are total units from which these are being a uh, closing stock is subtracted so the, you will get this cost of this 250 units so here I can say 14250 plus 75750 minus 75752425 if you are not getting anything please let me know I will repeat okay if something you did not get you can tell me I can repeat that entire thing again if you have any doubt you have to ask me in the lecture or after the lecture but it is preferable if you ask here only okay, sir I did not get this you can ask the doubt okay Chalo, to ki hai now sir what to do now 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 we are selling this product to whom customer and we have sold it this is the cost from this warehouse keeper the manager and from the company's point of view this is the cost okay this includes the profit which is on P1 and by P2. Now we will add profit at this stage at finished goods stage. Okay. Now I can say that I can say that uh, the my sales value during the year is sales during the period is 1,40,000. 1,40,000 is my sales. So directly sales is given in the question. We used to calculate that but it is directly given. 1,40,000 is sales and the cost is this. So what will be your profit? 
वन सिक्स टू फाइव जीरो दैट विल बी योर प्रॉफिट वन सिक्स टू फाइव जीरो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस तो एट टू फोर टू फाइव इट इज कॉस्ट टू द कंपनी फोर वन थ्री टू फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स टू फाइव जीरो दिस इज द प्रॉफिट विच इज टोटली ऑन बाई कंपनी ब्रेकअप इज दर समथिंग इज ऑन बाई दिस फिनिश गुड्स डिपार्टमेंट एंड दिस इज ऑन बाई पी वन एंड पी टू सो एट द एंड दिस आंसर विल बी देर विथ यू फर्स्ट यू सेट सील्स वॉज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो यू टूक दिस एज अ बैलेंसिंग फिगर दिस वन सिक्स टू फाइव जीरो वॉज टेकन एज अ बैलेंसिंग फिगर दिस इज द प्रॉफिट येस एंड देन यू विल से सेल्स ओवर हियर बाई सेल्स दिस इंटायर थिंग विल बी कॉपीड सो प्लीज राइट इट डाउन डन ओके राइटिंग Are is there anything that is pending? I will show the screen in that case, that part. Hello. Done. Okay. Now, now, let us revise as to what we have done in this question. That took around one hour, but now listen to this. Uh, there is a P one, there is a P two, and there is a finished goods. Okay. Now there is one more question where there is P three also. That 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 is one headache for you. Again, P three will be prepared now. Process one is transferring to process two uh, by adding some profit. So you will always have guys three columns: cost, profit, and uh, total. Here also cost, profit, and total. As and when the question comes, uh, the format will be same. Now in this case, you need to understand that the openings, the closing stock is valued at prime cost. Because this closing stock is valued at prime cost, you will always make this opening. Then there is a raw material. Then there is a labor that will come here. There will be opening. Raw material and labor will be there, but there will be one more element that is input from the earlier process. Input from P one is will also be there. Okay. After doing that, you will get the gross prime cost. Here also will get the gross prime cost, and then closing stock will be subtracted from here. Okay. And then you need to add factory overhead. You will get total total. Acha. Now, as in when you say cost plus profit is equal to transfer price. Okay. So percentages will be given. Let us say it is ten percent on transfer price. So that 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 will become ninety in this case. Now, when you talk about this cost, tell me when you write this cost, you will take this cost column or total column. Hello. For cross multiplication, when cost will be written, this ninety indicates what? This ninety indicates cost column or total column? total column please understand this is this is the cost this is the cost for the company cost for the process will be this so process will say that this is my cost this is the cost for the process so process will say that this is my cost so you should always write this total please understand this i can show you this okay here you will say that for me this is the cost 90000 and accordingly it will be calculated so do not forget that okay when you make the calculations okay so that was one thing where you can make the mistake okay so that is one thing that when you write this below 90 if you write that will be from the total column only then as in when you value the closing stock the same adjustment comes it is not valued at prime cost it is valued at something which is received from process 2 so process to whatever we have received from earlier process so don't take the total and then value the closing stock closing stock will be valued like this cross multiplication we can see this 
okay and you will get the profit included in that okay having done that sales value will be given in the question which will be written you will get the profit and then yeah it will tally i hope the format is as such clear you just need to remember this format like uh, opening then input if it is there it will come only in p2 and p3 department then raw material labor you will have to take the total that is gross factory gross prime cost closing stock net prime cost then you need to add factory overhead then you will get total you need to add profit and you will get that total wala answer that's it so as such not difficult but yeah quite lengthy you will have to practice that's it and we are done with this question that exactly took one hour okay okay let's read the question what is given in the question yeah here we go so question says that uh, it is written that a chemical company carries a production operation in two processes it means it is indicated we have two processes yes sir we have two processes okay uh, the material first passes through process 1 where product A is produced. Okay, okay, okay. Now I am writing some extra things. If you, uh, it is preferable you also write for your understanding. I can see that so there are two processes. If there is a raw material, if that raw material is converted into finished product, there are two processes. There is one which is process 1 and then there is a 2 which is process 2. Yes sir, this is understood. Very, very easy. Yes sir. Chalo, let us proceed ahead. If you want to convert your raw material into finished product, this, these are the processes, process 1 and process 2. Okay, sir. Now, 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 the data is given. The following data, the following data is given for the month. The data is given for one month. Okay. Acha. A is produced. A is produced where in process 1, we produce product A. So, I can see that, I can say that whatever is the output of process 1 in process 2. As of now, we know that whatever is produced whatever is produced by process 1 is known as product a or here i can write a is produced yes sir that is what i know process 1 is produces product a a okay chalo proceed ahead fair enough now what is given in some data is there we will read this entire data okay that data is given with reference to process 1 sir material labor and all that stuff that is there we will read that don't worry okay now Normal loss is also there. Theke, I will do that later on. Now, any quantity of product A can be sold at rupees 1.6. It means from process 1, you get product A. A is produced. And if you try to sell it in the market, the selling price is 1.6 per unit or per kg. Whatever you say. Per kg. 1.6. Okay. 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 Alternatively, there is another option. What is another option? It can be transferred to process 2. It means, guys, you have two options. Whatever you have produced in process 1, just sell it as it is here only. Or, or, or transfer these to process 2 and then sell it in the market. So, you have two options. Sell it here or sell it after it is transferred to process 2. Okay. So, that alternative option is this where the metal will be transferred to process 2 for further processing. Very important for the processing, it, we will transfer it and then sold it as product AX. Now the name will change. Maybe you will add some another material known as X. That's why now what you produce here is AX is produced. That is your finished goods actually is produced. I hope you are getting everything. Okay, you, you have any doubt you can please, please pay attention otherwise leave this one hour that is very simple otherwise if you are focusing give your best okay i will ask you questions in between you have to give me the answers now when you sell it acha, first of all tell me even if it is not given in the question you will understand if product a can be sold for 1.6 per kg tell me product a x will be sold for higher than this or lower than this please logically higher because it is of after further processing so it is sold for 2 rupees per kg it is given in the question it is sold for 2 rupees per kg so if you sell it here the selling price will be 2 rupees per kg okay the selling price is 2 rupees okay now 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 further materials are added in process to which let us say that is x that's why the name is ax now which yield now if you add material you understand your weight will increase because you are adding some material so and which yield 2 kg of ax for every 1 kg of product a please understand this if i talk about the ratio of a and x 
so uh, if there is 1 kg of uh, a it will give you 2 kgs of ax because some material is added in between so if you convert a into ax you will get 2 kgs because some material is added that is what the line is if i read that again uh, further materials are added in process 2 which yield 2 kgs of ax for every kgs of uh, product a okay for every kgs of product a okay that should not be there that uh, this part okay okay after this after this now some information is given for process 2 okay first of all is it clear because you will have to give me the answer first of all question is clear till here everyone hello yes sir yes Fair. sir fine fine chal let's proceed ahead now if we read uh, what is given is with reference to process 2 let's read this out of 1,60,000 kgs per month of work completed in process 1. You can see that 1,60,000 here. Works completed quantity is 1,60,000. Yes, sir. That data is there. Out of 1,60,000, that is the actual output of process 1. Here I can see that actual output. It means if I talk about AX, sorry, product A, process 1 has produced or uh, actual output of A actual output of a is equal to 1,60,000 kgs okay which is given okay now what is given is 40,000 kgs are sold as a and 1,20,000 kgs are sold through process 2 for sale as product ax first of all 40,000 are sold as a out of 1,60,000, 40,000 will be sold as it is and 1,20,000 will be transferred. So, this will be divided into two parts. Something will be sold and something will be transferred. Sold, it means it is sold as A. Something which is transferred, later on it will be sold as AX. So, 40,000 is sold as it is and 1,20,000 is transferred to the next process. Tell me. If 1,20,000 units are transferred, you can sell how many kgs of AX? You will sell how many kgs of AX? 2,40,000. 2,40,000 because from 1 kg you get 2 kgs of AX. Please remember this. Okay. Fair enough. Chalo. Let's proceed. Process 2 has uh, facilities to handle up to 1,60,000 kgs of A. It means process 2 has a capacity if it want it can process entire 160000 it has that much capacity theek hai per month if required okay the monthly cost incurred for process 2 other than the cost of product ar so what is the cost of process 2 that is given in the question guys cost of process 2 uh, uh, it is given for input of 120000 currently this is happening 120000 units are being transferred and for that matter process 2 is incurring this material of this much labor and overhead that is a processing cost or a conversion cost of this 1,32 and 1,20,000 as of now do not focus upon this we will come to this later on okay now required what question is asking from you Paila. question has three requirements actually this is first this is second and this is third there are three requirements in the question there are three requirements in the question first requirement determine using the weighted average method oh 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 so we need to follow weighted average cost method that is important uh the cost per kg of product a we need to find out in the process one value of both work completed and closing wip for the relevant month just ended first of all if you want to calculate something for product a which account you will prepare uh process one or process two hello process one so they are asking us to prepare process one account and they are asking to value the closing wip and work completed the value of that so in simple words they are asking for process one account let us make the account and when you make that account you will need to read this data which we have ignored the tab which is given in the tabular format now you need to remember sir what are the steps that we need to follow to make the process account first of all identify whether this question is based on 
process account with a WIP or without a WIP. So you can see that here it is WIP is written. It is with WIP. Okay. Now you need to identify. First of all, this question is on process account. Yes, sir. This question is with WIP. Yes, sir. Now this question is on which method? VAM method. So now you are very much clear with the thought process. Process account with WIP with weighted average method. Yes, sir. Now, when you think about a weighted average method, you think only about current period or last period plus current Both period. Day. Both. Uh, last period sir. plus current period. Exactly. Chalo. Now, it is nothing but a revision of that. Revision of that weighted average method. Now, let's see. First of all, you will make the process account with how many lines? Everyone. 10 lines. So we know that. Chalo, let's make the account with 10 lines. So uh, this was the working. I will keep here it uh, this here as it is. Uh, le let me make the process account now. Chalo, let me make the process account. So this was just for your understanding. That is not a part of your solution actually. This part extra. It was just for understanding. Let's make the process one account. Yes. Kitna 10 lines ka. So let's make it for 10 lines. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, uh, here we can say that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it can be done less in 10 lines. So, chalo, let's make it for 10 lines only. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sure. So here we go. It is a process account which is particular quantity amount, particular quantity amount. I hope you guys are done with the format. Now there are six steps. Those we need to follow, and then we will start with this. Let us follow those six steps. Okay. Sure. So now, if you talk about steps, first you always write here to balance brought down. That is your opening WIP to opening WIP. You please write with me. Uh, it is quite a difficult question. So, uh, let us now read the question and write down everything one by one. So, first of all, input quantity is given as 2 lakh kgs. So, to input material. Kitana, it is 2 lakh kgs. So, you can write 2 lakh kgs in quantity. Yes, sir. So, input is 2 lakh kgs. Yes, sir. It is clear. Okay. Now, what is given? Opening WIP. Opening WIP is 40,000 kgs. So it will be written on the debit side 40,000 kgs. Yes, sir. You can write it down here. It is a process question based on process costing where there is a WIP and you guys need to follow VAM method. So I have just clarified these things over here. Okay. Now, 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 now here after input here, if you see uh, WIP now closing WIP. It is given as 30,000 kgs. So please write down closing WIP. Now when you write down closing WIP, please understand that what all things are going to come. So first of all, you will write by normal loss. Now once you write normal loss, you will write in the second line. Now whatever is your output, I hope you understand this 1,60,000 will be divided into two parts. Uh, there is uh, something I think 40,000 has been sold and yeah. 1,20,000 has been transferred to the next process. Okay. So first of all, one so here I can write one is sold that is by costing PNL. It will go to the costing PNL, something which is sold. And then I can say output transferred to the next process. Six, six, no? By abnormal loss. Okay. By output transferred to next process. That is a process to by closing WIP will come then. Now closing WIP is 30,000 guys that is given in the question. So closing WIP is 30,000 which is there in the question. Okay having said that having said that now 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 here we go. That is 30,000 sir. Yes sir. Material input cost 75,000. Processing cost is 1,2,000. So 75,000 and 1,2,000. So 
75,000 will come over here and 1,2,000 will come over here and what will you write as processing cost? Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Okay. After that, after that there is a conversion, uh, opening WIP, 20,000 uh, and 12,000. You will write this separately or you will take the total? Hello? Separately or total? Total, na, this is the cost which is incurred in the last year. So you just want to know the value of this 40,000 units. It is 32,000 guys. It will come over here. The value of this 40,000 units. It is 32,000. Yes, sir. Step number one, read entire question and whatever is there in the question, just put that in process account. Okay. Now, now, there is a normal loss quantity may be assumed as, uh, may be assumed as 20% of material input. Okay. Krish, can you tell me the normal loss quantity? 40,000. Okay. I hope you understand what is written material input, not total input, only material input. So, when you say material input, it means it is 2 lakh ka. Material input is 2 lakh into the normal loss is 20% of that. So, if you just calculate on your calculator, that becomes 40,000. Yes, sir. And if you sell it in the market, it has no realizable value. No, no, sir. You don't realize anything. 40,000 is your normal loss. That's it. Okay. Now, in any quantity can be sold for 1.6. First of all, your output was 1,60,000, which was divided into two parts. 1, uh, 40,000 and 1 lakh 20,000. So 40,000 you guys have sold. And 1 lakh 20,000 you guys have transferred. You can see that here also. Transferred 1 lakh 20,000 and 40,000 are something which are sold by organization. First of all, tell me this 40,000 will be recorded at selling price or cost price. First of all, tell me this. Hello, where do you book profit in process account or in. Uh, where do you book the profit? It is very important. Where do you book profit? In process account or in uh, costing PNL account? Costing PNL account. account. So this 40,000 will be recorded at selling price or cost price? Cost price. Cost price. It is very important. But there was one statement also which I told you. If question says these are responsibility centers, these are responsibility center, it means to sell. This 40,000, it is the responsibility of process one. In that case, profit will be recorded in process account. Hello. Do I need to show that note again or you remember that? Uh, hello. Do you remember that? If these are responsibility centers, it means it is the responsibility of process one manager to sell this. Then profit will be recorded. Profit will be recorded in process one. Hello. Okay, but generally, if nothing is given, we, we always say that these are not responsibility centers and generally then we say here we will always record it the, at cost only. There is no question where they have written at, as these are responsibility centers. There is no question as such. But if something like this is written, these are responsibility centers, this will be recorded at selling price. Profit will come over here, which will be transferred to p and There is no question as such for that. Okay, now. Okay, now, 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 now. Uh, having said that, uh, chalo, now what is my objective? Achha, step number one is done. Everything, uh, we, we read the question, everything is written. Some This belongs to process two that we will do later on. First of all, tell me, what is the next step now? Hello, anyone? Sir, total of the quantity column and find abnormal loss. Exactly. Priyam, uh, tell me what is normal and abno abnormal gain or abnormal loss. Can you tell me the quantity? Priyam. Yes. Okay. Yes. So please calculate and tell me. So, it's um, 10,000 is the balancing amount and it's by abnormal loss. Okay. So, that balancing figure is here. So, that will be known as abnormal loss. Okay. So, by abnormal loss. Now, step number two is the close quantity column and take the balancing figure. Now, guys, you want this value, this value, this value and this value. And for that matter, we need to pre prepare three statements. Statement showing equivalent production, or CPU and apportionment or distribution of cost, whatever you say. So, chalo, let us make the next statement. Let us make the next statement. So, 
let's say this is process count now the next is the statement showing distribution of uh, sorry equivalent output so let's give the heading statement showing equivalent output or equivalent production whatever we used to write that means same only equivalent production shallow now when you see we follow weighted average method tell me will you bifurcate this 160000 or no as from opening kitna from input kitna will you bifurcate this yes or no because this is weighted average method you don't know the bifurcation now how many lines first of all though uh, there are two cost only uh, input and processing cost accordingly two columns will be there input uh, okay and how many lines in between so first second line third line fourth line five lines generally we leave four lines only but this time because there is a bifurcation i will say leave five lines okay 1 2 3 4 5 okay particular units then material processing percentages units percentages units okay sir now let's proceed okay the first one is a a bole to a bole to first output or costing pnl you can say that is sold whatever units we have sold for that matter we will say b output transported to next process c closing wip this is normal okay then d uh, abnormal loss now let me write those units of uh, 40000 One lakh twenty, thirty and ten. Please, you should write from your notebook. You should not. You should just check the answers on the screen. So, okay, that this is how my answer is. Now, now, this is weighted average method. Okay, this is something which is output. One lakh sixty thousand. Something is transferred. Something is sold. Now, I give you some time. I give you some time. Tell me what will be your equivalent output over here. Please calculate and tell me equivalent output over here. Yes, ah, uh, Vaishnavi, that is right answer exactly. Shallow. Now, first of all, first of all, ah, uh, whatever ah uh, costing PNL, this is something which is output transferred to the next process, okay, and something which is sold. For this, ah, uh, what are the percentages that will be written in the question? So, Ridhima, can you try percentages which will come over here? Ridhima, hello. Hundred exactly because this is something which is completed and when you follow weighted average method you see how much work is done last period plus current period so till now hundred percent work is done. Of our closing WIP RP can you tell me the percentages for material and labor respectively how much? Ah, uh, so it is hundred percent and sixty six point six seven percent. Exactly or I can say hundred and two third only I can write that as it is hundred and two third. Hundred and two third. That is also okay. So I will write two third over here. I never write that sixty six point six six. I always write two third. And for thirty three point three three, I wrote I write always one three one upon three. Okay. For abnormal loss, have they specified anything in the question? No. If the question is silent, we know that. If question is silent, we always take hundred percent. Okay. I can show you the solution of institute also for that matter. Do not worry. Just in case you don't trust for this abnormal loss percentage is okay. Fine. That will be hundred hundred. Okay. Now, ah, uh, so this is uh, forty thousand. Ah, uh, this is uh, forty thousand. Ah, uh, please calculate at your end. This is uh, one lakh twenty thousand. Ah, uh, one lakh twenty thousand. Ah, uh, here it is a uh, thirty thousand. Ah, uh, divide by two three. Bolo to twenty thousand. 
10,000, 10,000. Just take the total. 2 lakhs. One lakh ninety thousand. Okay, chalo. Now, please, uh, those uh, please ek bar try kar lije and tell me what is your material CPU cost per unit for material. If at all you can try, I would be happy if you can just calculate material cost per unit. The next statement will be statement showing CPU. After this. Yeah, please you can send the answer in chat box once you get the CPU for material. Same will be done for the processing cost also CPU. When you calculate the CPU because it is weighted average method, it will be last period plus current period. That is something which you need to understand. That's it. Okay. Yeah, uh, Krish, uh, yes, right answer. Krish, right answer. Second one is also right for processing cost. Okay, now, so let me make the statement. I hope you have written till here. Let us go to the third part now, sir. That is the statement showing CPU. Please give the heading. Statement showing CPU. Boleto cost per unit. Cost per unit. There are two costs material and processing cost. So, particulars, material, and processing cost. Yes, sir. Now, when you say this, that is material, uh, particulars, material and processing cost. Here, I will say first because it is weighted average method, cost incurred in last period, current period. minus scrap you get net cost divided by equivalent production then you get cpu then you say total cpu you should by heart this and you should know this we have done it n number of times okay now sir because it is weighted average method i will take the total cost which is incurred in the last period and something which is incurred in the current period that data is there in the question sir what is the cost that was incurred in the last period sir the cost which was incurred in the last period is this 20000 and 120000 last period 20 and 120 so that will be written 20000 and 120000 yes sir what is the cost that is incurred in the current period sir it is 75000 and 12000 12,000. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My mistake. My mistake. 12,000. Okay. Then it is uh, 75 and 1 lakh 2. Okay. 75,000 and 1 lakh 2. You can see that in the question, there is no scrap value that is given in the question. So, dash. You can see that credit side of process accounts is no realizable value. Okay. And equivalent production that we have calculated, which is 2 lakh and 1 lakh 90,000. So, come here. 2 lakh and 1 lakh 90,000. Now we can easily calculate our CPU. Chalo 20,000 plus 75,000. We'll 95,000 divided by 2 lakh. That becomes 0 0.475. 12,000 plus 1 lakh 2,000. That is 1 lakh 14,000 divided by 1 lakh 90,000. That is 0 0.60 plus 0.475. So that is 1.075 that is your total CPU 1.075 as in when you produce one unit this is your average cost last period plus current period okay average cost is this now we can go for the next statement yes sir statement showing statement showing distribution or apportionment of cost So now the next statement is statement showing apportionment of cost. When you talk about this, there are four categories. One something which is transferred or uh, A costing PL that is sold, units which are sold. 
then there is output transferred to next process that is process 2 Achha, so 40,000 units guys uh, we have uh, transfer sold and 120,000 has been transferred to the next process and cost of every unit is this 1.075 so the answer will be 43,000 1,29,000 it is nothing but multiplication of earlier two statements earlier two statements that's it now or please anyone can tell me the value of WIP once you get closing WIP what is the value of closing WIP please calculate and give me the answer value of closing WIP Yeah, Vaishnavi, that is right answer. Uh, Vedant, that is right answer. Okay, chalo. So, let us go for the second, the third part. That is closing WIP. You can see that equivalent production for WIP is different. Closing WIP, if we see, here it is. Uh, that is, we can say particulars, then material and processing cost. equivalent production CPU you will get CPU from here for a material it is 475 0.475 here it is 0.6 now if I talk about closing WIP you just need to refer this equivalent production cost statement and you will understand yeah here it is 30,000 here it is 20,000 so just copy those 30 and 20,000 over here 30,000 and 20,000 So, 30,000 into 0.475 that becomes 14250, 20,000 into 0.6 that becomes 12,000 plus 14250 that becomes 26250. Okay, so, so the answer is 26250. Now, after this, after this, D, that is your abnormal loss. If I talk about abnormal loss, units are similar. You can see that units are similar. No need to worry, sir. These are 10, 10, 10. So 10 and 10,000. So theek hai. So individually, rather than doing it individually, I can see that so 10,000 units are there. Uh, and to manufacture one unit, uh, your cost is 1.075. So that will be 1 lakh. Sorry, 10,750. Please check. Yes, on Nishi, uh, what was that? That is total or what? Achha, balancing figure, achha, the tally figure. Okay. Now, once you get these values, just copy paste these values over there. Okay. The first one is 43,000. Yeah. The second one is 129,000. The third one is 26250. And the another one is 10750. And yeah, it will tally. You just take the total. That will be 2,9000. Please check. And if something is pending, do let me know. I will give you the time to write that part. Like statement number 3, there is a possibility. Something is pending from that statement. You can tell me. Or is it done? Yes. Or at least you can type yes in chat box. Yes, sir. Okay. Vedant. Okay. Fair enough. So, I hope that was not difficult. It was easy.
it was easy there was no difficulty as such it was very much easy it was manageable sir it was manageable what is difficult are there are three requirements in the question the first one was easy but now the second and third one let's see whether you can calculate this or not now it is your turn okay now it is your turn now we just need to read this uh, i have explained while reading this what it is okay now you just need to read this part is it worth while processing 120000 kgs of product a further currently what company is doing company is transferring 120000 kgs and it is selling as ax so what is the better option what company should do it should transfer or it should sell as it is here only as a so tell me what to do with this 120000 it should be sold here as a or it should be sold as ax that is after transferring so is it worthwhile to sell as ax after transferring that you need to tell me so now just tell me what should be done company should sell as a or as ax this 120000 units just tell me make some rough calculations i can wait for your i can wait uh, till the time i get the answer you can you can have your time it will take max 4 to 5 minutes maximum or 2 3 minutes let's see so please try and tell me what to do with this 120000 it should be sold as a or it should be sold as ax please calculate your answers in rough and tell me time starts Krish, uh, can you tell me the benefit? Just in case, if you process more, what is the net benefit? Yes, sir. Just a second. Over last amount, he will come. Okay. Okay. Fine. Ah, uh, Krish, right answer. I think one zero is extra. Okay, but that is okay. Zero extra dollar. Ah, that is okay then. Fine. Acha, dusre log tum log kar rahe ho. If you guys are doing, I will wait. Otherwise, I will start with the solution. If you are in between, just type W. I will wait for you. There is only one. If W will come, so I can wait. अच्छा नो वन इज हैज रिटर्न डब्ल्यू तो ठीक है तो चलो आई कैन स्टार्ट विद द सॉल्यूशन नाउ ट्राई टू अच्छा विल वेट ओके आई विल वेट प्लीज कैलकुलेट एंड टेल मी व्हाट टू डू विद दैट 1 लाख 20000 
So you can continue. Okay, fine. Krish, uh, can you just uh, explain as to what you did? Yes, sir. Okay. So, sir, Bolo. the first thing is we find that we have process 1, which is how much profit is. Exactly. So, 1,20,000 units. Hmm. We are hmm. at Bolo. 1.6. Hmm. So, we have incurred a cost from this one lakh uh, uh, twenty-nine thousand. That is one lakh twenty thousand into one point zero seven five. Samja. Jo understand. Understood. So, sixty-three thousand ka profit aa jayega. Ha. Samja. Aage. Right. Hmm. Then, second, second wale mein hum log one lakh twenty thousand aur add kar rahe. ओके वो टोटल हो गया 240000 मटेरियल और वो बिक रहा है ₹2 में तो उसका टोटल रेफर टोटल सेलिंग प्राइस इज 480000 एग्जैक्टली एंड द कॉस्ट प्रोसेस ये वाला 480000 हम आल्सो ये प्लस हां तो ये 480 अंदर क्या-क्या आ रहा है सबसे पहले है मटेरियल कॉस्ट और प्रोसेस कॉस्ट फॉर कन्वर्जन तो वो हमने माइनस किया 132 और 120 बट दिस आल्सो इंक्लूड्स कॉस्ट जो हमने पहले इनकर किया था एग्जैक्टली exactly, समझो 129000 जो पहले सबट्रैक्ट किया वो वापस एग्जैक्टली exactly, एकदम परफेक्ट है चलो अभी लिखने का अभी मैं समझाता हूं चलो अदर्स प्लीज नाउ लिसन टू दिस नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस ओके नाउ uh, what was the second requirement? First of all, is it worthwhile? Is it worthwhile uh, processing one lakh twenty thousand? So let's uh, write that only. A uh, second part of the question, actually. Uh, as of now, whatever we did, that was the first part, first bit of the question. I this one. This was first bit. That is the process account. Okay, I can just cancel this two and three numbers. Okay. Now the second part of the question. The second requirement of the question, I can say that, is is it worthwhile processing uh, one lakh twenty thousand kgs of to? Let's write that only. Is it worthwhile processing uh, one lakh twenty thousand kgs of product A? Now understand. Is it worthwhile processing one lakh twenty thousand kgs of product A? Currently, we are processing it. We are selling it as A X. Okay. Now, I will I will calculate my profit with both options. If I sell it as A, if I sell it as A X, how much profit I earn? Profit. If sold as A. That is the thing. But product A. So if you sell this as product A. What is the profit that you will earn? So I can say sales minus cost of process 1 and then you, you can have your profit. So I hope you understand that how many units are there sir we are talking about 1,20,000 units. One unit can be sold for how much? 1.6. That was the price which was given. We have that working with you. So if you sell 1,20,000 at 1.6, sir, you will generate this much revenue. 1,22,000. But sir, you incur cost also. What is the cost of this 1,20,000? Just have a look in the process account and you will have that answer. The cost of this is 1,29,000. So here, if this is sold as product A, you're going to generate profit of 63,000. Okay, sir. But instead of selling this 1,20,000 as product A, if you sell it as AX, what will happen? Profit if sold as AX. That is nothing but after further processing. Okay, so now. Now, now, if you talk about sales, 
I hope you understand. Still, I will give you that working for your understanding. Input, output. If A is input, A X is output after further processing. If input is one kg, you get output of two kgs. So, if you process one lakh twenty thousand kgs, I hope you understand. Your output will be doubled. That is A X. You will get double units. So. In that case, you need to understand this working. It is easy, okay? Uh, you will get two lakh forty thousand kgs of AX. If you sell it in the market, that could be sold for two rupees. So you gonna generate four lakh eighty thousand as your sale. If you sell as AX, your output will double and your selling price will be two rupees. Yes, but sir, you will incur cost. Yes, you will incur the cost. What is the cost you will incur? So the cost will be incurred in two processes now: P1 also and P2 also. So what was the cost which was incurred in P1 and then P2? Cost of process one, process two. So the cost of the process one was this only one lakh twenty nine thousand that you incur on this one lakh twenty thousand units. And when you process this one lakh twenty thousand in process two, okay, there is a cost which is incurred, guys. To process this, you can see this. One lakh twenty thousand units. You can have a look. One lakh twenty thousand units. When these are being processed, the cost which is incurred in department process two is cost which is incurred is one lakh thirty two thousand and one lakh twenty thousand. For this one lakh twenty thousand kgs of A, one thirty two and one twenty. So for these units, one thirty two and one thirty two and one twenty. So what is the total cost which will be incurred in P1? You incur one twenty nine. In P2, you incur two lakh fifty two thousand. So at the end, how much profit you earn? Just subtract this cost. Four lakh eighty minus one lakh twenty nine minus two lakh fifty two, and you have a profit of ninety nine thousand. So now, as a person of sound mind, what will you do if you sell it as A? You earn only sixty three thousand. But if you make some efforts and then you sell it as AX, then you earn ninety nine thousand. So that makes more sense, right? To earn ninety nine thousand, okay? And that is what they were asking. This one lakh twenty thousand units is it worthwhile processing? Yes, it is worthwhile processing because your profit increases if you further process. Is it? It is worthwhile. Yes, decision. we just write the decision and we are done with this yeah i hope that is understood anyone has any doubts the costing is logical so if you have any doubt you can ask me sir i did not get this or according to me this should be done and we can discuss yeah in in the absence of information we assume that you got the point so i hope that point is clear yes sir so that point is clear now let us write this decision it is worthwhile to transfer Is worth while to process to further process one lakh twenty thousand kgs of product A. As Profit is higher in this case. Net benefit is equal to here you earn ninety nine thousand. If you sell it as A, you use two hundred sixty three thousand. So what is the extra amount you are getting? That is yeah. Thirty-six thousand. So that was the question. Quite interesting. Yeah, not that difficult, but ठीक है. Ah, Krish gave the answer. Okay, fine. So worthwhile to further process. It is worthwhile. Yes, we can say. Fair enough. Now the third requirement. Ah, uh, little bit difficult. Little bit comparatively now with reference. 
first requirement was okay second requirement is little bit difficult now third is more difficult as compared to the second requirement now what is the third requirement let us read that okay i hope you guys have written till here now let us go for the next requirement of the question here we go calculate minimum acceptable selling price per kg okay first of all first of all first of all understand this uh i hope you have written this decision part okay just in case it is pending you can type w i will wait okay so you guys have written this chalo no what i would like to explain understand currently what is happening you are getting 160000 of a what you are currently doing you are currently selling a 40000 units of a and then you are transferring 120000 units to the next process is it worthwhile to transfer yes it is worthwhile to transfer this 120000 but now the question arises what to do with this 40000 suppose if you transfer this 40000 also so first of all you can transfer entire 120000 to process 2 but tell me does it have a capacity process 2 does it have capacity to handle 160000 yes or no yes sir yes it does have the capacity it was written in the question it can process 160000 or let me read that part for you Yeah, it was written. You can see this. Process two has a facilities to handle up to one lakh sixty thousand. Currently, we are transferring only one lakh twenty, but it can handle one lakh sixty thousand. So why not? Why not to transfer this also? Let's transfer this also in process two. Okay, but 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 now understand what they are asking for. Calculate minimum acceptable selling price. Calculate minimum acceptable selling price. if potential buyer could be found for additional output of ax tell me how many additional units can be manufactured of ax how many additional units or how many additional units of ax can be manufactured 80000 do you understand that how you get how you got 80000 hello nahi chal theek hai understand see currently our production of a is 160 Out of that, uh, we transfer how much? We transfer how many units? One lakh twenty thousand, and we sell how many units? Forty thousand. That was there. We have written, and when you transfer this, that becomes two lakh forty thousand, and then these are sold as AX. Tell me how many additional output we can get of AX? Eighty thousand. Do you understand that something which is sold as A, if you transfer it? then you can get 80000 of a this is additional you can get if you process this further are is it only me jisko samajh mein aa raha hai ki tumko bhi samajh mein aa raha hai everyone because there are certain points where i will have a doubt ki tumko samajh mein aa raha hai ki nahi and if you don't say anything then i will be confused as to what should do what what should i do if you understand then you have to type yes sometimes when i ask you that have you got this or not okay so you guys never reply okay fair enough okay we can act accordingly just in case if you act like this okay fine understood sir fine fair enough so now here i can say that uh, 1 lakh 60000 or uh, 80000 units can be produced here we can say additional output now they are asking what will be the minimum price which shall be quoted minimum price minimum price is something where you do not incur in, it is very very difficult i don't think you will be able to answer let's see i will give you some time still okay uh this could be produced with the remaining product of a quantity so if there is one buyer who can buy this 80000 units what is the minimum price that should be quoted tell me please answer this question i will give you some time then uh, okay let's see who can answer this if i produce 80000 ax what is the price which i expect minimum price should be higher than this this is the minimum price i want please calculate
Okay. Uh, let, let me answer this because it is a little bit difficult. So, okay, fine. We'll wait. Uh, Nishi, uh, let me check. Nay, Nishi. You are, I think, closer to the answer, but something you are forgetting. Let's see what is that. Arpit, right answer. Krish, nine. I need minimum selling price. When I say selling price, uh, I need per unit. Okay. Acha, Arpit, right answer. I need a minimum selling price. That is selling price is nothing but per unit price. Per kg. They have written. Selling price per kg. Sure. Now let me start. Nishi, right answer. Okay. I was not expecting, but okay, I got two right answers from Arpit and Nishri. Okay. Krish, right answer. Okay. Vedant, nine. Okay. Fair enough. Chalo. Now let us start then. Achha. Uh, can someone explain in that? Uh, uh, Arpit, this time, please. Uh, can you try this? Uh, how you got that answer? Arpit. In shortcut way, if you can. Okay. Bolo. Yes. Yes, sir. Bolo. First, we will find the difference between that uh, one lakh six. I uh, mean, total one lakh sixty or one lakh forty. I mean, forty the forty. Exactly. Okay. Change in cost. cost. Okay. Processing cost. Okay. And then the benefit. Then. The process. Ah, uh, the profit ka difference. I mean, a one point six zero ka selling price. Or suppose say one point zero seven five ka apna profit hai. So, uska jo difference hai, wo ham log data. Uh, ये 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 क्या है तेरा दिस इज योर सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ ए एंड योर सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ ए एक्स इज टू नॉट नॉट दैट सो कॉस्ट सीपीओ फर्स्ट वाले का प्रॉफिट ऐड करेंगे फर्स्ट वाले का प्रॉफिट ऐड करेंगे अच्छा तो इट वाज कॉस्ट वाज समथिंग 1 पॉइंट कुछ तो था ना आई थिंक इट वाज 75 था तो वो डिडक्ट किया ओके तो so 1.6 minus 1.0075 into 40,000, so that comes to 21,000 I guess. अच्छा 21,000 ठीक है, so then. Total cost आया, फिर उसका मतलब divide by 80,000. Okay चलो ठीक है, you will add one more cost ना, cost of process one also. हाँ हाँ ठीक है, but that is right answer okay, whatever you explain that was also the right. Now understand others. Uh, before I uh, come to that, I will give you one small example so that you will have more clarity with reference to this. So let's understand one example. This question is with reference to minimum selling price. Now, now understand. Suppose you are a retailer. Retailer. Uh, you sell mobiles. Okay. You purchase mobile and you sell the mobile. Okay. Now, uh, the purchase cost is let us say you are selling one mobile for twelve thousand rupees. Okay. And the cost of that mobile for you is let us say ten thousand. Now you are earning two thousand rupees as a profit. When you sell mobile, 
now now if i ask you you are going to provide you are going to sell mobile but with mobile let us say you will provide screen guard also maybe you will provide cover or case also for that mobile but for that matter you are going to incur some cost let us say that screen guard cost is 500 rupees and that uh, cover case which you are going to provide that will cost you 800 rupees so in that case when you sell this product to your customer what is the minimum expected price that you want currently you are selling mobile for 12000 tell me what is the minimum price that you will want in this case the cost price the total cost price like the current period plus the past period just tell me the value tell me the value what is the minimum price that you expect if you want to sell mobile plus screen guard plus uh, this cover case 10000 12800 10800 or 12 12000 12000 na i hope you understand earlier when you were selling mobile you were saying that i was getting 12000 rupees now simple you will see that if i uh, give this also it is like sandwich you sell one normal sandwich for 20 rupees if he says that give me cheese also and for that cheese uh, you have to incur 5 rupees extra then you will charge 25 rupees minimum minimum 25 rupees you will charge more than this but this is minimum which is expected so same way you will say 12000 was my sales you will add 500 and 300 and then you are going to get your value that is as simple as that so or other way round i can calculate like this also see whatever profit i was earlier earning it is like this sales will be i will say whatever profit i was earlier earning i need that profit now also okay that is 2000 earlier my cost was 10000 now 10000 plus 800 my cost is 10800 so what will be my selling price in this case so 10800 plus 2000 so minimum 12800 i want or simple in simple words i can say this that 12000 i was earlier selling mobile for 12000 now if i add this cost i will sell it for 12800 that's it so that is how you it can be done to chalo theek hai ek kaam karte hain first of all let us calculate the profit which we used to on earlier okay now uh, it is up to you how you calculates uh, now just make the working as third part minimum selling price please write minimum selling price guys uh, when you say minimum selling price uh, first i will say profit from product a profit from product a if you sell this product as product a how much uh, profit you earn or there is a shortcut also let's calculate like this profit from product a so i can say sales minus cogs now we are thinking about this 40000 units of a which are we are going to convert into ax so if you sell as a uh, 40000 units price of each unit is 1.6 you can see the working in the question so 40000 into 1.6 you are going to get 64000 what is the cost for a uh, cost of goods sold is of 43000 you can see the process account ka credit side cost of this 40000 is this 1 uh, 43000 sorry so if you subtract this you gonna have a profit of 21000 this will be your profit so sales minus cogs you got the profit which is a 21000 yes sir now once you get the profit now let us decide minimum selling price of ax if you sell this product x ax how much you want it means you are adding some material see it is like this or uh, here here you are earning this much profit i am going like this now see here you are earning this much profit now i can say like this also that i used to earn profit of 12000 2000 that i want then whatever cost i am incurring for mobile plus whatever for cover and uh, screen guard and cover so 10800 rupees in total will come to this 12800 you can complicate like this or you can simply say this but you will sell it for 12800 so now i have calculated the profit 
now let us calculate this profit here profit from a whatever profit i used to earn earlier i need i need that also abhi i need that 21000 that is my opportunity cost i can say i would like to earn here now I, if i am selling ax if i sell it a i am earning this much profit if i sell ax till i want this much minimum profit if i get higher than this that is okay but minimum this much profit i want and whatever is my cost which is incurred cost is incurred in two parts one which is incurred in process one that we know what is the cost which is incurred in the process one that is 43000 you could have done like this you could have take the total so directly 64000 can be taken plus what is the extra cost that you incur that is in process 2 you incur cost of material you incur conversion cost i think the name is processing cost now please uh, understand this working which is very important if i talk about 40000 units see understand when you produce 120000 units the cost structure is there if you process 160000 of a the cost structure is there so i can say that to process extra 40000 units what is the cost that you incur to process 120 your cost is 132 to process 160 your cost is 176 so to process this extra 40000 units what is the cost that company incurs in process to 132 minus 176 so yeah same goes here 140000 minus 120000 so if you just calculate and now then you will see the total of this 21000 43000 44000 plus 20000 that is 128000 this is the total revenue you want it is like this that is the minimum sales you want 12000 this this is minimum sales of one mobile 12800 profit cost 10000 of mobile that is then screen guard and this it is like this you can go like this now this is minimum sales you want minimum sales now this sales you want from which product ax and how many units of ax you can sell by using 40000 of a you can sell 80000 units of a additional output of 80000 you can get number of units of ax if you sell what to from 40000 units you can get double units 80000 units so every product ax should be sold for 1.6 that should be the minimum price so if you sell it for this much price 80000 units you will get this much revenue from this revenue if you subtract this cost you will earn 21000 profit which you used to earn earlier if someone is offering you less than this that won't make sense your profit will reduce then that is it is preferable that you are selling at a only so the price should be minimum this much it should be 1.6 or higher than this please you must be having any doubt in your mind you can ask me there is a possibility you haven't understood there is a possibility so you can ask me a doubt hello because it is bolo i understand this तो पी का वाला पार्ट वो बोल रहा है यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द प्रॉफिट ऑफ प्रोसेस 2 एंड यू हैव एडेड प्रोसेस 1 नहीं व्हिच वन सॉरी ये वाला ये हां वो परफेक्टली है बट व्हाई डोंट यू टेक द प्रोसेस 2 का प्रॉफिट सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू आर टेकिंग डिसीजन विद रेफरेंस टू हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स 40000 40000 ऑफ ए ना यस तो प्रोसेस 2 का प्रॉफिट इन द सेंस व्हिच प्रॉफिट यू वांट मी टू ऐड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल This ninety nine thousand. No, चलो. Let me explain. Let me explain. Now again, understand this. First of all, ah, uh, this example is this clear? Ah, uh, mobile वाला example और do I need to explain this once again? That will be much better. If I explain this again, mobile example. Hello. Sir, I have understood this example. अच्छा. Then in this case now understand. 
you have how many units you have 160000 units right out of which 120000 are sold as ax and it is worthwhile also so there is no problem with that we are saying if these 40000 units are being converted into ax that is potential buyer is there then what should be the selling price that should be quoted i hope that is something which is understandable right yes now i will say that whatever profit i was earning as a if the same profit i get here i am okay with it i should get that same profit or higher than this but minimum that much profit i want hello yes sir so i took that profit i used to earn 21000 earlier so i took that and then whatever is my cost because selling price is nothing but profit plus cost so i have recorded everything that cost which is there in p1 and in p2 so for 40000 units this is the cost which was incurred in p1 and i took the difference this is the cost for 120 this is the cost for 160 so i got cost for 40000 units i added cost i got total revenue i want this much and from 80000 units bolo still now you must be having any doubt you can ask me again bolo ya abhi bhi thoda conceptually aisa dicey lag raha hai ki kya bola karke sir ne right sir aapne to bola hai sir but still there is something bolo बोलो क्या होना चाहिए आप बोलो जरा क्या या फिर ऐसा सर ये शायद होना चाहिए था ये वी कैन टेल मी दैट बोलो प्रोसेस टू का प्रॉफिट आई डिड नॉट गेट यू वांट मी टू ऐड प्रोसेस टू का प्रॉफिट सो वी आर एडिंग जस्ट द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रॉफिट टू राइट सो प्रोसेस ए का तो ए जो प्रोडक्ट है उसका प्रॉफिट ले लिया बट ए एक्स का नहीं लिया ना मतलब जो भी हमने प्रोसेस टू में उसके ऊपर प्रॉफिट नहीं लग रहा है सिर्फ ऐसा ही ओके तो अभी मिनिमम सेलिंग प्राइस में चलो एक आधे एग्जाम्पल दे के बता दू तो शायद वो ज्यादा बेटर है Let us say there is one unit in P1. उसकी कॉस्ट है टेन सेलिंग प्राइस है फिफ्टीन यू अर्न प्रॉफिट ऑफ दिस नाउ दिस प्रोडक्ट इज ट्रांसफर्ड टू पी टू एंड देन इफ वी सेल इट तो कैन आई से फॉर दैट लेट एस ए द कॉस्ट इन पी टू इज द कॉस्ट फॉर दिस इज लेट एस ए फाइव रुपीज लाइक ये चीज वाला एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं अभी तुम क्या बोल रहे हो शायद ऐसा बोल रहे हो क्या देखो नाउ दिस इज द कॉस्ट सैंडविच का कॉस्ट ट्वेंटी है सेलिंग प्राइस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव रुपीज का प्रॉफिट कमाते हैं अभी हम लोग चीज ऐड करेंगे नाउ दैट विल बिकम प्रोसेस टू देन वी विल सेल इट सो इन दिस केस मेरा नॉर्मल सैंडविच का वेजिटेबल का कॉस्ट ट्वेंटी था मेरा चीज का कॉस्ट फाइव रुपीज है या तो चलो चीज का कॉस्ट तीन रुपया है चीज तो ये P1 का कॉस्ट हो गया और P2 में चीज ऐड किया जा रहा है एंड व्हाट वाज़ द प्रॉफिट आई यूज टू ऑन फाइव रुपीज तो आई विल सेल इट फॉर 20 प्लस थ्री प्लस फाइव नाउ ट्वेंटी एट में मैं सेल करेगा या तो मेरा शॉर्टकट ये था मैं एक सैंडविच ट्वेंटी रुपीज में आई सेल इट नाउ आई एम एडिंग चीज ऑल्सो सो मिनिमम आई वॉन्ट ट्वेंटी एट आई विल चार्ज हायर देन दिस बट दिस इज मिनिमम नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू सी दैट बिकॉज ऑन दिस ट्वेंटी आई यूज टू ऑन द प्रॉफिट नाउ आई नीड टू एड प्रॉफिट फॉर दैट चीज ऑल्सो राइट सेलिंग P A, you are selling A X. So whatever profit you used to earn, you want from this. Hello. Yeah, we will. Bolo, कुछ है तो बोल दो मतलब हो सकता है there is a doubt. No sir, not clear. अच्छा. The one who said opportunity cost वाला वो समझा? Yes sir. Okay, fine. So that is what it is. I told you this is a little bit difficult question. बहुत दिमाग खराब क्या रहेगा? You can revise this. चांसेस आर वेरी मच लेस बट बिकॉज इट वॉज देर इन मॉड्यूल मतलब मॉड्यूल नहीं पास पेपर में कभी 10-15 साल पहले पूछा गया था 
तो आई सेड कि लेट एस डू इट वाई टू मतलब कभी आ गया तो आई फील मतलब आई हैव आई एम नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट श्योर शायद नहीं आएगा ये बट स्टिल इट इज अ प्रेफरेबल करके रखते कभी इंस्टीट्यूट पूछ लिया तो देर इज वन परसेंट पॉसिबिलिटी ओके एंड यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट अनएक्सपेक्टेड ठीक है सो फाइनली वी आर डन विद दिस क्वेश्चन ओके डन